I think I'm losing it. That was the moment. Last time everything was still cool. The trip had just started and nobody hated anybody else much. Everything was exactly the way it was supposed to be. None of us had a clue that we were on the edge of a cliff and about to step off. things considered, I'm awesome. We all worked for a year washing cars and running raffles and, and begging our parents to raise enough money for this amazing school trip. It was an eco-camping adventure to Micronesia. It's supposed to be a trip you never forget. I guess I was pretty much a lock now. Mayday, mayday. Are we on the Lao? <sighs> Slight change of plans, kid. So where are we? You tell me. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Are we there? We're somewhere. We're gonna be late. We were supposed to meet the rest of the class and the adults. Oh, gee whiz, we don't want to be late. That would be a disaster. Oh, it's too late. We already had one. Tune in the Yankees game while I'm at it. It's not funny. You want funny? Listen. Which means? Which means this radio is about as useless as this plane. How's that for funny? Where are we? Who cares? Look at the water. I'm going in. Hey, Eric, reality check. We just nearly bought it. Yeah, nearly. That's the point. Anyone get hurt? Nope. <laughs> but we crashed. Yeah, the trip's over. We're going to get yanked out of here in no time. Might as well have fun. Right, I mean, it's not like we're gonna be here long. Woohoo! <laughs> so, how long is long? Hey, you know what I think? I. I look around. Where do you think we are? I mean, we can't be far off course, can we? I don't know, Mel. You know, maybe we were lucky enough to land where somebody will find us quick. Maybe we're lucky just to be anywhere. Ah! Are they in denial or what? It's weird to think you went out with her. Only for about a minute. She's so not your type. I can't believe you went out with Nathan. He's still not your type. Please, don't remind me. Is that me? No, you're right. No, at first I thought she was cool. I like the way she dotted her eyes with tiny little footballs instead of those cute, you know, flowers like girls do. He's so boring. He kept talking to me about football. Like, I actually care. No. Taylor likes football. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> See, it turned out she was trying to draw little flowers. They just look like footballs because she can't draw. Oops. Hey! Come on back! Hey! Everybody, come here! Hey, Jay, we always 
Wear this. If you get heat stroke, mom will kill me. Keep your heads covered or you'll fry. No, I want highlights. Jackson? We had no idea how long we'd be stuck. But one thing was clear. We needed a leader to keep us together and be a grown-up. Unfortunately, all we had was Captain Chaos. Look, um, I ain't no camp counselor. You're not much of a pilot either. Hey, I saved us. Yeah, you got the landing part down. I think the fly needs a little work. So, where are we? Well, uh, technically, I, uh, I don't know. Whoa, 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 easy. Okay, we're not gonna be here that long, right? Look, the storm came out of nowhere. I tried getting around it, but everywhere I turned, things kept getting worse. I was flying blind for near three hours. So technically, you got us lost. I kept us in the air. Then lightning hit one of the engines, and it must have torn open a fuel line, and I had to bring her down. And the radio doesn't work. Oh, sure, it works, but it has to be in range of another radio. It isn't. So that means we're real lost. But we're not gonna be here that long, right? Isn't there such thing as a homing beacon or something? Yeah, sure. Emergency positioning radio beacons. Satellites can pinpoint their exact location. That's great. Yeah, we don't have one of those. Are you even a pilot? It's okay. I've been in worse messes than this. Bad I believe. Listen. I'm gonna go inland, look around for a little. No, 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 bad idea. We need to stay together. Why? For all we know, there could be a resort past those trees. Really? I hope there's a Starbucks. You guys, I really think we should stay together. Oh, what did you learn that, in Boy Scouts? I think he should go. We need to know what's out there. Uh, yeah, and what if he gets hurt? And what if help is just a few yards away? I'll go with him. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we'll be safe in a group. I disconnected the power so there's no chance of fire, but don't touch nothing. We're with you, sir. What's with the packs? Camping. Who knows how long we'll be gone? I do. A couple hours, tops. Now you guys are making me nervous. Oh, uh, hey, uh, Captain Crunch, can you give me a sandwich when you get to the resort? <gasps> and a venti latte, low fat. This is a bad idea. We should be working together. It's a good idea. And we are working together. Hey, there's something oh, yeah? you should know. We'll see. Yeah, we will. Excuse me? Fine, don't listen. If we're gonna be here for a while, Somebody's got to be in charge. I think it should be me. But what about the pilot? Yeah, right. We trust him once. Look where it got us. Can I count on you? Hey, I'm going to look for water. Who wants to come? Oh, I will. Uh, no, she's helping me set up camp. Oh, but we need water. We've got plenty of bottled water. What if it runs out? Then we'll deal. Right now, we got to be ready to spend the night. Fine. Are you coming, Mel? I told you, she's helping me. Whatever. If we're going home early, I'm going with the tan. Oh, I'll, I'll put that on you. In your dreams. Hey, I'm gonna look for water. Who wants to come? What for? We got plenty here. Eric! <laughs> Relax, Nathan. We're not gonna be here that long.
my name is Nathan McHugh, and I'm one of the 11 people from Los Angeles who crashed on an island somewhere in the South Pacific. We're not sure how long we're going to be here, but I thought it would be a smart idea to make a diary in case, well, in case whatever. Uh, we all go to the same school, but we're an odd bunch. Melissa's great. You know, I think she's the one person we can all rely on. I hate to say I'm glad she's here, but I'm glad she's here. Daly? Well, she's totally competent, but she's an ego case. If an idea isn't hers, it's not a good one. Eric's a funny guy. Funny strange. He's acting like this is a vacation. I wonder what he's gonna do when reality hits. Taylor's gonna need a clue. Or you know what, maybe it's better that she doesn't have one, because if she figures out how much trouble we're in, her brain might explode. I don't get Jackson. You know, he's only been at school a couple of months, so nobody really knows him. I don't know if he's cool or super smart or he's brain dead. To be honest, he gives me the creeps. And Daly's little stepbrother Lex is here, unfortunately. You know, this is gonna be tough enough without having a little kid getting all upset on us. And then there's the pilot. He is a handful. He's, oh. Nothing? You still want to help looking for water? Yeah, sure. I see the camera. It's, it's dumb. I, I thought it would be a good idea to make a diary of what's going on. It's not dumb. Maybe I will too. Cool. Yeah. Hey, um, if we're gonna be stuck here for a while, somebody's gonna have to be in charge, and uh, I'm thinking it should be me. You okay with that? Hey, well, what are you doing? What does it look like? Lunch. You can't. That's got to last. Till when? Dinner? Give me a break. Forget it. Nobody eats till we figure out how to ration it. Ration? Are you kidding me? This is vacation. This is survival. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who put you in charge? Hey! Hey! You can't eat that! Jackson! Jackson! Put that pack. We've got to share. All right. This is pretty good. Some sort of chicken or something. I'm starved. What is that? It's camp food, and they got a ton of it. Okay, gross, but whatever. Uh, no, 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 we've got to ration. Hey, what's going on? Daily's trying to starve us. I'm not, we've got to conserve food. Says who? You know what, she's right, Eric. I don't need help, Nathan. I'm just trying to back you up. I, I don't need backup. Uh, Nathan, you aren't in charge here. Uh, nobody's in charge here. Nick, please say something. Well, you know what, somebody's got to take the lead. Oh my gosh, I want to give it a line. shot. No, I'm the one who's been setting up camp all day. Yeah. Be here that long, right? We shouldn't argue. Really you are, I know how to make big decisions, okay? Lex has something to say. Whoa, he just spoke. <laughs> Yet another crazy twist. Thanks. I don't mean to interrupt, but there's something you should know. The airplane is our life raft. Besides our gear, there's a ton of stuff on board we can use, like first aid kits and tools, and stuff from the cargo bay. Yeah, that's so interesting. Yeah, just, just finish. The plane itself can help us, too. There's fuel and batteries, and when search planes come over, they'll see the plane before they see us. What's your point, Lex? I tried to calculate exactly, but it's hard. The storm we flew through is only going to make it worse. Make what worse? The tide's coming in. Those sticks are roughly the high water line. So that means... That means that when the tide comes in, the plane floats away with everything we need to stay alive. We're not going to be here that long, right? Right? What 
So what if we lose the plane? I mean, it's not like it flies anymore. We really have to do something. How much time? Give or take an hour. An hour? What? Why didn't you say anything before? That's a joke, right? Look, I'll try to save the plane if you empty out what you can. You and you, come with me. Hurry. Kind of bossy, isn't she? Go! OK, start with the water, then the food, then the camping gear. No way. I have such bad memories of this place. If you don't move, I'll give you more. OK, here's what we're going to do. I have no idea what to do. We should try to secure the plane so it won't float away. Exactly. How? There's some rope on board, and maybe we can find some vines in the jungle, too. Perfect. OK, Lex, get the rope, and we'll try to find some vines, all right? Let's go. I'm already sick of this place. Please tell me that's enough. They're not strong enough. Gulp? I can fix that. was useless. It's good. <laughs> What's so special? I've been braiding since I was two. You're on. This one? Yeah. Save the plane. It was pretty awesome, the way we all work together. And I really think if everybody puts their personal stuff aside and thinks like a team, we'll be okay until we get rescued. Well, that was a total waste. Saving the plane was a total waste? Well, duh. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be here long, right? Right? I don't know. Why don't you ask them? Get nice and comfy, kids. Because there ain't no resort in that jungle.
kids, heads up. Here. I want you to make room for these. Is this meat? Yeah. I'm a vegan. A who? I don't eat meat. Really? Well, I don't eat any vegetables, so what does that make me? A meathead? Touche. This is wrong. We should stay together. One more time. This island is huge. There could be a weather station, a camp, or a fancy resort on the North Shore. And we could sit here twiddling our thumbs from now until doomsday, and nobody would come looking for us. So we go. We have to know what's on the island. I think it's a great idea. Well, well I don't. Maybe you should wait till tomorrow. Well, I only got a couple of hours of sun left. Sitting still makes me nervous. Splitting up makes me nervous. How long are you going to be? I have no idea. Covering this place could take days. Whoa. Days? What if a rescue plane shows up, and you guys are out there lost someplace? Then we look for them. <sighs> Listen, Junior, I don't want to scare you, but we're so far off course, chances of Slim any plane's going to be buzzing around anytime soon. I thought you didn't want to scare me. We got to do something before the food runs out and we start losing our strength. Okay, again, more scaring going on. Nathan, just lighten up, all right? No. What if they get lost? Well, duh, we're all lost. Oh, yeah, funny. Look, everything I know about survival says that we should stay together. And you know so much because... Because I was a Boy Scout. We're not earning merit badges here, okay? This is real. And what makes you an expert? Common sense. I don't need a handbook to tell me what to do. That's why I'm in charge. You are not in charge. Nathan, I'm class president. I won the election, remember? I beat you. By 10 votes. Whatever. You arrange the first dance, I'll help us survive, okay? Let's just ask the captain who he thinks should be leader. Fine. Hi, buddies. You didn't take all the food, did you? Hey, while you're gone, somebody's got to be in charge. You're the grown-up. Appoint someone. OK, kiddies. Who wants to be the big boss? Oh, big surprise. Why don't you two fight it on, huh? May the best dork or dorkette win. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. All right, you guys. First thing we need to do is we need to start a signifier, OK? It'll give us heat, light. Wait, wait, wait. Light? We're not going to be here when it's dark, are we? Well, are, are we? With the pilot gone, somebody had to take charge. I know a little about survival from scouts, so I stepped up. Daly didn't like that. Turns out there's a whole lot Daly doesn't like. Fire's important, but if we're gonna spend the night, we gotta make camp someplace safe. Look, didn't you hear me? I'm not spending the night here. Is there any chance she's not as clueless as we think? Lex, come help me find us a campsite. Oh uh, yeah, sure. I had an idea. You too, Melissa. Wait, how many people do you need? Well, maybe I should help Nathan start the fire. Fine. I'm sure he needs the help. Eric, you can go look for some firewood. Gee, can I? I'll get right on that. Don't burn down the jungle. Don't get lost. It was a bad start. We needed to come together, but Nathan and Daly couldn't agree on anything. It was like some major power play was going on with nobody listening to anybody. Man, what is it with Daly? Just because she's class president doesn't mean she's in charge here. That's just her. You know, she's wrong. She treats people like they're idiots. No. Oh, come on, Mel. That's wet. Think. We need dry stuff. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Oh, she's such a know-it-all. OK, new subject. Um, I don't want to sound like Taylor here, but do you think we'll be here long? But the captain said we were way off course. It just means it might take a day or two. You really think so? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, we're cool. All the more reason we need a signifier. Of course, Daly doesn't think that's important. I think what's important is we all listen to each other because oh, then we exactly. can. Exactly. Tell Daly that. How's that? Oh, 
Poo. Poo? Bad angle. Um, could you build one facing more this way? But it's just... Well, if you're too tired, I'm sure that Nathan or Jackson would be happy. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it. I wouldn't do this for everybody, you know. I know. Can we take a break, please? Sure, we're here. Where? Camp? I checked this place out earlier. I think it's perfect. What do you think? Well, we want to be close to the beach, but safe from high tide. We want to be protected from rain, but still have some sun so things don't get moldy. Oh, then there's the chance of animals All right, getting stop. I don't want to lecture here, okay? Is this spot good or no? Well, no. Okay, where do you think we should set up camp? Back in the airplane. Why didn't you say something before? I tried. I think this place is perfect. Do we have matches? We have friction. You see, what we do is we rub this stick back and forth real fast until it gets hot enough to ignite the kindling. And then, whoosh. Really? That works? Sure. But, um, you might want to check the gear just in case, you know, you find something else we could use. Something else like matches? Just in case. What are you looking at? Water. Lots of water. No rescue boats, no airplanes, nothing. Just a whole lot of wet. You know, Eric, you're the only one I trust here. Really? Sure. Because you're smart. While everyone else is running around pretending to be important, you're sitting here and saving your strength. That's very clever. I thought so. When we get back, I can definitely see us hanging out. Oh, man. I've been wanting to ask you out ever since that one day in chorus when you fainted. You're all sweaty. OK, creepy. But whatever. We need to rely on each other. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We think the same way. I agree completely. And I think you should go over to that plane and get us a couple of waters. Done. Ooh. Bad idea. Daly would freak. Oh. Her. I'm thirsty, and you wouldn't want to see me faint again. Or would you? No. Conscious is good. Perfect. Make sure it's chilled. Daly was making camp, and we were ready to start the signal fire. And things were finally going well. Until I messed up. Yes! I have searched through that whole wreck and every piece of his gear and found the one and only pack of magic. Great! Yes! That's awesome! I'm, I'm so happy! I'm gonna celebrate! Keep up that good work! Thanks! Hey, 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 wait! You can't take that! Don't be a geek. This place is perfect. It's got tree cover, but the sun still comes through, and it's Big enough for a couple of tents, yet it's protected against the wind? Yeah, maybe. What's your problem? It's even cooler than out at the beach. I think it's because the ground's a little damp. Yeah, well, that's my problem. We don't want to live on damp ground. Why not? Things live in damp ground. Really? Like what? Well, like that. Ah, what is that? Don't freak, it's only a leak. Only? It's disgusting. Is it poisonous? No. 
All they do is suck your blood. Lex! It's okay, there's only one. How much blood can it get? Ooh, that's not good. Uh... Eric! Eric! You can't take the drinking water. Why not? I'm gonna drink it, isn't that what it's for? But Daly hasn't figured out how to ration it yet, and then we- Oh, and, and, and what? You don't have to do everything everybody tells you to. I mean, why don't you think for yourself? You sound like an old lady. Come on, this is a vacation. Tropical island, you haven't even gone swimming yet. What's going on? Melissa's afraid to go swimming. I am not. You're definitely afraid to have fun. That is so not true. I have lots of fun. Oh yeah, you're a national holiday. I can have fun. You wanna see? I like doing stuff. Watch. So sad. Really? Ew, it's warm. What are you guys doing? Oh, watching Melissa get crazy. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> the water's so warm. Nathan, you gotta go in. I will, once we get the fire started. Hey, did you find any of those matches? Uh-oh, party's over. There are more, right? No, Nathan, this is it. You're telling me that you just ruined our only matches? I'm sorry. Sorry? But tell everybody else you're sorry when we're freezing tonight. I thought you were the one person that we could all count on, and then... Man! I don't know how I could have been so dumb. I mean, Eric said I wasn't any fun, but it's not true. Not that I'm blaming Eric. I ruined the matches, nobody else. And I let Nathan down and, oh man, I don't even want to think about what Daly's going to say. Stop! No, if a beast gets stuck on your skin, you might get infected. What do I do? There's two ways to get rid of them. One is to touch them with something hot, like a burning stick. Yeah, fresh out of those. The other way is easier. They told me! As soon as they get their fill of blood, they'll drop off. How's it going? You see fire? Nope, that's how it's going. Look. It wasn't all Melissa's fault about the matches. Did somebody push her in? No, no. It's just, she didn't mean to do it. I know she didn't mean to, but we're in trouble here. Can't be making bonehead moves like that. All right. No bonehead moves. Got it. Nathan tell you that? He's just trying so hard and I let him down. Yeah, well, I, uh, I think he might be trying a little too hard. Would you help him? With the fire, I mean? Please? Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I see a couple more. What do I do? If Nathan got the fire started, we can use it to burn him off. No, I don't want to use this stupid fire. Oh, 
Sorry. Yes, I do. Come on. You know, you could try too, you know. Oh, that's okay. You're doing really great. We want to help. All right, you know what? I got it pretty hot. Maybe you can just put it over the top. So I got a better way that we can start a fire. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm serious. It's, it's going to spark any second. Trust me. And keep the tinder close to the stick. We need fire now. And now it's important? Yeah, sort of. Oh, oh. yuck! We can't pull him off, or it might get infected. A hot stick from the fire will make him drop off. Stop pulling around no, no, no. with this. Dude, Do this. don't stop. Come on, we're almost there. Can those things do any damage? No, they're not poisonous, just bloodthirsty. OK, so hurry. Come on, keep going. This pressure pouring out of my head Can't get this pressure pouring out of my head Why all this pressure I don't understand When all of my neighbors I lend them a hand Doctor, oh doctor, I'm willing to learn Why all of my bones well, they toss and they turn Mother, oh mother, I'm begging you please To rid me a madness and cure this disease I'm so sorry. This is my fault. Hey. No, it's not. Look, I thought I knew what I was doing, and obviously I don't. Didn't mean to go off on email. I'm sorry. Yeah, real sweet, but I'm still getting my blood sucked here. Once again, ew! So what do we do? It's getting dark, and Daly needs a transfusion. You ready to listen to someone else now? Yeah. Good man. Take a look around, man, all right? We're all stuck at the same party. Campsite. Sure. If you don't mind sleeping on a giant colony of blood sucking vampire worms, why do you care? Because whether we like it or not, we're spending the night. Metal. 
battle. There's lightning. One shot. Zap. You're cooked. Oh. Here. The lightning is awesome! Really? Go play in it. Give us some room to breathe. Back to sleep. This is all a dream. Water's building up out there. Nice campsite daily picked out. Boy, I'm sure glad Nathan spent all that time working on the fire. A lot of good it's doing us now. Well, we got your leeches off. No thanks to Nathan. Jackson's the one who finally got it started. There's no room. Did you move over? You know what? All this stuff should be in the plane, but no. Dilly wanted it in here. Nathan won't listen to anyone. Was he that inflexible when you two went out? Worse. He couldn't even touch his toes. Thanks, Daly. This spot's real protected. Don't show weakness, or Nathan and the others will walk all over us. Dude, don't show weakness. All right, because because Daly will walk all over you. He's on a power trip. If you give her an inch, she'll have us doing all the He's work. He's way over his head. You know, she doesn't listen. He's arrogant. She's an ego case. He's a poser. She's power hungry, Conceited, stubborn, self-centered, self bossy, weak. bad breath. Guys, enough. Seriously, wah, wah, wah. You two sound like my parents. Just trying to do what's best. <laughs> like you know. Better than you. Stop. What is your deal? I think we need a leader. But me too. We don't know how long we're going to be on this island, and we have to figure out how we're going to survive. And since I've had some training, I'm the guy. You had survival training? He was a Boy Scout, and he went on some hike, and now he thinks he's Robinson Crusoe. I'm class president. I'm the logical one to be leader. This isn't school. I know that, but this is about picking the right leader. Uh, I was already elected, remember? You beat me by 10 lousy votes. A win's a win. I don't go to your school. I didn't vote. Lex! And I forgot to vote. There you go. You know, maybe we should have another election. Yeah, right. No, 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 I'm serious. Why not? We'll take the morning to prove to everybody who's the best choice. Like a campaign. Yeah, a campaign to keep them from making us crazy. After that, we'll vote on who should be leader. You up for it? Delegation, that's what a good leader does. I mean, it's not about one person trying to do it all, right? Right. Hey, you know, I'll do it. Delegation, right. So, um, what's Daly doing? Uh, uh, she's working on a schedule to ration the food. Why is that funny? Because it's a waste. All right, look, survival is about using what you've got, not worrying about what you don't have. You know what? I'm gonna go out and pick so much fruit that her rationing is gonna be totally useless. Oh, uh, sounds good, I guess. Uh, I can help! No, no, no. I'll do it. Later. Um, maybe you shouldn't go alone! Delegation. Right. This is cake. Lex will vote for his sister, so it's not worth trying to go after him. But Melissa's gonna vote for me, and I got her working with Jackson, so they'll vote together. All I have to do is win Eric or Taylor, and Taylor hates Daly. So this time, I beat her. Please don't make me move stuff again. We're done. We keep stopping the plane from now on. Yeah, like I said yesterday. What? Nothing. What's the matter? We don't have as much food as I thought. Watch, I'm gonna take the blame. Why? It's not your fault. No, but if I ration it, I'll be the bad guy. Nobody will vote for me. But you can't lie. No. But I can be creative until the election's over. Is that the same as lying? This is about survival. We need a good, strong leader to keep us together. How we get there is the last thing to worry about. Okay, this won't burn. Um, maybe we should dry it in the sun? Smart. Maybe dry it in the sun. So, 
Who are you going to vote for? Nobody. Don't you think we need a leader? Yeah, sure. I mean, somebody you know, I believe in, but I'm not there yet. Not yet. I don't know if this election thing was such a good idea. Instead of getting us all behind one leader, it might divide us even further because the two people we have to choose between can't agree on anything. And that would be really what are you doing. Uh, nothing. Don't say that. Because if it's true, then that means that you're talking to yourself. And that would be like disturbing. All right, I'm making a video diary. You mean like telling your side of what happened? Yeah, for when we get rescued. Nathan's making one too. We each have our own tapes and they're private. Don't get all winky. I don't care about your dumb video. But maybe I should make one too. Um, I don't know. I'm just as stuck here as you. All right. The tapes are in the plane. Don't waste the battery. We only have one, okay? Don't waste the battery. Okay, I heard you the first time. What do you think, I'm an idiot? Don't waste the battery. Yes. more food? No, I found a If bag. it's not food, I'm not interested. And action. I'm standing with my feet in warm South Pacific water on an unknown island. Is it a tropical paradise or hell on earth? All we know is after I took control of the airplane from that loser pilot and did my best to keep us flying, we still crashed. And now, it's up to me to keep this ragtag band of castaways alive. My name is Taylor Hagen, and you're watching my story as it's happening. For real. Join me, won't you? And walk, 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 walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby, work it. Yo, work it. Oh, this is B.O. You are B.O., baby. Wait, wait, B.O.? What is that? Is that like body odor? No. B.O. Showbiz for box office. When the Hollywood guys see this, you're gonna fight over who gets to make your movie. You're gonna be famous. And rich? Yeah, same thing. Awesome. Okay, now let's shoot the scene where you single-handedly save the plane from being washed up into the ocean. Wait, wait. Single-handed? Well, isn't that, like, fake? I mean, shouldn't I use both hands? Uh, yeah, that'll work too. forever to get this fire big and roaring. <clears throat> you can't survive without fire. Because fire is... Fire is good. And... Cut! Line! I needed my line! Why didn't you give me my line? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't matter. You could say anything, you just look great. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I've got B.O., baby. <laughs> hey, guys, I've been looking all over for you. You want some water? 
What happened to the whole rationing thing? I got it under control. No problem. That's, you know, if I'm elected. Okay. Thanks. What? I'm campaigning. You just bribed them with our water. Look, I'm the only one who can leave this group. You know it, I know it. I have to win this election. Eric and Taylor are the last pieces of the puzzle. How do you figure that? Well, you're gonna vote for me and I get a vote. It's four to three, game over. That's when you tell everybody the truth about the food? Yes! No harm, no foul. Now, why am I here? You've got to see what I found. It's so cool. Lex, I told you, unless we can eat it, it can wait. We can't eat it. Then it can wait. Daily? I tried, but she's too... She's thinking about other things. Are you gonna vote for her? What's the matter? Melissa said that Nathan took off to pick fruit by himself. How long ago? Good way. Nathan! Nathan! Hey, Nathan! Where are you? Nathan! Why would he go off on his own? You're asking the wrong guy. I am so mad! Why? I've been making a video diary, and Nathan has too. But Taylor took the camera and ran the battery down. You guys are making video diaries? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We only used a couple minutes. If you want, I can show you. Yeah, you could if the battery wasn't dead. Oh, right. Well, what are you going to do about it? Me? Why me? You want to be the leader? Lead. There he is. Don't move him. He might be hurt. Nathan, hey, Nathan, wake up. No, oh, he's alive. What happened? Climbed up the tree to get coconuts. I swear I fell. You fell from up there. You shouldn't do dangerous stuff like that by yourself. Hey, shows how far I'll go for you guys. You know how dumb you are. So, where are the coconuts? She can't get away with this! I didn't do anything! You ruined the camera! Oh, it was you just like you! Then why is the battery dead? I don't know, I'm not a scientist! What are you gonna do, Daly? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, 
I, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. Before we vote, Daly and Nathan want to make their case. And first up is Daly. As we all very well know, we're in a tough situation. We have no idea when rescue's gonna come, so we've gotta be organized. And I can do it. I've started with my rationing plan. I've taken inventory of all the food and water. The food is freeze-dried, but it's got plenty of calories, so we're in pretty good shape. I've made menus balancing carbs, fats, and proteins. So we've got a pretty strong diet with about 1,000 calories a day. And if we keep with that and conserve our water, well, that's a pretty long time. How long is that? Excuse me? How long will the food last? Exactly. Uh, well, we should be rescued in any time, so I I'd say enough time. Uh, any more questions? You said you rationed both the food and the water? Yes, separately. And it's dry food? That's what I said. Did you figure that you have to add water to the food before you can eat it? Well, yeah, that's, that's a good point. And what are you going to do about people blaming other people for things they didn't do? But you did do it! No, I didn't! What happened? Taylor ran down the battery on the video camera. But I didn't! Well, somebody did! Hey, seriously. Okay, wait, 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 we're arguing about batteries? Well, yeah, but I didn't do it. See, I need that camera. I've got VO, baby. Just talk to Lex. Lex? Yeah, show him. I found this on the planet. It's got a series of 36 single crystal silicon solar cells. I think it's a newer model, because it's even got a blocking diode. Yeah, I think I speak for the whole group when I say, huh? It's a battery charger, solar powered. We can recharge the camera and any other batteries that are rechargeable, like the camping lights. Are you serious? Lex, that is awesome. We can have all the light we need. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be a problem. My turn? All right, I'm sure Daly worked real hard on her feeding schedule, but we need a leader who looks forward, not back. So what I did was try to make sure that we had enough food even after our provisions ran out. Yeah, and? And I found more food in the jungle than we will ever need. So where is it? Well, I didn't get any because... Because you fell out of a tree. You know, what if you had gotten killed? Where would that leave us? Is this the kind of leader we want? A loose cannon who goes off on his own, who needs to be rescued, who doesn't even deliver? Or do we want somebody who's so caught up in schedules and organization that she doesn't even look around at what's in front of her? Where are your coconuts? Or did you imagine them because you were knocked in the next week? And how much food do we really have? One day? Two days? Are you telling us everything? You know what? Maybe you should be a little bit more responsible and ask for help. Yeah, maybe you should stop doing this. We got it. We got it, okay? We got it. All right. Vote for the person who you want to be our leader. And whoever wins, we gotta go with them. That's the deal. No more arguments. Do you have a leader? Um, I think so. You, you think so? Who won? Well, uh, one person voted for nobody. Is that legal? One person voted for Nathan. Oh, that's it? Yes. Hang on. <sighs> Daly got one vote. I, I don't get it. The deal was we'd accept the vote no matter who won. But, but if, if four people didn't vote... But they did. Four people voted for the person they most want to be our leader. And that person was... Jackson.
Well, do you have a leader? Um, I think so. You, you think so? Who won? Well, uh, one person voted for nobody. Is that legal? One person voted for Nathan. That's it? Yes. Hang on. <sighs> Daly got one vote. I. I don't get it. The deal was we'd accept the vote no matter who won. But, but if, if four people didn't vote... But they did. Four people voted for the person they most want to be our leader. And that person was... Jackson. But he didn't even run. Oh, man, that's perfect. Wait, that's not fair. It's what we agreed to. Yeah, but it's not. You know what? Save it. I don't even want the job. Jackson! Chaos. I love it. Who voted for him? I want to know. It's not exactly hard to figure out. Lex, you better have been the one that didn't vote. Lex! People were in trouble here while Jackson was acting all. Johnny Depp, I figured out a rationing plan that's gonna help us survive. If that doesn't count, then it... Uh-oh. What's the matter? No way. What is it? Some of the water is gone. What do you mean gone? I put everything we had in there, every last bottle, and six bottles are missing. So that means... It means somebody is a thief. Who took the water? What's the big deal? I mean, you said we had planned to last for a while, right? How long is a while, Daly? Be straight. I figured if we each drank two pints a day... That's not enough. We should drink four pints, minimum. Everybody knows that. We do? I tried to stretch it, OK? But I figured at two pints, the water would last about three more days. Three more what? days? We could have here for longer. Why didn't you tell us this earlier? Oh, and if we're here wait, for longer wait, than wait, that? Wait, wait, you guys, you guys. That's like forever. We're not gonna be here three days, okay? Right? With six bottles missing, does that mean we don't even have enough for three days? Not if we each drink two pints. I sweat that much. What about when Captain Russell and the others come back? I hadn't figured them in. <sighs> hey, you know what? Whoever took the water just fess up, all right? No harm, no foul. Come on. Who took it? This is serious. What about Jackson? I'll ask him. You guys, we've got to start looking for fresh water on the island. What happened to the election? Who's the boss? Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. Unbelievable. You know, I got one vote. One. Because I voted for myself. I don't know what kind of leader Jackson's going to be. I don't know anything about the guy. But I do know about me. And I can help this group, even if nobody else thinks so. We need water. We need it fast. I'm gonna get it. I hope. Where do you want this? Don't talk to me. Come on, Dave. I can't believe you didn't vote for me. I'm sorry. I didn't know anybody else would vote for Jackson. So what? You're my brother. It was a protest vote. Protesting what? You and Nathan weren't exactly acting like leaders. I want to go home. I want to see Mom and Dad. I want a pizza. I want to hear music. I hate not having music. That's the worst part. It's so quiet here. Rescue's coming. We'll get home soon. Don't talk to me. I feel like a traitor. Davey's angry. And scared. But I guess we all are. That's why these video diaries are a good idea. I hope Daly makes one. I don't think she has anybody to talk to anymore.
I was a Boy Scout. I've got the merit badge for wilderness survival. Come on. I'm trained for this. It was a lot easier in my backyard when it didn't count and my mom had lunch on the table. Nice. Thanks. What is it? It's a rain catcher. See, rainwater builds up in the trough, flows down, and then collects into the pail. Ta-da! Drinking water. How do you get it to rain? It'll rain. What if it doesn't? Got a better idea. Hi. Somebody stole some drinking water. Why don't you want to be the leader? You'd be perfect. You don't get caught up in the drama. You're, like, solid. If there's anything we need right now, it's solid. I voted for you. Listen, I'm not the guy. Okay? End of story. Not a very long story. I think there's a lot going on with Jackson. Maybe it's why he seems angry all the time. And he hasn't been at school that long. I want to get to know him, but he doesn't let anybody inside. Maybe I can change that. Magic. They actually suck the water out of the air. Well, at least that's the theory. I've never actually seen one work except for in a scout manual. But it will. I think. I hope. sneaking around for? Uh, I'm not. I'm isolating the battery contacts to make sure they're not grounded in case of another electrical storm. Yeah, that was my second guess. Uh, are you gonna be long? Maybe. Why? I was just asking. Where is it? Where's what? Don't go there, Eric. Taylor told me you took the water. I can see Taylor doing something like that because she's, well, she's an idiot, but you, are you really that self-centered that you'd hurt the rest of us? It was a mistake, all right? I was gonna return as soon as I found out how bad off we were. Honestly, that's what I was trying to do, but Junior was lurking around in there. Yeah, right. It's true, 
Besides, this is your fault. My fault? Yeah. You gave Taylor and me some water this morning and made it seem like we had plenty. That's, of course, when you wanted our votes. And imagine my surprise, it turned out to be a big deal. So you can just go tell everybody that I took the water, but then I gotta tell them that you used it to bribe us for votes. Or, you can do a smart thing, keep quiet, and help me bring it back. It's up to you. No clue. It's a solar still. No clue. All right. The heat from the sun, it, it creates vapors that form out of the cooler air below. And then the vapor sticks to the outside of the funnel and forms water that drips down and collects in the cup underneath. Oh. Yeah, no clue. <laughs> You won't need one. In a couple of hours, you'll have water. we're doing this. As long as that little geek is doing whatever he's doing there, we're never gonna get the water back. So I say we drink our share now. We are not gonna drink our share. We're gonna make this better than right. How? We're gonna find fresh water. And that geek is my brother. Remember that. I feel incredibly guilty about this whole thing. Eric's a rat. But I'm no better. Still, I don't want the truth to get out or nobody will trust me. It, the, the only way to get rid of this problem is, is to make it go away. I think I know where to start. So? This is where I got munched by the leeches. Here, right, right here? Yeah. Are you crazy? I don't want to get my blood sucked. Well, I won't get you through your shoes. Why are we here? Is this some kind of sick punishment? Well, Lex said that the leeches were here because the ground is damp. Feel that. No, no, I'll take your word for it. So what are, what are we supposed to do? Just, like, suck the ground? Well, if the ground is damp, there's got to be water coming from somewhere. Hey. Oh, hey. Look, um, about before, I just... I want you to understand that. Right. Um, I'd like to. It's like something happens to people when they get a little bit of power. You know, it's like they think it's okay for them to mess with you, so they do. It's... Wow. Sounds like you've seen some stuff. Yeah, yeah. From both sides. It's like, I appreciate what you said, I do. I really do, but and it's not me. I, didn't, I don't want any part of it, so just let it go, all right? OK. But you should understand something, too. Because you don't want to have power over people, that's exactly why you're perfect for the job. You may not think so, but we need you. Enough. There's nothing here. It doesn't make sense. No streams, no ponds. Where's the water coming from? I don't know. Maybe it's underground. Underground? Oh, yeah. Underground. You're kidding me, right? You try to dig a well like a farmer. Well, I figure if we just dig down a little bit and, uh... 
Oh. <laughs> we got it. <sighs> there must be an underground spring. Look, it's filling up. Do you think it's any good? Oh, I don't know. It's not like there's any pollution around. Well, it might be salt water. We can't drink that. You're right. Try it. OK. No, you try it. Hey, I dug. You try. I'll take over digging. You try. So sight. Look at that. And that's after only a couple of hours. Imagine how much we'll have after a whole day. Really? Wow. We might have enough for a gerbil. And then all we need is a gerbil. Yeah, ha. Huh. You, know you laugh, but I have a feeling we're about to get all the water we need. <laughs> we got water! <laughs> we got loads of it. Yeah! yeah. And we couldn't find an ice machine. <laughs> the toast. It's Daly and Eric. There's no other way to put this. They saved our lives. Hey, we never found out who stole the water. Oh. That was my bad. I, I found them. It was false alarm, my fault. Sorry to drive you guys nuts. No, 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 that's okay, Daly. I understand, everyone makes mistakes. So, does that mean we have another vote to see you as leader? I, uh, I have something to say. Well, after talking with Melissa, I've decided that I'm gonna give this a shot. All right, Chief, you're on. How's this gonna work? Staying alive is obviously gonna take a lot of work. So I think that we should, you know, all do what, what we know best. I'm in charge of rationing the food and water and scheduling the meals. I can handle that better this time. I'm supposed to organize a search for food and find ways to use what's on the island. It's cool. The fire's my job. I gotta keep it going and make sure everybody gives me enough fuel to do it. Perfect. He's got me lugging water from leech-infested jungle all the way to the fire pit. I mean, what am I? Some sort of camel? I've got the most important job. I have to make sure that the batteries all stay charged for flashlights and whatnot. No problem. Just as soon as I figure out how to work this thing. What about you, Chief? What are you in charge of? Making sure it all gets done. Doesn't Junior get a job? Yeah, his job is to just help us think of ways to get by. What? That's this not is fair. A job. I, I know he's little, but yeah. he's yeah. yeah. capable. Yeah. 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 Guys, guys. We don't know when rescue's going to come. I guess the only thing we know for sure is that we all want to go home. I figured as long as we were stuck, we might as well try to make it feel as much like home as we can. Daly said she missed music, so...
be here for a while, aren't we? There hasn't been a single search plane. Guys, come on. Seriously. They'll find us. Eventually. That's what my father said when I asked him to go to a Lakers game. He said eventually. Well, how long did it take? I quit asking. Eventually. You guys, could we talk about something less depressing? OK. I'm starving. That's not depressing? That's they could do. Dinner is served. Mac and cheese, food of the gods. 250 yummy calories made just the way mom used to. Straight from a box. No thanks, I'm watching my carbs. Oh yeah, me too. I'm watching them go straight into your face, eat. With my fingers? Yeah, sorry, the fine silverware was on the other plane. Nothing like a full belly. That was nothing like a full belly. Who wants seconds? Nobody. We don't get any more food until tomorrow. I'm starving here. No, you're hungry. When we run out of food, then you'll be starving. And how long is that going to be? Well, uh, I'm guessing a, about a couple of days. But I mean, unless we could, you know, just cut the rations in half. In half? This was nothing. You can't cut nothing in half. It's like negative nothing. Not a math guy, are you? Look, what can I say? The more we eat, the faster it goes. But we could still be rescued by like tomorrow, right? Or eventually, which is never. Will you stop saying that? Time out, time out. All right, we have two choices. We either hunt more food or we starve. Tomorrow we hunt. Guy. Not a lot of spearfishing going on downtown. But he looks good. The only thing he's gonna spear is his foot. Well, I am not eating his foot. No way Jackson's gonna catch any fish. So I've gotta start doing my job and I gotta hunt fruit. But that means I gotta return to the scene of the crime. I've gotta suck it up and I gotta go back to face. A lot of coconuts up there. Way up there. How far did you get before you fell? Doesn't matter. I'm not falling again. Maybe we should look someplace else. No! I'm all over this. Yeah, you will be. After you go splat. <laughs> Are you supposed to be rationing food or something? Yeah, sure. As soon as you get some. We all have jobs, but mine is the most important. If not for me, we'd lose touch with the civilized world and go completely like Tarzan or something. It's a huge responsibility, but I will not let anyone down, no matter what. Charging batteries, check. Entertainment, check. Rest after a job well done, check. Tell me, 
this isn't getting old. Can this go on? I'm just working in a coal mine. Going down, going down, working in a coal mine. You don't have to do this. It's no problem. I got it. I stepped on a prick or something, then I dove back and I wrenched my ankle and ow, man. I'll get the first aid kit. No, 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 it's okay. The ankle hurts a lot more than the sharp thing. I can't let this stop me. We need water. Don't be dumb. You boil the water, I'll go lug it. But that's not your job. It's okay. We got a cover for each other. Well, yeah, I, I guess so. Thanks, Melissa. Real team player. Stay off the foot. Oh, I will. Never mind. Maybe you should try a different kind of bait. Bait. Oops. So much for seafood. Oh, hey, great. How many bottles did you fill? I was supposed to fill bottles. That's the whole point. After you filter the water, you boil it and put it in bottles to cool. I was supposed to filter too? Eric! Sorry, I just wasn't thinking straight. The pain, you know. I'm on it, I swear. Seriously, Nathan, give it up. We've got a whole... Look, it's cool. I got a plan B. Plan B? What, for bare feet? Uh -huh. Cute, but yeah, that's how the locals do it. Local what? This island's deserted. Maybe you should try a smaller tree. No! Look, this is going to work, all right? It's all about the traction. Uh, 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 ow! Ow! Oh, rough tree! Tender feet! Ow! Oh. <laughs> I guess the locals have tougher feet. Or a ladder. Hey, how's the fishing? Forget the sandy beach. Fish like rocks and tide pools. A friend. Tropical storms come out of nowhere. You're such a dirtbag! Oh. oh, come on! You're working so hard, I thought you needed to cool off. Oh. Gotta work it now. Oh, great. How's your foot? Uh, it's okay, I guess. Oh, good. 
Stay off it. Ooh. These are perfect. This is how the Polynesians do it. Wrap the shirt around your feet and use it to grip the tree. Then you can shinny up with your arms. How do you know these things? I can do this. Okay, newsflash, you're not Polynesian. This is idiotic. It's not. Look, this, this is how I sort of climbed up before. Now I know it's idiotic. But I used my arms to grab on instead of my feet. Nathan, don't be dumb. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. He really wants to do this. Obviously, but he's going to kill himself, and you just showed him how. It's going to work, Nathan, but it's still pretty dangerous. Look, I'm getting those coconuts. I'm going to prove to Daly that I can. Or to prove it to yourself. But he's almost there. Can it get any hotter? How? Oh, you're doing great. I could take over. Eventually. We need water for Nathan. He's working up a huge sweat doing nothing. The good water's over there. Any bites? He's gonna catch more fish in that fire than he is the water. Hang on tight. Thanks. I hadn't thought of that. Fish like shiny things. Use all the hooks and something to weigh it down. Stay low, they can see you, friend. You're there! You got it! Now what? Pull tight with your legs and use your hands. You won't fall. Well, it's easy for you to say from way down there. On earth. I don't even like coconuts. Oh, oh, yes. He did it. Awesome. Keep going. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. He did it again. Oh. Oh. 
That was pretty oh. cool. No problem. Just doing my job. So how many did I get? Six. Not bad. I'll do better next time. We should probably get these back to the others. I'll get the rest. Rest what rest? While you were climbing, we looked for other fruit. Really? How'd you, how'd you do? The coconuts are good, too. the jungle with a message. Oh, what's the message? It's let's eat. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, this is like a, a, a tropical Thanksgiving. I take back every bad thing I said about you guys. Most of it, anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to get really sick of eating all that fruit. Not a problem anymore. Whoa. You did it! You yeah. did it! That's awesome! Yeah! Woohoo! Um, who's gonna clean that? Because I'm not. I'll puke. It's all taken care of. It is? Eric was just telling me that he loves cleaning fish guts. Indeed? This Eric? This um, Eric? Yeah! Unless you suddenly got some kind of injury that's gonna stop you from doing it that you want to tell everyone about. No, no. Oh, I'm cool. I can do it. are, but that was the best meal I've ever had. What about the coconuts, Chief? I'm working on it. Hey, so, uh, I guess you're feeling kind of dumb. Gee, don't sugarcoat it. Well, what can I say? I, I told you didn't have to do it. Yeah, whatever. I gotta say, though, that was pretty brave. I couldn't have done it. Yes! You gotta crack it open. I'll work on it. Wait, hey, hey, hey. Oh, thank you. I haven't done it yet. No, 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 like, you know, the clues. A friend. Huh? The stuff in the tent. Oh, I almost forgot. Hey, Taylor. I found this earring in our tent. I don't know how it got there. Taylor said you had a couple of pairs. I hope you didn't lose the other ones. No, um, I know where they are. Thanks. Okay, so what are you talking about? No, 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 never mind.
It's been four days since we crashed, and we've more or less fallen into a routine. Meaning, some of us do more, and some of us do less. I'm not complaining much. This is fuchsia. Be careful. I don't want it coming back faded pink. Like I said, some of us do more, some of us do less, and some do a lot less. Get up! Wow, that's quick. This is not a spa. I am not your staff. Could you move over, Scotia, your black on my son? Oh, yeah, sure. Wait, stop! Taylor, we're trying to survive here. What about that don't you get? What is going on? Nothing. And that's the problem. We're all working our butts off, and. Taylor just kicking back like she's on Venice Beach. <laughs> oh, please. Nobody goes to Venice Beach. Could she be any more clueless? Oh, absolutely. You'd be amazed. Well, I've had it. She won't do her fair share of work, and she won't get her fair share of food and water. But, wait. Then I'll, like, I'll, I'll die. Make yourself useful. Some people are trying to sleep in there, you know? Daly wants trouble. She's come to the wrong place. You mean she's come to the right place? If you're gonna give her trouble, she's come to the right place. Uh, right. That's exactly what I mean. Hey, hey let me give you a hand. It's okay, I got it. Oh, you know what? I can start cutting it up. No, 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 no. It's, it's cool. Oh, hey, look. Bad. You should stay out of the sun and wear a shirt. Oh, it hurts too much to wear a shirt. Oh. Are you happy? I'm gonna take a break. If that's okay with you. Yeah, whatever. Thank you. Oh, so very much. Well, um, at least you got her to do a little something. Yeah, well, that's, that's more than a little. That's a lot of water. I got most of those. Really? Oh, well, how much did Taylor get? Including the water she just dropped off? Yeah. Um, the, the water she just dropped off. What? She... It, it took her 30 hours to get one jug of water. We are in a life or death situation. There's no telling when we could be rescued, so if we don't all work together and do our fair share, then, well, then we could die. Okay, I said it, we could die. Yeah, so? Well, so, have you seen what Taylor's doing? No. Exactly, because she's doing nothing, nothing. We, we get her food and water, and we give her shelter, and we clean her clothes, and I feel like her mother, and I her. Jackson! Jackson, you're the leader! Lead! Okay, as leader, I'm giving you the job to do something about it. Well, me, why should I be the... Oh, really? You're giving me the job to get Taylor to work. Congratulations, you've been promoted. And, and you'll back me up with anything I say? Yeah. Oh, she is so mine. Hey, Mo. Hey, why don't you take a break? I'll finish setting this up. Uh, it's okay. Um, I already took a break, and um, maybe Jackson needs help. Oh, no, he doesn't. I, I, I already checked. I, I can finish building this stuff. You know what? <laughs> it's okay. Thanks, anyway. You know, I'm starting to get that vibe that people think I'm useless. I'm, okay, okay, maybe I was spinning my wheels getting the fire going. And my water catchers were pretty lame. I did fall out of that tree and nearly killed myself picking coconuts and, and didn't think to look on the ground before 
climbing up in the first place, and maybe I am useless. But I'm not. Really, I, I gotta turn this around. Unbelievable. Oh, 46, uh, 47, uh, 48. What are you doing? I'm trying to keep in top shape so I can do my fair share of work. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, really. It sounds good. Why is Bailey giving me such grief? I mean, look at you. You're a total load. Nobody bothers you. It's because I know human nature. It's all about perception. English, please. This isn't school. Don't fight them. Instead, make them think that you're doing it their way. Just once, and they'll back off. Then you can do whatever you want. It's perfect. I can do what I want to do, as long as I look like I'm doing what Daly wants me to do. I'm not quite sure about how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do what I mean, what Daly wants, or what she thinks she wants, or what I want, or something like that. It's perfect. So this. Emergency signal gear from the plane. There's two flare guns and a whistle. And flare gun? Oh, cool. Careful. Check this out. What is it? It's a signal kite. We can fly it up over the trees and let it sail there 24-7. You know what? I can build this. Uh, I got it. No, no, no. I've, I've made loads of kites. It's, it's, it's cool. <laughs> Seven. Why are you doing sit-ups? Oh, to keep in top shape, do my share of the work. Where's Taylor? No clue. Ooh, that's a nasty burn. You should stay out of the sun. <sighs> Taylor, I need to speak with you. Taylor, I know you're in there. Your sandals are right here. I'm busy. Doing what? Sit-ups. Sit-ups? Why? Well, duh. So I can get in top shape to do my fair share of the work. Two, three, four. OK, Taylor, could you come out? I have something for you. Really? What is it? How thoughtful. We need a latrine, and you need to dig one. Oh. um. What exactly is a latrine? Is that some kind of mushroom? No. A latrine is a big, deep trench that you're going to dig far enough away from camp, downwind, so that we don't have to worry about bacteria getting into our food and water so we don't get sick. When that's done, it'll be a nice, safe place we can all use to go to the bathroom. I won't do it. I just won't. What? Daly has no business bossing me around. My own mother doesn't make me do chores. Jackson, you put me in charge of getting Taylor to do some work. Look, I am not going to dig a, a poopy pit. We need a latrine, and you need to do some work. It's the perfect solution. There's nothing perfect about it. You can't make me. I can. You can't. OK. Then your rations will be cut in half. And tomorrow will be cut in half again, and again the next day, till you start pulling your weight. Jackson! You said you'd back me up. I hate this. Taylor, just do some work, OK? Four feet long, a couple feet wide, and at least two feet deep. That's not a trench, that's a canal. How am I supposed to do that? Come on, this isn't rocket science. Oh, I have something else for you. No, thanks. I didn't think much of your last present. Wear the shirt. Trust me, you don't want to get a sunburn. And uh, do you want a bandana for your hair? A bandana? Ugh. That is so 70s, and not even the cold retro kind. Finish this by dinner, or there won't be any dinner for you.
Ugh. Khaki. I've got the instructions. We don't need them. This is cake. Mason, we got to do it right. We will, no problem. I think you did a good job with Daly and Taylor. You think so? Sure. There was a problem, now there isn't, and we get a latrine. We'll see you, right? I knew you'd make a good leader. I can't do that. Because? Oh, because if I did, then you wouldn't appreciate the lesson that you gain here. Oh, really? <sighs> Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. You're learning that there's beauty in defeat. I am? Absolutely. Defeat presents you with a unique opportunity. An opportunity for what? Well, for revenge. <laughs> I told you I could do it. It is pretty cool. You know what? I'll launch and you keep up the tension, all right? Wait! That's the right You're ready! Shouldn't he go the other way? Yes. You ready? One, two, three! It's busted! No, it's not! You gotta launch it into the wind, not against it! I knew that. Exactly what I figured. This baby could fly 24 7. Done. It's a thing of beauty and open for business, so to speak. Seriously? Yeah. Check it out. Better yet, you should be the first one to use it. It's perfect. I'm stunned. How do we use it? I mean, well, you know what I mean. I can make something to sit on. We just gotta make sure afterward we toss a little sand in to cover up. You know. Yeah. Taylor did a really good job. Yeah, she did. Yeah, well. I think I will be the first one to break it in. Oh, oh yeah, bye. 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 That was so fun. You see it? Now you can do anything you want. <laughs> Freeze! Dude, dude, relax, it's empty. It's empty, relax. It's empty. Don't mess around like that. You're right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. Is this good to go? Yeah. Awesome. Be careful. Don't use poison ivy leaves to, you know. <laughs> Thanks, I'll remember that.
Eric. Eric, I have a tropical disease. My hands are breaking out in hideous boils. Just blisters from digging. You'll live. Uh-oh. Okay, now soak these in clean water and we'll get you ointment and we'll... Oh, hi. Just doing a little first aid. Brands are pretty worked. Whoa. Yeah, they are. I'll live. Look, Taylor, I know this isn't an excuse, but I've been in a really nasty mood because of my sunburn, and I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone off on you like that. I'm sorry. Really? Yeah. And you did a great job on that pit. Seriously. I feel so bad that I made you do it all on your own. Uh, wow. I didn't think you'd actually apologize. Yeah, well, I'm... I'm really not a jerk. How about I make it up to you? How about I finish your laundry? I promise not to fade your suit. It's fuchsia, right? Right. Um... You don't think I'll be the first one to use that latrine? Too late. Everybody's using it. Everybody? Already? Yeah. It's so gross, but it's perfect. You did really good. Oh, uh, I, uh... I have some stuff I've got to, you know, just, just check on. Eric! You know, I wonder how far this flare is going to shoot. Let's not find out. What's going on? Well, you said it yourself. I mean, you were being kind of a jerk and you kind of deserved it. Deserved what? It was such a good idea at the time. Taylor, what did you do? It's not a toy, Nathan. I know that. I'm not a dope. Besides, it's not loaded. Let me pack it with the other Whoa. one. Here. Nathan! Nathan! You know that shirt you lent me? Yeah? Well, when I finished digging the latrine, I sort of left it at the bottom under some sand. You left my shirt at the bottom of the latrine that everybody's been using? Oops. Stop being stupid! Well, now you'll never get it. Nathan! Oh. I want my shirt back now! Ew! No way! I saw oh, the you! You don't, you don't think that I'll run like that! Like that. I thought you were in a Nathan! Girl. There hasn't been a single thing I've done since the crash that turned out right. All, all I want to do is be useful. I'm starting to think that they'd all be better off if I wasn't here. There were two flares. One wasn't loaded. Guess that would have been the other one then, huh? Yeah. It's OK. It's done, you know? Nobody got hurt. Just um, stop trying so hard. Totally heartless. Before I buried your shirt, I took this out. I tend to put people into easy categories. Friendly, unfriendly, smart, dumb, annoying, not annoying. After losing my shirt to the ick, I have to admit, it isn't always that simple. People have a lot more than just one side good and bad, and that includes me. Well, at least the sun's going down. My burn can't get any worse. It's not sunburn. What? You're, you're full of red splotches. I've seen that before. It's some kind of allergic reaction. Are you putting stuff on it? Yeah. After sun lotion. You know, I bet if you stop using that stuff, it'll clear right up. <laughs> Man, I so owe you. <laughs> Happy to help.
Jackson, Jackson, come here, quick! Is it you all right? You gotta see what I found. This could save us. I was walking along and I tripped over it. It was total luck. Can you believe it? Uh, yeah, it's a really nice rock. It's not a rock. It's a clam or an oyster. I don't know which, but it's food. It's not a whole lot there to split seven ways. Good thing there's about 8,000 more where that came from. Good morning. Uh, diary? This is Melissa. Obviously. <sighs> These videos are about documenting what we're going through, so there's something I want to say. I think the main reason we're doing okay is Jackson. He's really being strong. He doesn't talk much. He doesn't have to. Everybody sees how he does the most work and doesn't complain or get emotional over stuff. He's not hard to look at either. He hasn't been at school long, so nobody really knows him. But he seems, I don't know, troubled. But he's gotta open up someday, and when he does, I hope it's with me. I guess it's obvious I like him. But I'd never tell him. No way, that would make things too weird. But when we get off this island, I'm gonna let him know how I feel and hope he doesn't laugh. <laughs> What's with you, cowboy? You didn't sail too long? <sighs> Got a rash. A rash? We couldn't Shh. rash. Jeez. <sighs> you got it from wearing wet shorts. <sighs> yeah, I know. My legs are on fire. It's all down on the inside. Thank you, thank you. That's enough information. Look, dude, don't tell anybody, all right? It's really embarrassing. It goes to my grave. Here, I'll help. Why did I tell him that? You want us to eat rocks? No, they're oysters. And there's a ton of them. Lex, this is incredible. You found a whole new food supply. No way. That's like eating boogers. And you would know because. Are they safe? I think so. You think? Oh, perfect. Poison boogers. There might be toxins, but I think that's kind of rare. And this is about survival. That's true. At home, no way. Here, I'm hungry. Maybe one of us should try one? Then what? If we don't die a horrible puking death, we chow. You guys, we're almost out of our dry food, and we don't always catch fish. It's not a big risk, and we don't get enough protein from fruit. How do you know all this? We got to do it. Oh, don't everybody volunteer at once. All right, short stick eats. Is this long or short? It's long. No way, I'm not eating toxic snot. That was the deal. <laughs> well, forget it. I'm not gonna eat it anyway, so. Whoa! So how long until we know? Couple hours, I guess. Whoa! Hey, what's up? I need a favor. Sure, what? I would like to dump this water-fetching job on somebody else. 
We've all got jobs, Eric. I'm sick of this one. Could you tell Jackson that I'd like something a little less so? I don't know. Like work? <laughs> tell him yourself he doesn't listen to me. Oh. Well, maybe he will if he knew how much you liked him. <laughs> oh, my God! Uh, I don't like Jackson. Oh, really? I thought you wanted him to open up because he's so troubled. You watched my video! No, I didn't. But I did over here just a little bit when you're making it. <laughs> no, this is so wrong. <laughs> it's so true. Anything. I'll do anything for you to keep quiet. It's all about teamwork. It's all about blackmail. Oh, I wouldn't call it that. I wouldn't call it, uh... Well, maybe I'd call it that. <laughs> I hate taking advantage of her. But it's every man for himself, and she's such an easy target. It's almost not fair. Almost. Who am I kidding? I don't ain't taking advantage. <laughs> How do you feel? Same as I did five minutes ago. It's been three hours. If there's a problem, you'll probably start puking your guts out anytime now. Nathan! Oh, oh, oh dude! But don't do that! I've been looking over for oh. you. Come on, Daly needs some help. Will you just leave me alone? I'm dying here. Hey, don't show pain. Unless you want them to know about your fungus. Dude, it's not a fungus. Come on. Oh. Check it out. Daly has a brilliant idea. I can't believe we didn't think about this before. We can eat seaweed. We can? Yes. I learned in oceanography class. It's like... Floating salad. Then why do they call it seaweed? Who cares? It's got major vitamins here. We just have to wash off the salt. That's a great idea. And Nathan's gonna help you collect all this green gold and bring it back to the fire pit. And what about you? I'm on water duty. Gotta keep the H2O flowing, right? <sighs> what a load. Whatever. So, uh, bring these back up and start rinsing. I'm gonna collect some more. Unless you can't either. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Well, I'm alive, so let's eat. Wow. It really does look like snot. But it's not. That's what he said. It's snot. Stop it. I've eaten tons of oysters. Just think of them as little fish. Yeah. Little fish they were eating alive. Excuse me? You have to eat raw oysters while they're still alive or they might be bad. Oh. Like I wasn't grossed out enough. Should we cook them? Cooking might burn off nutrients, and we need everything we can get. How do you know these things? I'm telling you, they aren't bad, and Jackson survived, so... Enough. I am starving. Hmm. I don't think I'm desperate enough. Oh, come on. Fear's not a factor here. If I can do it, anybody can do it. L.A. restaurants. Okay, no. Don't think of it as, you know, raw oysters. Think of it more as sushi. Sushi? I love sushi. Well, so isn't sushi just raw fish wrapped in seaweed? Yeah. Well, then, pretend it's Friday night and you're living large. 
The only thing missing is the rice. Oh, I don't do carbs. You're good to go. job and my job all day. Would you please help me now? Ah, no, I'm sorry. Why don't you ask Jackson? Pretty sure you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Eric, come with me. I want to get more of those yummy oysters. Ooh, it sounds like a party. More of a Nathan type of thing. Come on. You can carry way more than me. Oh, no. I hate you. anymore, but I didn't want him telling Jackson that I liked him. If anyone was going to tell him, it had to be me. Hey. Hey. I'll help. Jackson, I want Hey, Eric, can you give us a hand? I'm not feeling so hot. Yeah, right. Hey, grab some of these, man. I you know what? It's okay. Um, if Eric feels bad, he should relax. Find some shade, lie down, and go away. No, seriously, I, I don't feel good. Oh, please. I can help. There's no end to them. We can make California oyster rolls with fruit, an oyster salad, an oyster kebab, an oyster soup. Yum! Oyster soup, wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> hey, you know what? Take your time, all right? I'm, I'm loving the water. Hey, give me a hand. We need more seaweed. Who knew Taylor was going to love this stuff? <sighs> I'm feeling really lousy. Come on, Eric. You really got to start coming up with better excuses. It's not an excuse. Right. Do it for now. We need to bring these back to camp. Um. What are you doing? I. I, I yeah, I was embarrassed, <laughs> but I didn't care anymore. I was way past that. Okay, I. I went around in wet shorts all day, and now I've got a nasty rash that makes poison ivy feel like baby powder. There, I said it. Laugh and go away, so the salt water can do its job. That's your situation. A rash. Is it contagious? No. Then I can help. Oh my God. Is there something you want to tell us, Nathan? No. But since you asked, Taylor loaned me this because I got a rash on my leg. <laughs> prickly heat. Call it prickly heat. Rash sounds like a flesh-eating disease. Um, and before you give that back, wash it. Twice. Um, very sensible, Nathan. And cute. Where is everybody? I want to start cracking these babies open. Well, Jackson went with Daly to get more seaweed, and I don't know where Eric is. Just think. If we hadn't crashed, I wouldn't have discovered how much I like oysters. Wow. That makes it all worthwhile. I feel bad eating without Eric. I don't. It's his own fault. But it's weird. He never misses a meal. I'll find him. I mean, I don't mind. I can walk again. Uh <laughs> you can never wear that skirt again.
Hey, dude, the act's getting old. Oh, by the way, you want to tell everybody about my rash? Too late. <laughs> they already know. Look, I'm wearing a skirt. I have no shame. All right, Eric, come on, get up. Eric. Hey. Guys! Guys! Get down here now! I don't think he has a fever. Oh, it's hard to read. Get some water. We need water. What's wrong with him? He's got cramps and he's itchy and he's, he's having trouble breathing too. It must be the oysters, but we all ate them. Are we all gonna die? We all ate the oysters, but only Eric got sick. I've been there before. Tell me how you feel. My throat's tight. Look at his skin. What? His skin. Hives. He's not sick. He's allergic. Eric, are you allergic to shellfish? I don't know. I've never had any. That's got to be it. My cousin almost died from an allergic reaction. What do we do? The first aid kit. Maybe there's. What's going on? He's allergic. Relax. Breathe slowly. What's happening? It's okay. It's an allergic reaction. It won't last. What do we need? What happened to your cousin? It was from a bee sting, but it was all the same symptoms. Rash, cramps, trouble breathing. Yes, that's it. Anaphylaxis, a strong allergic reaction. What did you do for it? Adrenaline. He had an injector. I watched my aunt give it to him. Adrenaline. Uh, do we have that? Here. Well, how does it work? It's a spring-loaded needle with a dose. Spring-loaded needle? That's like serious. Are you sure? Whoa, guys, guys, he's passed out. Breathing? Somebody do something. Now what? Now we wait. I want to go home. Is that a dream, or did you just stab me in the freaking leg? Given these antihistamines, the adrenaline doesn't last long. Dude, she just saved your life. Keeping that just a bit longer. <gasps> what are you doing up? Thanks. As soon as he feels better, he's going to go right back to being a jerk. But. It's nice to know there's a human buried somewhere deep in there. Very deep. And it's also nice to know that Jackson's not the only strong one around here. You're welcome.
was a gift from my daddy. Do you know how much it cost? Um, no. Well, neither do I. But I'm sure it's more than your entire pathetic wardrobe. Please don't make a big deal out of this. I'm just getting started. Jackson. Hi. Um, I've just got a teensy little problem. It seems Melissa here borrowed my favorite top without permission. No, no, and no, no, then no. I put it on by mistake. It was dark, but then I got a smudge on it and I knew Taylor would freak, so I washed it and tried to dry it over the fire. So what do you want me to do? Punish her. What? She should take over all of my chores from now on and give me the choice of any three of her tops. Three? I've only got four. This is about value, not quantity. Lighten up. It was an accident. Just be a little bit more careful. No problem. Never again. Problem solved. This isn't over. It's been six days since the crash. Where are the search planes? How far off course did we get? Lex is trying to hook up the radio from the plane. But even if it works, without a plane or a ship around, all he's gonna get is static. But we're okay so far. The survival instinct is pretty strong, obviously, or else we wouldn't be around. But it makes me wonder how far any of us are willing to go if rescue doesn't come soon and things start getting really bad. Someday, and when he does, I hope it's with me. I guess it's obvious I like him. That little sneak. She acts all innocent, but then she has a crush on the bad boy. <laughs> this feels weird. Totally. It's like twisted. No, I mean, I'm feeling bad about showing you this. Melissa saved my life with that allergy shot. Get over it. This? is ammunition. You don't throw away ammunition. But now, the question is, how to use it. Catching it's gonna be tough enough, and then... Are you up for that? I don't know, are you? I've never killed anything, except for fish, but... Th that, that's not the same. Except to the fish, I guess. First, let's see if we can catch it. Yeah. And then we'll deal. You know, if we do this, we'll be heroes. I have been looking all over for you. For me? Yes. You are the man. I am? Modest. This music thing you've got happening here is so perfect. But it's time to take it to the next level. It is? Absolutely. You may not know this, but I'm a singer. You are? Uh-huh, and I made a tape. You did? Are you not hearing me the first time around? Anywho. I was hoping you'd find a clever way to hook up this camera to your awesome system so I can play my tape for everybody to hear. I don't know. Well, if it's too hard for you to figure out. I didn't say that. Is the tape any good? It's absolutely awesome. So, um, back home, do you have a girlfriend? He hasn't been at school long, so nobody really knows him. But he seems, I don't know, troubled. 
trouble. But he's got to open up someday, and when he does, I hope it's with me. I guess it's obvious I like him. But I'd never tell him. No way, that would make things too weird. But when we get off this island, I'm going to let him know how I feel and hope he doesn't laugh. I guess it's obvious I like him. But I'd never tell him. No way, that would make things too weird. I can't. They've got the camera. But... When we get off this bus, <laughs> I'm gonna let him know how I feel and hope he doesn't laugh. He's not. I didn't go. I swear. He hasn't been at school long, so nobody really knows him. But open the door. But he's gotta open up someday, and when he does, I hope. A simple cage. I mean, it'll fall on the pig and it'll trap it. Uh. No way that'll work. We need some kind of snare. Wait, you know how to make a snare? Well, no. Hey, Mel, very cool. Really? We all figured you like Jackson, but announcing it big like that, it took guts. You think this is funny? Uh, well, Taylor does. Thanks a lot, partner. What is wrong with you? You don't think I did this on purpose, do you? I thought this was my tape. Imagine my surprise when I heard Melissa's voice. I'm so surprised you didn't stop it. Yes, exactly. That poor thing. I feel bad. Did you know she liked you so much? All this because of a stupid shirt. You guys really stink. <laughs> All right, he grabs the bait, pulls the string, yanks the stick, and he's ours. You seriously think that's going to work? Sure, why not? Well, it's something that Elmer Fudd would use to try to catch Bugs Bunny, and he hasn't had much luck, has he? Funny. OK, what do you have? Plan B. Watch and learn. Punisher. What? Uh. <laughs> hey, come with me. What? Where? Look, Melissa's been gone for hours. I'm a little worried about her. I love you, Chief, but I'm still burned after nearly dying yesterday. I'll go. Look, if it weren't for Melissa, you would have died. If don't let guilt on me. The camera was Taylor's idea. What was my idea? Right, if anything happens to Melissa, it's on both of your heads. What happened to Melissa?
Melissa was pretty upset. You don't think she'll do something like stupid, do you? What answer can I give that will make you go away? This isn't horrible. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel guilty about what we did. We? You're the one oh, who did come everything. On. Melissa! We gotta stop. I'm dying. Hello, Melissa! I forgive you! No, seriously, Taylor, I I'm still weak from yesterday. Oh, please. It's not like I'm having any fun either. Oh, take a rest. Why is she being such a drama queen? I mean, she deserved it. And all I did was get even. Is that so wrong? It's not like I ruined her clothes or anything. I definitely thought about it. But I figured it wouldn't be that great of a loss. You know, the truth is, I did her a favor. Now Jackson knows that she likes him and, I don't know, they can be together or something. Oh, not a good image. Don't you think, Eric? Eric? Hey! Don't leave me out here. I like it. Simple, perfect, deadly. Time to start us a pig stampede. Help! Anybody? I'm lost. Am I? Hello? Is somebody there? Melissa? Getting smart. You think? I got you. You. You're not a ghost. No. And I don't plan on being one either. Taylor and I came looking for Melissa. Look, I'm not a total jerk, man, but I'm still weak. I gotta get back. So is Taylor. Still looking, I guess. What if this ledge breaks? It's not gonna break. Well, what if nobody finds us? I don't wanna die here. I don't wanna die anywhere. They'll find us sooner or later. I trust Jackson. And Nathan and Daily and Lex. Hello? I'm the one that found you. Yeah. But I'm not a big fan of yours right now. Stop it! Party! Ah! Melissa! Hello? Melissa! You're wearing the shirt I burned. Yeah. 
Uh, when I tie it like this, it isn't totally hideous. I knew you'd be mad when I told you what happened, but I didn't think you'd go all viper like that. I mean, what you did was pretty rotten. I don't like people messing with my stuff. So you fight back by messing with their lives? What are you gonna do if something really bad happens to you? Footprints. Look! Melissa! Hey! We're down here! Be careful! The edge isn't safe! Are you alright? Are you safe? We're okay! Be careful! Hey, we're gonna get you up! You stay here. I'm gonna go get the rope. But do not go near the edge. It's not a good feeling being outsmarted by a pig. Oh my god. You know what? This is about survival. We've got to be tough and cutthroat. Ooh. Bad choice of words. All right, hey, why don't you tie this under your arms and we'll pull you up? You go first. No, no way, I can't do that. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. I'll fall, and I'm afraid to hide. Taylor! OK, we'll pull, you climb. Get a grip. Tie the rope and go. Um... OK, grab this. Ready, pull. Good. You got it. Pull. <laughs> Take the rope off. Hey, you all right down there? Punisher. What? He's got to open up someday, but he doesn't hope it's with me. something like this. Hi. Oh, hey. I, uh, got something for you. You should probably keep that in a safe place. Oh, I will. Listen, um, since we all have to live with each other here, I think it would be kind of weird for any of us to get, you know. Yeah, it's OK. Just please forget this happened. I'm so embarrassed. I know we're just friends. But maybe when we get back home, I could give you a call or something. I think survival means a lot of things. Mostly, it's about strength and luck. In the short time we've been here, it's getting really clear who's got the goods and who doesn't. Until we get rescued, we have to do all we can to survive. But in the end, we have to be able to live with ourselves. Let's do it. One, two, three. Now. We 
we've been stuck here a week. Nobody says it, but I know we're all worried that we haven't seen any sign of a search. No boats, no planes, nothing. It's scary. So far, we've done an okay job of surviving, but we've got a new problem. We're all going a little nuts from being so bored. What is he doing? He disappears for hours at a time. I don't know. He doesn't talk to anybody. Should we? Sure, it's not like we're busy. Having fun? Oh, sorry. Um, busted. <laughs> you can't be serious. I mean, come on, a raft? What do you know about building a boat? Really? I mean, you don't think anybody's gonna sail that thing, do you? <laughs> don't worry, this will sink before he gets deep enough to drown. <laughs> we could use it for firewood. Yeah. Listen, I didn't ask for your opinion. I'm just giving you a hard time. I will save it. Come on, man, lighten up. Listen, back off. Okay, mind your own business. Dude, be cool. Don't do me. Okay. Let's just go. What is your problem, man? What was that? I mean, okay, maybe we were a little bit harsh about the wrath, but Jackson totally overreacted. I hate to say this, but I was afraid something like that would happen someday. Jackson's been a misfit from the second he showed up at school. There's big tension going on, so I figured I'd try and do something to get our minds off things. Besides, it's kind of a special day, so I wanted to have fun for a change. What are you doing? It's a surprise. I hate surprises. Then you're really gonna hate this. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a feud. It's not funny. I thought he was gonna snap. All I did was make fun of his raft. Why'd he get so angry? I don't know. I don't know anything about the guy. I think he comes from a nasty part of downtown. I heard that too. What's he doing at our school anyway? I heard he moved in with the foster family. I wonder if they're scared of him too. Oh man, hostility, Nathan. You got depth. Come on, man, this is serious. You know, he comes from a totally different world than us. You never know what a guy like that might do. We've gotta watch our backs. Uh, Nathan? What? Watch your back. Wow, that's really coming along. So what happened? Doesn't matter. Oh, don't be angry. I've known Nathan a long time. He's just scared. <laughs> What's he ever had to be scared of? I mean about being stuck here and not knowing when we're gonna get rescued. I know what you meant. Yeah, I know guys like him. They spend their whole lives being told how special they are and they start to believe it. And what kind of guy are you? The kind that always has to prove it. Ow! 
Attention, attention, let the games begin. Step right up, one and all. The competition will soon get underway. Get around, don't be shy. Everybody, everybody. everybody. What's up? I'm announcing the first official. Um, I'm announcing the first official 29 down base thumb. That's not a real word. What are you talking about, Lex? I say we should have some fun for a change. Hello, that's what I've been saying this whole time. Then follow me. Yeah? So what is it? It's an obstacle course. I thought you said it was a maze. We'll divide up into two teams and have a relay race. Come on, it'll be fun. And where exactly is the fun part? I know. Loser gets voted off the island. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the winners would get the rest of the day off, and the losers would have to be their servants. Oh, man, I'd kill for that. Why? You hardly do anything as it is. <laughs> well, I think it sounds like fun. Me too. Hey, what are the teams? I'm the judge, so I'll make them fair. Oh, wait, what about Jackson? We can't do it without him. Yeah, Nathan. What about Jackson? Maybe we should go ask him if he wants to come out and play. <laughs> You never know what a guy like that might do. Hey! Hey. What? What happened with you and Jackson? I, I, don't, I don't really know. Don't you think he's kind of a loose cannon? No. It's because you weren't there when he got all ramped up after we made fun of his raft. You'd be mad, too. Not like that. No, I, I thought he was going to start a fight. He wouldn't do that. You weren't there. I already said some things about him. What, that he's a mystery guy that comes from a rough part of town and he keeps to himself? That's the truth. So, because he doesn't come from the same safe neighborhood as you, you think he's strange and dangerous? You know, you're making me sound like a jerk. Come on, Mel, it's me. I'm, I'm, I'm not a snob. I know, but we're all stressed. And that makes us do things we wouldn't normally do. Why don't you go tell Jax about Lex's competition? Yeah, right. Speaking of things I wouldn't normally do. Maybe it'll mend some fences. <laughs> yeah, or break some bones. Mine. Why should I be the one to make peace? He started it. I see where Nathan is coming from, but I don't think he's being fair to Jackson. This is tough. They're both my friends. And you're doing this because? Because it's fun. Fun? Setting up sticks and coconuts in the sand? Sure. I like thinking up the course. You are such an odd little boy. I just want to do something that's a little bit special today. That's all. Well, why not yesterday? Or tomorrow? The days pretty much seem the same to me. Because I just want to, okay? All right, fine. Whatever. Spying on me again, Nathan? No. No, I... Look, I came to clear the air. I said some things that I didn't mean. So you don't think that you're better than me? I didn't say that. You said I didn't belong at your school because I come from a totally different world. But I didn't mean that. Yeah, you did. Look, I don't want to fight with you. Too bad. All right, you know what? I came to tell you that Lex is building an obstacle course, and he wants to have a relay race with teams to, you know, have some fun. Well, what are the teams? Well, it's me and Daly and Taylor against Melissa, Eric. And me? You and I are on opposite teams? Yeah. Tell Lex I'll be there. Both teams have to run the course four times. That means one person from each team has to run it twice. Who's it gonna be? Okay, Jackson from this team and... Really? No, not really. Get serious. This is for the 29 down Mason World Champion. 
championship. It's not a maze. Whatever. Winners have no chores the rest of the day. Losers are their servants. Ready? Set. Go! Forgive me. I don't know what guys like me are gonna do. Yeah? Stop! No oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah. Over, it might catch a reflection off the letters. That's awesome. Hey, that a race was fun. What made you think of it? I don't know. I wanted to make today a little special. Why's that? I just thought we needed it. <laughs> you were right. Would you care for another refreshing beverage? Why, yes, that would be lovely. A hey, young lady, we need to be replenished. Why, thank you. Would you mind adjusting the shade? I'm feeling a bit toasty. You're gonna feel my foot kick in your head if you keep this up. Oh, now, now, is there any way for a servant to speak? I am so gonna kill Lex. <laughs> I'm here to collect my winnings. Yeah, and? Come with me. I'm gonna get this done today, I'm gonna need your help. You want our help? Yeah, it's a deal, wasn't it? Losers do what the winners say.
want to hear this, but I still think it's suicide to take off on this. Who said I was going to? Uh, well, Daly and I sure aren't, and I can pretty much guarantee that Eric or Taylor won't be shoving off. That leaves Melissa and... And Lex. I'm not letting my little brother anywhere near this thing. Too bad, because it's for him. Over my dead body? Are you serious? You want Lex to float off in this thing? <laughs> no, no. Okay, and then I'm lost. Well, the rest of us are all stressed about who's gonna be in charge or what the other guy's thinking. Lex has been thinking about things a little more important. Yeah, he's making that distress sign. Okay, it's a good idea, but... But no one's gonna see unless we put it out there. Put Lex's sign on the raft and send it off? Like a message in a bottle. Jackson, that's brilliant. But Lex doesn't know? No, it's a surprise. That's why I needed it done today. Well, what's so important about today? You're joking, right? Isn't this his birthday? I wanted to make today a little special. Hey. Hi. So, uh... Being stuck here is kind of weird. You think? <laughs> I mean, what I mean is, we're all so far from normal here that it's hard to remember what normal is. Yeah. And you're doing the most to keep us going. That maze of fun was fun, Lex. It really was. Even Taylor thought so, though she won't admit it. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, everybody else is off in their own universe. You're keeping us together. That makes me feel even worse that I forgot your birthday. It's OK. There's a lot going on. I know, but we have to remember who we are. Happy birthday, Lex. I love you. I love you, too. But not everybody's a loser like me. Somebody remembered. Really? Who? Come on in! Happy, happy birthday! 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 Jackson has a surprise for you. <laughs> Lex, this is for you, buddy. I mean, it may have been my idea, but Never would have happened without Nathan and Daly. I mean, you're always coming up with ideas to make things better for us. For a change, this is something that takes one of your ideas and makes it a little better. It's perfect! Happy birthday, buddy. Lots happened on this trip, and there's more to come. Forgetting my brother's birthday was, well, exactly the kind of thing I don't want to do again. If we're going to survive, we've got to keep our humanity and remember who we are, like Jackson did. How'd you know it was his birthday? He told me on the plane. He said he was all excited about having a big adventure on his birthday. Guess you have more than yes. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm not gonna say that I'm a jerk and that I misjudge Jackson. It's too easy. We come from different places, and that makes us different. Not better or worse, just different. But what he did today was pretty cool. And I'm glad that it helped. He did a good thing. Yeah, well, yeah. Guess you never know what guys like me are gonna do. And we're 
out this far from camp because? Because we want to find every possible source of fruit. We don't want to run out. You know, fruit doesn't grow on trees, you know? <laughs> it was a joke. Come on, lighten up. You know, if we were smart, we'd start a garden. No, we're not that smart. I don't even want to think about being here that long. Well, neither do I, but you know, I'd rather be safe than. Whoa, whoa. Wait. I thought you said no one's been out this far. They haven't. Then what's that? So? None of us have been out here. What's that? It's proof. We're not alone. Smart. Really, I'm so tired of sitting in the sand all day. Oh, wait, look. What is it? Um, I think it's... Oh, no, it was a necklace, and it fell down there. No problem. Ta-da! Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, it really is beautiful. Whose is it? I don't know. I've never seen it before. It really is pretty. What should we do with it? Hey, Jackson, you gotta see this. I'm the one who found it. It was tied to a tree by a piece of cloth. Yeah. Right, Cloth, that's, that's why I saw it. We left it there so we can find it again. Well, who put it there? That's the point, none of us. It's too far out. It must be from the pilot and the others. Maybe. Or maybe somebody else is on the island. Uh, either way, somebody's in trouble. but it's getting a little rank in that tent. These need a good rinse. You don't wash sleeping bags. Not unless you want them to smell like old sneakers. But they like reek. So you air them out. Well, that better work because I'm like gagging in there. Look what I found. Wow. Is it yours? I wish. I mean, Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, right. We haven't decided what to do with it yet. Um, actually, I was thinking that since I found it, I should keep it. That's not a gimme. I'm the one who got out of the plane, remember? But I found it. Finders keepers, right? Breaking news. That's not actually a law. <sighs> Come on, Daly. Can't you let somebody else have their way for once? I don't always get my way. Yeah, you do. I resent that. But it's true. I'm not gonna let you bully me this time. I think I should get to keep the necklace. Bully? Well, you know what I think? I think it should be mine. Well, until you kids can settle this, I'll keep it safe. You were so unfair! You were so juvenile! I don't believe you just said that. I don't believe you're such a baby. <sighs> Bottom line, somebody's out there. Did I mention that I was the one who found this? It might be Captain Russell and the others. But if it isn't, that means he got them lost. Again. Whoever it is, they need help. Look, let's go take a look around. We, we can start where we found the note. Well, I found the note. Listen, Rex, you stay here in case somebody else shows up. Got it. When we get there, we should split up into two search groups. Jackson, take Eric and Taylor, and uh, I'll... Uh, that doesn't work for me. Excuse me? Well, what if I don't want to be in your group? Oh, please, will you stop being such a baby? 
Stop being so bossy. Wow. I think I'll meet difficult. Daily really hurt my feelings. This was about a dumb necklace, but she made it personal. I really don't care about the dumb necklace. I'm just tired of protecting Melissa from getting her feelings hurt. She's got to grow up. Meow. Yeah, it's that way. Oh, no. Over there. Maybe it's over here. I remember that tree. But it kind of looks like that tree. Well, maybe it's just... Hey! Over there, I knew it. It looks like it was ripped from a shirt. How do we know which way to look? I mean, they're not toward camp, so... So how about one group go east, the other goes west? All right, good, I'll go east. Who's with me? I'll go. Uh, that's west. Just testing. All right. I'll babysit Taylor, you babysit Melissa. You are so mean! She thinks she's intimidating me, but she's not. At least not a lot. I don't even want the necklace. But there's a principle here. I'm not just gonna give it to Melissa because I feel sorry for her. We're in survival mode. She's got to toughen up. Hello? Anyone? Is anybody here? Hello? What's up between you and Daly? Nothing. Except that I totally hate her right now. Glad it's nothing. Going the right way. But is this the way they were coming from or the way they were going to? <laughs> you know, she's right. Yeah, let's just keep going. Hey, over here. Look, I'm observant. I see things like I saw the necklace first. It's a hiking boot. It's a girl or a really small guy. Or a big guy with creepy small feet. It's pointed this way, so let's go. Hey, cool necklace. You been hiding that? Don't get used to it. Maybe it's best you don't know. Fast. Me? Why, why wish you go? Go! I'm scared. Just wait here. Oh, no chance. Somebody. Well, technically, I did because Who I was just. It? Where'd they come from? Are we rescued? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know if they're alive. And it's just. <sighs> 
somebody else was on the island. I, I, I knew we were all thinking that whoever it was, they might somehow help us get rescued. That's assuming they weren't worse off than we were. Hello? Are you okay? It's Abby. Is she? Yeah, she, she's breathing. What do you think happened? Where are the others? Her pack is gone. Why is she alone? Don't worry about that stuff later, okay? Right, of course. Abby. Abby. Come on, Abby, wake up. I don't know what to do. Okay, okay. She needs water. She's out. We should get her back to camp. Jackson! Who is it? It's Abby. Is she okay? Does she look okay? Oh, she's hot. I think she might have a fever. Whoa, Abby. She looks bad. And that's saying something because normally she's like gorgeous. We should get her back to camp. That's what I said. Wait, wait, is she okay to move? I don't know. But she's not okay to leave here. Run back to camp, tell Lux to get the first aid kit, and bring some water down the ocean to cool it off. Well, why don't you? And get some t-shirts. We could dip those in the water to cool her down. Fine. Go with her, Taylor. No, you help her. Okay, then stay here and help him carry her. No, 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 it's okay. Are you up for this? Let's do it. I don't know who I expected to find, but it wasn't Abby. Abby's beautiful and smart, and everyone likes her. It's hard seeing her like this. It's hard seeing anyone like this. Lex! Lex! It's Abby! She's dehydrated and unconscious. I'll cool off some clean water. You get t-shirts we can soak to cool her down. Uh... Yeah, right. How does he know so much? And I run back here because... There's gotta be a better way to do this. Hold on, stop, 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 stop. All right, stop fooling around. Forward. I can do that, too. You'll get your chance. Get the water! Hey! They're back! They put her over here! Put her here. Here, here, in the chain. Here, over here. Oh, okay. Here, take these. You know, she can't swallow some of this scot to make its way down. Not too much, you might choke. This is as cool as it gets. Her sunburn is really bad. We gotta keep her cool. There's aspirin in the first aid kit. I can mix some in water. Good, go. I'll get salt tablets, too. How does he know so much? All right, I think we should keep her in the shade until the sun goes down. Yeah, and we can bring her to our tent. What, what can we do? All right, we're gonna need a lot more cool water to keep her body temperature down. Yeah, I'm on it. I'll build a fire. Is she gonna be okay?
thought something truly bad was gonna happen to any of us. Till now. Well, what about Ian and Jory and that pilot person? Why weren't they together? We've gotta turn up sooner or later. Unless they're in worse shape than Abby. done all we can. This whole trip has been a bad dream that keeps getting worse. We've done our best and whatever happens, we have to remember that. Look, I, I know that I'm sometimes a little overbearing. Mel, you're such, you're such a totally sane, selfless person. And I'm sorry about what I said. Please don't change. Thank you. I'm sorry, too. Daily. We're over here, Taylor. And you know, you found the necklace. You, you should keep it. <sighs> what necklace? Really? Daily. We're over here, Taylor. You know, I should just give it to Taylor. It's more her style anyway. Perfect. Daily. Taylor, we're over here. That didn't sound like Taylor. Some water. Take it easy. Drink slow. We don't want you choking now. You're dehydrated, but you're gonna be okay. Where am I? You just joined Club 29 Down. <laughs> Welcome to the party. some time to adjust. Just don't get in her face. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. Of course. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. Abby. 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 Did you see anybody else on the island? Why were you on that rock? Is this civilization? Is anybody else on the island? Guys. Guys. Give her some room to breathe. Thanks, everyone. I didn't think I'd make it. Yeah, neither did we. Ow! Hey, you found it. Found what? My necklace. I. I took it off before the crash, and I was afraid I might choke or something. I thought I'd never see it again. Yeah, uh. We were just. Keeping it safe for you. Abby, what happened? Where's everybody else? You're not gonna believe what I've been through. It's been a week since we crashed. On day one, the pilot and three of our friends went off to explore the island. One of them came back alone. Abby, 
What happened? You're not gonna believe what I've been through. What did you find out there? It was like... I don't think I can find the right words. Try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm still so dizzy. I think we should get her in the time. But I want to know what happened. It can wait. So, uh, whose sleeping bag is she using? I forgot yours. What? Why can't she use Melissa's? Why mine? Don't be so selfish. And she's gonna need to borrow clothes, too. Don't even go oh, there. Oh, come on. Come no, 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 come on. Come on. You really need to be. Hey, guys. Oh, I can say. Thanks. Oh, sure. You're welcome. Yeah. No problem. It's all we taken care of, OK? OK. It's not I all don't selfish. Know. I'm not selfish. Come on. I'm We're all worried about rescue, but since we can't do much about that, we spend most of our time doing basic survival stuff. <laughs> After a week, I think we finally learned how to live with each other and work together. <laughs> we should be okay for a while, as long as nothing new happens to mess things up. a boat to get out of here. That would help. Is this some sick dream? Or is that my top? I lost all my gear in the jungle. I didn't think you'd mind. Oh, you didn't, huh? Well, let me tell you something. I'm sorry, Taylor. Let me do this for you. If you think that you're just gonna... Yeah. Okay. So, she lost all of her gear, and she has no clothes, and she almost, like, died. Welcome to paradise. But if she's gonna wear my clothes, she's gonna do my chores. It's a law. You can look it up. Heath! Heath. <sighs> awesome. Wow. That's really great. Hey, Abby. How are you? It's good to see you up. Hey, don't carry that stuff. Thanks. Is there any food left? Yeah, I'll go get you some. Hey, sit. You're forbidden to do anything until you're better. It's OK. I'm fine. I know, but let's just be sure. That's very cool. Thanks. It's to keep the rain off the fire. You guys are doing really well. We're trying. It's not like we have a lot of choice. <laughs> so uh, the others? They haven't come back yet? No. Oh, hey, look, a little oil from the plane and ta-da, candles. Oh, is it lunchtime already? Oh, for Abby, she's up now, looks a whole lot better. Oh, excellent. So, what do you think of... Was anybody hurt? I don't know, but if they're not back yet, we should go find them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. I'm still so weak. Just take it slow, all right? That's what I said. Abby shouldn't do anything until she's totally recovered. You know, I, I thought I should... I'm so embarrassed. Thanks, Jackson. No problem. Eat. Okay, what exactly is happening here, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Daly. No problem. We gotta get your strength back. Oh, come on, we're dying here. Did you find civilization? No. Captain Russell's plan was for us to hike north, to the far shore. But this island is way bigger than we thought. We hiked through miles of dense jungle, and I've never seen so many bugs. 
Sounds horrible. But you know what? Something good came out of it. I think when you go through a nightmare like that, it brings people closer together. I mean, I've known Ian and Joy forever, but after that, we got this incredible bond. It's like, like they're a part of me. I hate being here without them. So what happened? Well, we made camp on the side of a steep mountain. While we were sleeping, a storm hit. A big one. Yeah, it got us too. There was a flash flood. It came so fast, crashing down the mountain. It wiped out camp and scattered our gear. I was thrown against a tree and hit my head, and it was so dark. I crawled to get away from the water, but I didn't know which way to go. I spent the rest of the night wandering around in the storm. When morning finally came, the weather cleared, but I was alone. Oh, man. I lost everything. I wandered around putting notes on trees because I thought I was walking in circles. I got so weak, I had to lay down. And Next thing I knew, I woke up here. So the others are still headed north? I don't know. <sighs> Has the person that found you technically saved your life? If you're responsible for uh, your well-being. Oh, please. Just take it slow. Don't do any work. I'll cover for you. <laughs> Thanks. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Abby's into me. I can tell. <laughs> I dig those deep chicks. They're so deep. Wash colors separately. We don't want any bleeding. And don't wring anything to dry. It makes everything so scrunchy. I hate that feeling. OK. I am so happy you're here. You're like the sister I've always wanted. Now, get to work. Hey. What is that? It's a parachute. I thought we could spread it out so a plane could see it from the air. That's a great idea. I think we have a problem, Day. Why? We just started. I mean, Abby. She's really upset. Yeah, I know. She's had a tough time. What do you think happened to the others? Well, they're probably safe and on their way to the North Shore. Let's open this thing up. Aren't you supposed to be taking it easy? Taylor and I are sharing the clothes. So. It's okay, Cinderella. Taylor can wash her own clothes. Your head's stuck in the jungle with them, isn't it? I'm on this beautiful beach, all safe, and they're... They're probably just as worried about you. I feel like I abandoned them. Look, there's one thing I've learned since we've all been stuck here. What's that? You can't control the unknown. All right, don't stress about what might happen. All right, it'll tear you apart. It's about right here, right now. And you're safe with us now. Hey, look what I found, Abby's notebook. It was still in her seat pocket. This will cheer her up. Oh, Taylor, could you help me get more oil? Sorry. Okay. Ask Abby. Jackson, I've been thinking a lot about what you said. I think you're right. About what? Excuse me. 
Am I missing something here? What do you mean? Are you two like, like flirting? <laughs> no, no. No. Hey, hey, if there's flirting going on, I should be involved. You're not my type. Abby, look, I found your notebook. Isn't that great? What do I have to not wanting to make things weird by having relationships here? I, I wasn't yeah, you, even... Yes. Abby, you left my clothes on the beach. What kind of a sister are you? Taylor, I'm sorry. Yeah, I hey, didn't think remember that... me? Guy who saved your life? You saved it? You did not. 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 You did This is the jungle, we're done. Go get water. Oh. <laughs> Gaga over Abby. It was a stupid idea anyway. Of course it burned. It wasn't stupid. It was to protect the fire. Yeah. And what was supposed to protect the roof? You know, well, this wouldn't have I happened if we kept the fire. Where's the fire? Over there. I hate being here without them. Everybody's got something to say about what happened, except you. So much has changed since the crash. We're all different people now. I think it's more like what you said. When people go through stuff, it brings them together. We're like a family now, and sometimes families argue. But we look out for each other, too. Like a family. If something bad happens, one of us is right there to help. You'd do anything for your family. Wouldn't you? We all would. That's how we made it so far. You're kind of little to be so smart. <laughs> it's my job. Would you help me do something? About music. Yeah? Well, then you and I are having the same dream. You guys have done so amazingly well since we crashed. I just wanted to say how sorry I am for anything I've done to mess things up. You haven't messed things up, Abby. 
Yeah, if anybody's to blame, it's us. It's true, we've all been immature. Yeah, guilty. Fine! What's mine is yours, Abby. Really. Thank you. I said before how bad experiences bring people close together. But I think good experiences do too. That's why I had Lex help me set this up. I want us to share some good times and make some happy memories. I'm not too good at this, but... I'll teach you. Well, well, well. Who's the lucky winner? <laughs> um, I think we're gonna have to get back to you on that. Ouch, don't leave me hanging. Everybody, wake up now! Ooh. Is it time for breakfast already? Is it time for breakfast already? Where, where's Abby? She's sleeping. No, she's not there. Please forgive me. This is something I have to do. Jackson, I believe you. It's about right here, right now. But right now, I've got to find the others. Hey! My backpack is gone. She must have geared up. When did she do that? Probably last night while we were all dancing. Please don't follow me. I'll be fine. I know you'll understand because you'd do the same if one of you were lost. I'm gonna find them and I'm gonna bring them back. I promise. Try not to worry. Make more happy memories. Love, Abby. We gotta go after her. No, we don't. What if she gets lost again? Nathan, what are we gonna do, bring her back? She's just gonna go off again. Maybe we can help her find the others. Yeah, maybe get lost ourselves. So what do we do? I think we should let Abby take care of her family. She knows the island now. She'll come back. Hopefully they all come back. Good luck, Abby.
Give it back. Give what back? My video, I know you took it. Well, I don't wanna watch your stupid video. I'd rather watch my toenails grow. Don't act all innocent. You already watched my video and played it for everybody, remember? Well, see, that's your proof. I don't do encores, now go bother somebody else. Oh! Lex? My video's gone. Mine's gone too. So is Jackson's. Lex, this is bad. Our private thoughts are on those videos, and if they get passed around... Yeah, I know. It'll be war. The videos are gone. That means somebody is a thief. They're private. It's just wrong to watch them or show them to anybody else. Well, I understand if somebody, like, wants to watch me. But when you're done, give it back, okay? I need that video. Taylor thinks her tape's gonna make her a TV star. I do not. It's gonna make me a movie star. Right now, it's no harm, no foul. Can we all agree that it was wrong to take them, so it... Well, not all of us agree, obviously. Somebody took them. Whoever took them, you know how serious we're taking this. All right, so let's just say that if they're returned by this afternoon, we'll forget it ever happened, okay? Oh! It's not like I have anything to hide. At least not since Taylor broadcast my tape saying how I like Jackson. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, lousy. Did I say funny? I meant lousy. I'm more upset one of us is a thief. It's so wrong. Yeah. Well, I'd just as soon not have anybody see my tape. Not that I said anything bad. But I kind of sort of admitted that I have a thing for Daily. You what? Shh, I'm telling you, not the world. But you two are always fighting. Yeah, well, I still think she's pretty cool. Not that I'd tell her. She'd laugh me off the planet. And don't you tell anybody either. You know I won't. Wow, if Seth gets out, you'll be slaughtered. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean lousy. Did I say funny? Trying to make sure the tents don't get stolen next? I'm trying to figure out who took the tapes. By staring at the tents. <laughs> what, are you psychic or something? No, it's, it's a little more scientific. You see, the tapes were in our packs in the tents. So I'm trying to think back to when somebody was here alone and had the chance to grab them. Cool. Can I play? Sure. Wait, first tell me, did you take them? No. Oh, did you? Do you seriously think so? No. OK, good. They were both innocent. Unless proven guilty. Banana, give me a break. The tapes, where are they? What? You think I took them? Where are they? Oh, what's the matter, Chief? Worry about something in that tape of yours getting out? Listen, <laughs> bring them back now. Whoa, whatever it is, must be something really bad to get you all bent like this. <laughs> Are 
are we, well, you and I both have alibis because we were always with somebody during the crucial period. Right, so who wasn't? That's the question. I mean, if they weren't someplace else, they could have been here. I came back to drop off my tape at around eight. You and Taylor were here. She was looking for nail polish or something. Then we all went to the beach. And we met Jackson. Jackson and I went off mm -hmm. to get coconuts. So where were Eric, Lex, and Melissa? Well, I saw Lex at the plane, but he went off with Taylor. OK, so I came back to camp around 9 to drop off coconuts. And Eric, Lex, Taylor, and Melissa were all there. And uh, Eric went off with Lex to the well. Yeah, I passed Eric and Lex on their way out when Jackson and I were coming in. Right, and you guys were looking for your sunscreen. And Lex had mine in your tent. So you ran off to catch him. I did. And Melissa left with me. I caught Lex and sent him back to camp to give mm -hmm. him the sunscreen. Uh, oh, you know what? Then I asked everybody if they wanted to play coconut catch. <laughs> uh, Lex was psyched, so he went to find other players. Oh, you know what? Wait. No, no, he came right back in because Eric came in. OK. Taylor didn't want to play, big surprise. And she was upset about something, another big surprise, so she went off to find you. Oh, yeah, she wanted me to sew a bun on her shirt. Wait. So Taylor came to you? Yeah. Was anybody else there? Just Melissa. That's it? Yep. Lex, Lex didn't come ask you to play? No, what are you thinking? Well, Jackson, Eric, and I were on the beach. And Lex said that he was going to go find you. He didn't. That's impossible. That's totally impossible. Nothing but static. Lex, you know I trust you more than anyone. And I'm sure there's always a good reason for whatever you do. What's the matter, Dad? All right, listen, Lex. We figured that the videotapes, they were stolen between 8 and 10 this morning. And you were the only one that was at the campsite alone then, so. Wait, you think I took them? Why would I do that? Very, very good question. I always thought it was him. But he didn't. Right, Lex? Oh, 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 oh. come on, Junior, fess up. I don't believe this. Lex! Oh, oh, oh. you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. Don't you dare say a word about this to anyone until we figure out what happened. Yeah, sure. My lips are sealed. His lips are so not sealed. You can run, but you can't hide. OK, don't act all innocent. Just give me my tape back. Well, I don't care about anybody else. Just give me a Just give me a back. You guys are too much. Us? He's the one that took the tapes, you little creep. Hey. Way to keep it quiet, Eric. Hey, just being a good citizen. Hand him over, Pee Wee. We don't know that he took them. Maybe we should just ask him. Lex. You know, whatever you say, I'll believe you. Speak for yourself. I just did. Now let him talk. I, I don't know what to say. I can't prove I didn't take them. See? Wait, is that a confession? Is that all you have to say? Obviously, he's not going to fess up. So I say we have a trial. You can't be serious. Why not? We're all civilized, right? As long as we're here, things like this are going to happen. So we need to figure out a way to deal. This is totally ridiculous. Really? No, it's not. 
I mean, we're all alone here, and we need to figure out a fair way to handle problems like this. Trial's a good idea. It is? I mean, it is. The video's gone. Where are they? You can't hide. You little creep. Let's start this. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking for here is the truth. Nothing more, nothing less. But I thought we were looking for the tapes. I intend to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that that man, or boy, or kid, or whatever, broke our sacred trust for each other. And like a thieving, uh, 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 thief, willfully and with reckless disregard for the laws by which we hold dear, crept into our Eric. home and... Yeah? Get over yourself. Fine. Lex took the tapes and I'm gonna prove it. <sighs> Counselor? Go ahead, Daly. Anything you wanna say? I'm innocent until proven guilty. I'm here to defend my brother and find the truth. Not exactly stirring. <laughs> Eric, what's your proof? Your Honor, I call the witness stand Nathan McHugh. <clears throat> there is no stand, and... <laughs> He's on the jury. Well, it's not like we have a whole lot of choices here, so. Fine, come on, Nathan. Can I stay here? No! When you're there, you're on the jury. When you're here, you're witness. Where do I go? Just sit. Maybe I have to just sworn in. Do you swear to tell the truth? Yeah. Okay, sit down. Mr. McHugh, would you please tell the court why you think Lex took the tapes in your own words? What other words would I use? And I don't know if he took the tapes. What, but I thought, let me rephrase. Why do you think he may have taken the tapes? Well, Dale and I tried to reconstruct what happened this morning, and we figured that Lex was the only one who was alone in the camp when the tapes were taken. Excuse me? Huh. You determine this along with the defendant's sister? Someone who has every reason to protect him yet came to this conclusion? Eric, give me a break. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. My prosecution rests. He's very good. That's it. What more is there to say? Lex took him and his story. Daily? Last chance. I have no questions for Nathan. I'd like to bring Lex up. Y you can stay there. Oh, swear him in. Lex, tell the truth. OK. Good enough. We have our differences. We've all said some stupid things and made some mistakes. But when things get serious, we know that we can rely on each other. And that's why we've survived. Right, Lex? Uh, yeah, right. The videotapes were a good idea. Whenever the stress got to be too much for anybody, we had somewhere to let off all of our steam and know that whatever was said would be private, like a diary. Right, Lex? Yep. But well, the only way this could work is if we had an honor system. Nobody could see anybody else's tape. And except for one unfortunate incident, we've all held to that system. Right, Lex? That's right. But now we're worried that our honor system is falling apart and somebody's watching our tapes and learning our innermost secrets. But there's something I don't get. I found the camera in its container where it's always been. Nobody took it. So 
If somebody wanted to watch the tapes, why didn't they take the camera? You can't watch them without the camera. Is that true? I have a theory. I don't think the thief wanted to watch the tapes at all. Or else they would have taken the camera, too. So why else would they take them? Objection! You can't talk! Sit down. God. Keep going. I'll bet the thief wasn't looking for secrets at all. I bet they were trying to hide one. I think the thief took the tape so that there would be no chance anybody would see it. Whatever that secret is, it's got to be so bad that it's got to make somebody willing to become a thief and take all the tapes to cover their tracks. Question is, who has something on their video that could be so bad that it would be disaster if everybody found out? At least one person knows, the thief. But I think I know who the thief is, and I guarantee you there's nothing on their video that could be that bad. That means the thief took the tapes to cover for somebody else. Right, Lex? Yeah, that's right. Wait. What? Wait. Wait. No. I knew it. Guilty as charged. No. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, I took them. But it was to keep them from you, Eric. Eric, Eric me? You went to the easy, easy. 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 I'm so confused. What's the story, Lex? Come on, Lex. It's over. You have to. Late yesterday, I saw something I shouldn't have. I saw Eric watching somebody else's videotape. What? You were spying on me? Eric? I knew we had something to do with this. Why'd you take the videos? Because I watched some of the tape, too. It was wrong, I know. I was as bad as Eric. And I saw something on that tape that wasn't supposed to be seen. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're watching, too, over my shoulder, no less, you little sneak. Eric, sit down. What'd you see, Lex? It was private, and I was afraid Eric would tell everybody about it. I figured if the tapes were gone, he'd have no proof to back it up. So, I took them. I'm sorry. All right. Yes, yes, it's true. I watched the tape. I'm the bad guy. But you know what? I'm glad I did. I discovered a secret about someone. And truth is, it could put us all in danger. Now, do you want me to keep a secret like that, or do you all want to know? Hmm? Don't say anything, Eric. Just stop talking. Maybe what I did was wrong, but what's more important, secrecy or safety? But you don't know the whole story. You're making too big a thing out of this. Am I? When I saw that tape, I saw something on there that scared me, and I think it would scare everybody. So I'll ask the jury, do you want me to tell the truth or me to keep a secret that might hurt us all? You know, just say it, Eric. All right. Secret is about you, Jackson. I think it's about time you told us the truth. anything, Eric. Just stop talking. All of our video diaries were stolen. And we had a trial, and it came out that Lex took them to protect somebody's secret. You know, just say it, Eric. 
All right. The secret is about you, Jackson. I think it's about time you told us the truth. What was it? Watch the tape. No, that's exactly why I took the tapes. So nobody could watch them. Nobody should watch anybody's tape. They're private. Hey, this is a trial, right? We should leave it up to the jury. Lex, listen, I appreciate what you've done, but get the tape. Jackson, no. Yes, just go get it. Thunder. Well, it's lightning you gotta worry about. I think we have a whole lot to be worried about. Can we please do this? Just play the part Eric's talking about and nothing else. So I feel pretty much alone on this island. I mean, my head's not in the same place as the others. And truth is, I'm in no hurry to get rescued. What? Listen. Of course, I don't want to eat coconuts for the rest of my life, but what if I had to go back to you? They won't let me see my mom. The foster home they put me in is fine, but it's no home. The school they got me going to is full of rich little spoiled kids. And after that guy got hurt the night before we left, I can guarantee that they're going to throw me back in Juvie Hall. Gosh. Who got hurt? And whatever it takes, I cannot go back there. That's enough. Sure is. Our mystery man is going to jail for hurting somebody. Can't that be true? Of course it is. He said it himself. Maybe we should let him explain. <laughs> Face it, boys and girls. We are living with a dangerous criminal who doesn't want to be rescued. We made him the boss. He's a troubled guy. Troubled? We're all troubled. Well, what are we going to do? Lock him up? He hasn't done anything to us. Yet. I'm in no hurry to get rescued. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, we're just, uh, Moving all the stuff into one tent to make room to ride out the storm together. Oh. Could you do me a favor? Yeah, sure, what? Give these back to everybody? No problem. He's a good guy, Day. I know. But you know, what he said was a little bit scary. That's not good. Something's coming. Hey, a little help? Ah, what happened? I stepped on a rock or something in the water. Ow! It hurts. Oh, it wasn't a rock. Uh, There's something in there. What? Get it out! Get it out! No, that'll hurt more. Leave it in! Leave it in! Okay, I'm gonna go get the first aid kit. Oh, no. oh, ew. Ew! Don't ew me! What is it? I don't know. It could be a piece of coral or a stinger or something. Ew! I've got a problem. Gee, you think? Jackson's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? I mean that his gear is missing and I can't find him anywhere. Where would he go? I have no idea. Can you feel the electricity in the air? No, but I can feel this harpoon in my foot! The storm is gonna be wicked. We gotta go look for him. What for? This is a guy who doesn't want to be rescued. I'm gonna go out to look for him. I'll go with you. Me too. Hey, remember me? Somebody's gotta take care of her. I'll do it. No, you're coming with us. All right, I'll stay with her. Thank you. No need. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You can't make me. OK, 
can make this as clear as I can. It's your fault he's out there. And you're gonna help us bring him back. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. When it starts raining, I'm gone. Mayday! Mayday! This is 2 Niner Delta, William November. We are alive. Mayday! Come on, Jackson, where are you? Jackson, come back! Oh, stupid, he could be anywhere. Jackson! Jackson! Ow! Relax, I need to get this out. That's it, I'm out of here. Eric! Hey, if you guys want to get stuck in a lightning storm looking for some low life who doesn't even like us, fine, your choice. I'm going back. Hey, it's okay, we'll do better without him. Jackson! Taylor? <laughs> Taylor, ta Taylor, come on. Oh, oh it hurts! Okay. Uh, oh, I need three hands, Lex! Lex, I need help! Like it was never there. I'm gonna faint. Oh, man. Am I gonna like swell up and die? Hopefully. What? You're gonna be fine. It was awful! She was like the medieval witch doctor or something! No, Jackson? No. Where's Eric? I thought he was with you. He started back an hour ago. He should be here. Now they're both lost out there. What are we gonna do? Shh, shh. What was that? Static in the storm? Yeah, but where's it coming from? The radio! Please identify your Was it a plane? Are we rescued? Mayday! We are the survivors of a plane 
strikes, no more legs. Don't be such a wife! Okay, well then you do it! Fine! Anything's better than being stuck here! Hello? Hello? This is Taylor Hagen, the one you've been looking for! Come and get me out of here! Hey! Ah! Oh my God! Am I okay? Am I okay? The antenna! Jason! No! We gotta put it back up! No! No! It's like a lightning rod! There's a plane up there and we can't... Ah! You know you can get fried there. Oh, yes! Oh, I'm saved! Oh. I've been looking over for you to get you back to camp. Really? Yes! You know where it is? It's that way. But I'm not going back. Hey, hey wait! Put it up. I don't know how, and my butt hurts. Oh, this is torture. Nobody get anywhere near the plane. We could get killed. We need to talk to them. Rescue is like right there. Daily, get everybody back to camp. Why? What are you gonna do? I'll unhook the radio and, and bring them back. Go now. We're sitting ducks out here. Hey, hurry. Hey, come on, Chief. You gotta come back. You, you need us. I don't need you. You sure don't need me. I'm scared, all right? I'm lost and I'm scared. I'm a jerk. What can I say? I'm sorry I gave up your secret. I really need your help, man. Killed trying to save us. That was totally stupid and incredibly brave. Daily saved my life. But did you talk to the plane? No. Lightning hit the antenna. I think the radio's toast. What? No comment, no criticism? No. I'm just glad you're safe. Everything's under control. I phone Jackson and I brought him back. Where is he? He's right there. He's right behind me. Jackson! Hey, stop! What are you thinking? There's a monsoon! So it won't last. I gotta try to find the others. 
Listen to me. Whatever happened back home doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Don't you see? Whether I like it or not, it follows me. You want to know what happened? I went home to my own neighborhood to tell them about this, this amazing adventure to the South Seas I was going on. And yeah, yeah, I was bragging. You know, I just wanted to, them to know that I was doing something worthwhile for a change. What's wrong with that? They said that I changed. That I was throwing in their faces that suddenly I was better than them. I thought I was talking to people who actually cared. So what happened? One guy stood up for me. One guy. He got shoved, and the fight broke out. I tried to break it up, but someone pulled a knife, and he got hurt. Is he okay? Yeah. But... And now the cops are after me. But if it wasn't your fault, then it... doesn't it... matter. I was there. I wasn't supposed to be. Someone got hurt. Where am I supposed to go now? You're already there. Without you, we'd be lost. True. We finally got it to work. Don't mess it up. We elected you. You can't resign. Sorry, Chief. Julianne. That was some party. Start from scratch. Eleven days. That's how long we've been stranded. All things considered, we were doing okay. Until the storm hit. 
trashed our camp, they destroyed most of our gear, and as a final farewell, it swept away the center of our world. The plane. Now there's nothing for the searchers to see from the air. That is, if they're still looking for us. So what do we do now? Start from scratch. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Let's just get the bad news over with. Well, we're almost out of packaged food. Everything got thrashed, including all the fruit we collected. That's OK. We'll just pick more. Where? All the fruit trees got stripped in the storm. We'll find more. What else? Well, with the plane gone, we don't have a solid place to store things or a marker to be seen from the air. And the radio's on board. Maybe that plane hurt us. Yeah, maybe there's a tooth fairy. That's not funny. Well, if they heard us, they'd probably be here by now. Well, we're down to one tent. What? We're all going to sleep in the same place? Gee, Eric, could you be a little more negative? Yeah. You said there was good news? Well, yeah. None of us got hurt. You guys, I can't believe it's been 11 days. Look, it's simple. OK, we just have to rebuild. Why don't we just... Okay, I'm so sick of this teamwork thing. What? Eric, Eric no! You guys keep on arguing about all these chores and rules and schedules. I'm starting to worry about the one thing that I care about most. Me. Come, come on, Eric! Jackson, stop him. Uh, it's his choice. We're falling apart. What's your opinion? Yeah. No more lugging water, no more picking fruit, no more taking orders. It's everyone for themselves now. Did you see this? I'm building my own shelter. No more listening to Nathan snore anymore. And hey, you should build one too. It's all about independence. Let Daly boss herself around for a change. Actually, that's pretty funny. Best thing of all is that I have nobody in charge of me. So I don't have to listen to anything Jackson has to say ever again. Way it's gonna be, Chief. Well, at least one thing positive came out of the storm. Yeah, what's that? Got you and Daly together. <laughs> We're not together. She saved your life. Yeah, it doesn't mean a thing. I, I still haven't told her how much I like her. Are you going to? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, if I get shot down, I'll have no place to hide. Truth is a good thing. Sure, unless she laughs at me. I'd have to start swimming home. <laughs> There's a lot of work to do, Taylor. I could use your help. In case you missed it, our whole world just got destroyed. There's nobody else to help us put it back together except us. Taylor, this isn't funny.
Would you please talk to her? wake-up call. Really? I'm so awake. We've got to rely on each other now more than ever. Exactly. You know, it's amazing how you and I think alike. Well, it's not about thinking. It's about doing. Right. There's no thinking and all doing. Wait, doing what? We've got to set an example. Exactly. We'll, we'll lead by example. It's not our job to lead. I'm, no. Yeah, no. There's no leading. Wait, I'm, I'm confused now. Jackson's our leader. If we're going to have a system that works, we've got to stick by that. He's got to take charge. We've got to back him up. It's really up to him. Got it. Just back up Jackson. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, I'm so glad we're not in competition anymore. Really? You know what? Since you brought it up, I thought that... I'm going to get some rope. Well, they're all crammed in that stinky tent. I'll be living large in my own private bungalow. Yeah, until the next storm. Go away. It's not done yet. Eric, you got to use sturdier trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go away. This teamwork thing. Jackson, stop Would him. Would you please talk to her? It's falling apart. Hey. Planning our next move? Yeah, something like that. Well, I'm not worried. You know, Eric's just being Eric, and Taylor's never been much help anyways, but... But Daly and Nathan aren't competing anymore, and you know I'm on your side, so all you gotta do is figure out a way to get us all on the same page. Is that all? <sighs> you know, Mel, I don't think everybody wants to be on the same page. doing? What does it look like? That belongs to the group. You can't use it for your personal shelter. <sighs> Tell you what, there's seven of us, so technically this is one-seventh mine. I'll only use it for one-seventh of the day, I promise. <laughs> until I knew it was going to work. With everybody being so down, now might be a good time to show it. What is it? Ta-da! <laughs> what's the matter? It's good, Lex, it really is. It's... So what's wrong? You know, it makes me feel like we're in bigger trouble than I thought. said much about what's going on. I wish you wouldn't ignore me. Taylor, this isn't funny. Hey, are you okay? Taylor. We can all sleep in the same tent, but that's gonna get old, so we should build a shelter. Maybe out of the wing. Yeah. And we need to organize groups. Some will hunt for fruit, others will fish. Um, We've got a problem. 
It's Taylor. <laughs> what else is new? She's totally non-functional. That's not new. This isn't funny. Everything that happened must have put her over the edge. It's like she's in shock or something. Yeah, she hasn't said very much. She hasn't said anything. That is weird. So what should we do? Jackson? Nothing. Stop trying to run people's lives. But Taylor's hurting. She'd be fine if you left her alone. Back me up on this one, Chief. You heard me say it's everyone for themselves. It is? Falling apart here, Jackson. You need to do something. Yeah, man. You're the leader. Lead us. <laughs> you guys don't need a leader. You need a referee. What does that mean? I didn't want this job in the first place. Okay, I'm not good at dealing with drama. That's part of being a leader. Yeah, which is why I think you'd be better at it than me. What are you saying? I'm saying I think maybe I should step back and let someone else take a shot. I'm gonna go check on Taylor. What just happened? I think he resigned. Nobody knows what to do about Taylor. We all want to help her, but how? I can't believe I gave Taylor a hard time for being lazy. I didn't know she was hurting. I. I just thought she was, doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't listen to them. If you want to sit there and vegetate, that's your right. <laughs> hey. <sighs> Having fun yet? Look, um, nobody here is as brave or as strong as they pretend to be. You know, you, you take a lot of grief. Of course, you give a lot of grief, too, but... And I think you're the only one that's, you know, truly honest. If you ever want to talk. Solid. Could probably use it as a wall. Hey. You here? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I was thinking about what Jackson said. And he's right. We argue about problems more often than solving them. And without a leader, it's only gonna get worse. Then maybe you should just do what he said. Take a shot at it. That's not funny. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. But I thought you wanted to be leader. I, I want what's best, you know? Maybe what's best is just I help you. You're serious? Come on. Hey, Mel, follow me. with me. No clue. Hey, Eric. We're having a meeting. Oh, OK. I'll be right there. What's going on? I'm calling a meeting, so get comfortable. <laughs> yeah, right. That's funny. <laughs> what about Eric? You coming? Uh, 
What's this about? It's about what Eric's doing. You know, and, and it's about all of us. All right, guys, we've been stuck 11 days, and we're starting to have doubts. But I have no doubt in my mind. Okay, we will be rescued. It might be soon, it might be longer, but we will be rescued. We've survived a plane crash. We've found food, we've found water, we've been through sickness and storms and injuries and bugs, and we're still here. And I think there's only one reason for that. It's because we all play a part. We can criticize and argue and complain all we want, but the bottom line, we need each other. Now, every choice we make, it affects us all, but we don't always agree. So we need somebody to keep us focused. We need a leader. Now, Jackson has done a great job, but he doesn't want to do it anymore, and that's cool. But we still need someone. And not somebody to be the boss, not to order us around, but to keep us from spinning out of control. And I think it's pretty obvious who that person should be. We all need to take responsibility. Because if we don't, it won't matter how long it takes for those rescue plans to come. Because we won't make it. Okay, it's as simple as that. If we don't stand together, we won't make it. <laughs> now that is funny. <laughs> Unless it involves pizza, doubt it. Ow! Labs! What you do? Said booby traps? Oh! I think I liked it better when she wasn't talking. <laughs> I was afraid the storm would wash it all away, but I had it pretty well protected. Wow! This is the best looking chunk of plastic I've ever seen. Wait. I started this right after we crashed. I just didn't want to show you guys until I knew it was going to work. Pretty soon, we'll have our own source for food. It's a garden. There's tomatoes, squash, melons, corn, even potatoes and carrots. Oh, Lex, that's incredible. Where'd you get the seeds? Mostly from the packaged food, but I found some things growing wild. Wait, so you're saying you planted tomatoes and we're going to get, like, more tomatoes? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. That's like magic. Lex, this is amazing. How long before we get fruit? Depends on the plant. We might start seeing something in a couple of months. All right, so the good news is we'll have a decent food supply in a couple of months. Bad news is we might be here to eat it.
Are you asleep? Yes. Well, I'm not anymore. Someone needs to tell Lex to turn off his light. I can't sleep. You need to tell him. Hey, Peewee! Go to sleep! Huh? Ow! Ow! Toenails! Oh, Ow, knees! Go to sleep! I'm trying to. Why are you outside? It's raining. What is the deal? I can't sleep because of that light. Then you go sleep outside. Not to be the one to point fingers. But you stink, Taylor. It's cool. Just move over here. Oh, you're a dog. No, no, no. You're a dog. You gotta get a bigger tent. I love you, people. I do. But sleeping together in that mosh is just. You. It's true. We gotta build a shelter. One for boys, one for girls. Ah, uh, that's two shelters? One shelter and one tent. I called dibs on the tent. We can build something by the fire where it's nice and warm. Really? I called dibs on the shelter. But there are no trees here. Don't we need trees for protection? Well, a lot good that did us last time. Wherever we build it, it's gonna be tough making it comfortable. I called dibs on the tent. I like sleeping on sand. But a shelter won't be sealed like the tent. You have to build it off the ground to stay dry. Double dibs on the tent. That's a lot of work. Yeah, too much work. And it's got to stand up to another storm. So let's build a platform. Maybe like the sand. It's got to be near the fire or it'll get real cold. We'll just move the fire over there. Dibs on the shelter. Fire under the trees, not smart. Dibs on the tent. Wait, who's going to build this thing? Whoa! I call dibs on... Wait, what are we doing again? We're arguing. Again. We can't let everything turn into a fight, guys. You're the boss. Tell us what to do. Well, let's try something new. We'll vote. That's not new. Well, yeah, it is. The first time was to elect a leader. Yeah. Yeah, this is about everybody having a say in what happens. Guys, it's like a democracy. And there's seven of us, so no ties. Exactly. If it works, we'll just vote every time we have an issue. Who's up for it? Done. See, that wasn't so hard. Wait, but all we did was vote to vote. I mean, what are we going to vote on next? How to vote? No, it's simple. Who's in favor of building a new shelter? Done. We build. Now, where are we going to build it? Who says, by the fire? OK, that's five out of seven. Done. We built here. Now, do we build it on the sand for comfort, or do we build it off the ground to keep dry? Who says sand? Who says off the ground? Done. Four to three. We build a platform. Now, who's going to sleep on it, boys or girls? That's not fair. They have one more than us. You're right. Debate? Maybe we should build it first, then decide. Okay, who agrees with Melissa? Done. It worked. <laughs> who knew? Go daily. I've still got dibs on whatever. People, we have a democracy.
have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. Please dial again. Please dial a... Please, are you sure you know the number? We gotta keep the sand off of this thing. It'll be easier to see from the air. Are we gonna use this for the shelter? I don't know, you know, maybe it'll be better if we leave it here, you know, so it can be seen. Maybe we should get Daly to vote on it. <laughs> really? You know, I gotta tell you, I was impressed. That was pretty cool she stepped up. Things are gonna be so much easier now. It's like a whole new beginning. Yeah, I think so, too. You know, and uh, that's why I've decided to tell the truth. Seriously? Yeah, I'm gonna tell her how much I like her. You're not worried it's gonna make things weird. I'm totally worried, but I, I gotta be honest. You're doing the right thing. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Talk to me again after I tell her. <laughs> hey! What's that? It's mine. Don't tell anyone. Hey! What's that? Looks old. Okay, for a deserted island, it's getting pretty crowded. That's not from the plane. Yeah, what's in it? Maybe it's a radio, or a map, or tools, or... Or, or whatever it is, it's mine. Now get your greedy little eyes off of it. Stop! Ow! Now what? That looks like an old ammo box, probably from the Second World War. Thanks for the history lesson. Now go away! Everybody back off. Did I miss something? If there's ammo in there, even if it's old, you hit it the wrong way, and kaboom! Yeah, right. No way. What you doing? Oh, uh, figuring out where the shelter should go. Hey, Daly. There's something I want to talk to you about. What? Uh, this, it's, it's kind of weird. You guys gotta see this. Eric found an old ammo box. Whoa, cool. Come on, tell me on the way. Um, no, it's, it's okay, it can wait. Could it really explode? Well, probably not, but it's rusted shut and Eric wants to smash it open. Gunpowder and smashing don't mix. Well, if there's any chance of that happening, we should just bury it and forget it. So what do you think of Daly's voting idea? In Daly's democracy? It's a little idealistic. Why? Because everyone's gonna do what they want regardless of how the vote goes. Well, not if we all agree to the principle. I mean, everybody wants a democracy, right? Yeah, sure, until the vote doesn't go their way. I think you're wrong. This is gonna work. We'll see. Okay, so I worked out a construction plan, subject to everyone's agreement. First off, Lex should design the shelter. Who better, right? Yeah, cool, hey, Lex. Lex. Everyone's okay with that? 
Okay, great. Phase one, Jackson and Nathan will cut down bamboo and trees for construction materials, and Taylor and Melissa will weave husks into twine. I'll collect palm fronds for the roof. And since we're all working so hard, we're gonna need some extra water from the well, and that's Eric's job. Big surprise. So, is that okay with everyone? Yes, very efficient. Now, can we please talk about something important? Like? Like, what's in that box? I mean, I think it belongs to everybody. Whoa, 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 Joe. Finders keepers. We're supposed to share everything. No, we shouldn't even open it up. I think we should at least find out what's in it. Doesn't matter. It's mine. End of discussion. How about we put it up to vote? You vote? This box is mine. You guys can fetch yourself some water. Wait. If he doesn't have to do his job, I'm not going to do mine either. Wait! Eric, wait! So goes the shortest democracy in history. A democracy is so right. It would solve all our disputes. But right now, it's only making new ones. You're the smart one. Figure out how to open it. See? Hey. Mouthwash for everybody. Shampoo and conditioner for me. Deodorant. Also for everyone. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Hello? The box is mine. Get off the phone! Wait! Whose fantasy is this? Uh, no. Jackson's sawing a tree over there, and Melissa's weaving. Taylor and Eric? <laughs> what do you think? The only way a democracy is gonna work is if everyone wants it to work. Well, don't stress. They'll come around. So, uh, what'd you want to talk to me about? Uh, um... You know how we always had this competition thing? Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing, somewhere along the line... Hey, check this out! I actually started Whoa, to... Whoa, let me, let me help you with that. Yeah. No, it's cool, Nathan. We already said it. No more competition. Anybody there? Nathan, is that you? Over. Daily? Is there something more you wanted to say to me? Over. Well, yeah, but... Go for it. Over. Okay, I'll just say it. Is there any chance that you and I might, you know, go out or something? <laughs> Over. Thank you. 
Well, it's a good start. We all worked hard. Well, at least some of us, anyway. But, uh, there's no way of knowing what lies ahead, and... All we can do is make the best of what we've got. And... It's official. We've broken ground on our new home. Started to build a new life. Ah, oh, gee, can we make this any more depressing? Oh. Are you gonna open that box or not? I'll do it. No, 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 no! I don't want a shirt. I swear to God. Ah! All yours. Oh, uh, on second thought, I'd like to share it with everybody. It's empty, right? Not exactly. Looks like stuff that belonged to a soldier. I wonder how old it is. Well, here's a letter. Wow. It's dated July 1944. It's World War II. It's like a time capsule. This is a letter he wrote home. Read it. Mom, Dad, I know I keep writing, but there isn't much else to do except sit around and wonder what's going to happen. I'm bored and nervous at the same time. This tropical island is hot, but it's beautiful. And I'm deployed with a, a great bunch of guys. It doesn't matter that we're all so different. We're in this together, and that helps a lot. Yeah, we're scared. We're all scared. But when things get tough, there's always somebody there to help get you through. I can't imagine being here without them. Try not to worry, I'm doing okay. And I'm gonna make it home. Now, if those are just dog tags, you didn't make it. And neither did this letter. Like 60 years from now, I don't want somebody reading an old letter to find out what happened to us. I want to tell him myself. That's my fault. Taylor? Everything cool? How's the design coming? This is tough. The shelter's gotta be strong enough to handle a storm, but comfortable enough to sleep in. I have total faith in you. I wish I did. <laughs> Taylor, are you okay? belongs to this. <laughs> That's Nathan. No, it's definitely mine. It smells like armpits. What was it doing in my sleeping bag? Oh, <laughs> better question. What are you doing holding it with my underwear? <laughs> I really hope this works. It will. You haven't let us down yet. 
There is not enough room in that grungy dungeon for me, a bunch of hygiene-impaired boys, and the stench of toe jam. Build a shelter! Build it now! Get me out of here! Grungy dungeon? I really hope this works. Hey! Hey. Look at this! Oh, it looks like a old fishing net. I can pull it apart and make all sorts of twine for the shelter. It's really great. Gee, Nathan, can you be a little less enthused? <laughs> I'm sorry. I... My head's not here, you know? Where is it? I think I changed my mind again. About? I'm not going to tell Daly how I feel about her. Nathan, you're making yourself crazy. I know, I know. It's... If, if I tell her how much I like her, and she doesn't feel the same way, it'll be totally awkward. And it's not like we can avoid each other. Yeah, that's not an option. I just gotta get over it until we get rescued. Can you do that? I'm gonna try. And don't tell anybody about this. Nathan. Give me a break. I don't tell secrets. <laughs> Poor guy. I know how hard it is to keep feelings bottled up, especially when it's so lonely here. I'm glad he confides in me. Talking helps. Very cool. Will it work? I think so. It won't be easy to build, though. But it'll be so worth it. Hey, don't stress. You've never let us down. That little brainiac better know what he's doing, because we're already doing way too much work on this thing. And since the guys are doing all the heavy lifting, I say we get the shelter. Unless it's a mess. Then we'll let the girls have it. Hey! 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 Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> Stay in the game, partner. We're trying to build a shelter, not a hospital. <sighs> what is wrong with me? I'm, I'm obsessing over a relationship that doesn't even exist. No, that can never exist. Rip. It's no good. What? This took me like an hour to cut down. No thanks to Nathan. Eric, it's not strong enough to handle the stress. Stress? What are we building? A hut or a suspension bridge? Eric, if he says it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Oh, and he would know because he's an engineer, right? Hey, just back off. Hey, stop defending him. If he's smart enough to tell us what to do, he's smart enough to stand up for himself. And you should be smart enough not to fight with a kid. Hey, Daly's right. Okay, if Lex says it's not gonna work, then we'll just find something else. You find something else. <laughs> Why is Nathan taking Daly's side all the time? Weren't they like natural enemies? You don't think those two are- No! No. I think Daly's the new leader, and Nathan's just trying to help her. You know, um, make things go smooth. Yeah, I guess. Yikes, that was close. Nathan's got to be careful. That one. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. This is so great, doing this together. It is? Yeah. I'm so glad we're not in competition anymore. I mean, who needs all that extra noise, right? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, we should cut this right about there. There's something creepy going on, and I think I know what. I mean, who? 
I mean, I don't know what I mean, but it's creepy. We've got trouble. So what else is new? Nathan's up to something. Like? Like? He's being really nice to Daly, and he doesn't even like her. It's not like we have a whole lot of choices for friends around here. No, this isn't about friendship. It's way bigger than that. What's it about? This is about control. What? Think. Melissa is Nathan's friend, and Lex is Daly's brother. So, if Daly and Nathan are in cahoots every time there's a vote, they'll always win, four to three. Cahoots? Eric! We are never gonna get a say in anything if those two control freaks get together. Do you wanna spend your life lugging water? He has been acting strange. Who's been acting strange? We know why Nathan's been so nice to Daly. You do? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm He's building up a power base so he can run our lives. What? It's so obvious. He even got us to make Daly our new leader. Yeah, that's right. I bet he even convinced Jackson to quit so Daly could take over and start this whole boating thing. Uh. It's diabolical. But it's not true. Then why is he acting so strange? Yeah. Uh, help. I don't know. Um, maybe he's not feeling right. I mean, he almost got hit by lightning, remember? So what, are you saying he's sick? No. I don't know. Maybe. That's no excuse. I'm not going to let them control my life. No way. <laughs> Everybody's counting on me. If this doesn't work, we'll be sleeping in that crowded tent for a long time, and it'll be my fault. You, my friend, have been duped. Yeah, why is that? Well, everybody's doing their hard work. Nathan's scheming to control our lives. That doesn't sound like Nathan. It's true. He's trying to get in tight with Daly, so whenever there's a vote, it'll go their way. And watch, I'll get all the bad jobs. You say that like there's some good jobs. Hey, did you know he twisted things so you'd resign as leader and Daly would take over? I resigned as leader because Daly's better at dealing with the drama. Yeah! And who's causing this drama? Nathan! Eric, stop spreading rumors! Uh, don't listen to her. She's in cahoots with them. Huh. There's a whole lot of cahooting going on. We're not in cahoots! Whatever that is. We're friends. Nathan confides in me. What's he talking about? Yeah. Tell him. You said it. Nathan's been acting weird ever since he almost got struck by lightning. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Sort of. But... But he almost died. I think that would make anybody act a little strange. So, so he's hurt? No, yes. I don't know. Maybe he's not feeling like himself. So you're saying his brain got fried? Oh, give me a break. Oh, God, I think a lot of brains are fried around here. What do you mean by that? What am I supposed to do? I want to keep Nathan's secret, but the more I say, the worse it gets. Ah! How's the building going? Good. Slow. Look, um, is there something going on between you and Nathan? Like what? Eric says you two are plotting world domination. That's ridiculous. Yeah, well, that's Eric. So why would you say something like that? I don't know. I guess Nathan hasn't been acting like himself. I mean, Melissa says he may have gotten hurt in the storm. Yeah, he has been a little distant. 
But he'd say something if we're serious, wouldn't he? Maybe he doesn't want anybody to know. I'm a little busy. This can't wait. And neither can this. Oh, no. What? Look out! Oh, oh, oh. This is my fault. No, it's not. I made this way too complicated. This will never work. Yeah, it will. It's, it's a good plan, Lex. You haven't let us down yet. I wish people would stop saying that. Let's just clean this up. Wait. Everybody thinks there's something going on with you and Daly, and I don't know what to tell them. What are they saying? Well, Uh-oh. What happened? Nothing. It's just a little accident. No biggie. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just a minor setback. No, I mean with you. It's all good. Well, um, how about you take a break? I mean, you've been working harder than everyone. We'll clean up. Okay. Hey, Daly? Yeah? I, uh, I uh, you know, no, never, never mind. Never, never mind. I can't let out, I can't let go. Too many people trying to tell me how I feel. Too many pieces that don't add up, that don't seem real. And so the story goes. Circles in my mind I'm thinking about you all the time I try pushing it away But it comes back around It comes back around Circles in my head All of the things I should have said Wish I could tell you now But I don't know how Cause I'm stuck inside Circles in my mind That's why Nathan's been acting so goofy. What, N now what am I missing? It's all there. Walks on the beach, kicking sand, looking all droopy. The only thing missing is a weepy song and a sunset. I'm lost. And blind, look at that. Nathan is trying to hook up with Melissa. Yeah! She's always saying how he's confiding in her all the time. Mm-hmm. That's how it starts. First it's confiding, then it's walking on the beach. Next thing you oh, know... no, no, no. I don't need that image. Wait, so there's no secret plan? Oh, there's a secret. But not for long. Jackson, this hurts me as much as it does you. I mean, after all, Nathan and I used to go out. Okay, now what? Well, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but Melissa doesn't have a crush on you anymore. And you know this because? Because she, Nathan, or, you know. In cahoots. Be cahoots. What is it, Taylor? I mean, first there's some evil plot, then Nathan's sick, and now there's a romance? You're having trouble keeping your story straight. Look, I'm 
I'm just reporting what I see. Fine. Let's stop guessing and put it on the table. Mm-hmm. Why is Nathan suddenly sticking up for Daly? We're friends. Nathan confides in me. Is there something going on between you and Nathan? <sighs> Will someone please explain to me what's going on with Nathan? Something's going on with Nathan? Well, Eric tells me that he and Daly here are plotting to take over the island. What's up with that? That's what Taylor told me. Well? I saw them getting all cozy, and then Melissa confirmed it. I didn't confirm anything. You said that Daly and Nathan were getting all friendly to make things go smooth. What was I supposed to think? That makes no sense. Really? I didn't mean And what's this about Nathan getting hurt in the lightning? Nathan got hurt? She said he's been acting weird ever since he almost died. Everybody can see that. Nathan almost died? But I, I was only guessing. And now that... it's about Melissa and Nathan hooking up. What? Mm -hmm. Don't act all innocent. We see you two together, cahooting. And confiding. Mm -hmm. Admit it. You said there's a whole lot of confiding going around. And cahooting. How did I miss all this? Oh, we're friends. Apparently. Keeps coming right back to Melissa. What's the deal now? There's no deal. What's the truth? Yeah, he knows that much. Just be honest. How come nobody tells me anything? But. But is there something we should know? Yeah, what does the story keep on changing? Maybe it's you and Nathan that are trying to take over. Stop! I was only trying to keep from saying that Nathan is in love with Daly. <gasps> Nobody tells me anything. of them, in including Daly. I'm sorry. I tried to keep your secret, Nathan, but the more I covered for you, the more questions got asked, and the more lies I had to tell. It all just unraveled. So you're saying I can't trust you? That's not fair. You know you can trust me. Being a secret is tough when you have to lie. I, I'm, I'm sorry. If I just had the guts to tell the truth in the first place, this never would have happened. What are you gonna do? I have no idea. Phase one is complete. So I can sleep here tonight? No more random odors? You can if you want, but it's only a roof. Oh. So does this work? Well, wind and rain don't always come from the same direction. The angle of the sun changes too. With this, we can put the roof in the perfect position for the most protection. That is great. There's more, it swivels too. We're covered, no matter what gets thrown at us. I need to do it. We gotta talk. Yeah. days. It's our two week anniversary. Building the shelter is a lot of work, but it's been good. We're all working together and it helps to keep our mind off of all more serious stuff. So nobody's complaining. Make that almost nobody. People, I'm trying to be a real team player here, but is there anything else I can do besides lug this water from that well? Yeah, sure. Can you lash? I don't even know what that is. Oh, but then I gotta stay here. I'm sorry. I'll take over for you. Stop. I get it. 
Hey, uh, we trade jobs? Sure. Can you braid? This is a conspiracy. Uh, want to get some water? You want to do laundry? Hey, could you, uh... Never mind. So, uh, you're not making rope, or doing laundry, or cutting down a tree, so... Want to lug some water? <laughs> you know, for a second I thought you were serious. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> That's good. I want to water. Uh, Daly and I have been in competition since we were kids. And, and I never even looked at her like a girl. Until now. Just... <laughs> With everything that's happened, I kind of started to like her. I mean, really like her. But I didn't want to make things weird. You know, so I, I didn't tell her. And then Melissa sort of accidentally let it slip. Now things are just totally awkward. The next move is mine. I'm pretty much clueless. Hey. Hi. We, we should probably talk. You know, about what Melissa said? Yeah. But, um, maybe now's not the time. Come on. I want to show you something. What? Just something. Okay, I'm calling for a vote. On what? On whether I should be the one doing all the grunt work. Oh, come on, Eric, we're all working hard. Not like me. I've been lugging so much water from that well that my knuckles are dragging to the ground. Now there's an image. Seriously, I am about ready to scream. What is it? It's Godzilla. Oh. It is Godzilla. Seriously, what is it? It's a really, really big lizard. No, that's no lizard. It's like Jurassic Park in there. Is it dangerous? Lizards aren't poisonous, but they can bite a little. A little? That monster will gnaw off your foot! So how do we get it out? It's over. I'm done. Uh, oh, come on. It isn't fair. Hey, I've carried more water than everyone, and that's a fact. You know, this is the most important job here. Would you really want to trust me with it? Ooh. Yeah, I could work. I mean, I could screw things up with all the boiling and uh, the filtering and the boiling. <laughs> We do. I'll get it out. You, you guys take off. Okay. Bye. You sure? Yeah. I'll help. Me too. No, no, no. You're coming with me. It's only 
only a lizard. I don't care. Come on. I'll stay too. Be careful. Any ideas? Uh, why don't we open up the flap? Maybe it'll come out on its own? Other ideas? You must be scared. Good. That makes all of us. Okay, so now. <sighs> hey, what was all that screaming? I hate this place. I really do. A lizard got into the tent. Oh, that was no lizard. That was a science experiment gone bad. The others are trying to coax it out. Whoa. The fire's out. Hey, you're right. How did that happen? Where's the lighter? It should be in there. It's not. But this is the only place we use it. Interesting. Well, until we can start a fire, I guess there's no use in me getting any more water. It's a lure mount. Do lizards eat fruit? Don't look at me. This could take a while. We could take turns keeping watch. I'll stay first. Okay, if that thing comes out, do not go anywhere near it. Oh, don't worry. Are you sure you're good to stay? Yeah. It's not like it's gonna run over here and eat me. Is it? It's wet. Somebody put it out. Why would they do that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you can't boil water without a fire, and you can't make a fire without a lighter, so there's no need to lug water from the well. This is just so far-fetched. Who would do something like that? What? Where's the lighter, Eric? <laughs> Excuse me? You really think I'd stoop that low just to get out of some brutal, thankless job? Empty your pockets. <laughs> this is insulting. There. Are you embarrassed now? Where'd you put it, Eric? Is it gone? Not yet. We put some fruit down to lure it out. Wait, you're giving it food? Now it's never gonna leave. Do lizards eat fruit? Depends on the kind of lizard. And something that big eats meat. I didn't need to hear that. Hey, what happened to the fire? Eric put it out and then hid the lighter. Whoa, 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 Joe, you don't know that. Why? To get out of fetching water. If there's no fire, we can't boil it. You know, I think that lighter's going to turn up any second now. Yeah, as soon as you tell us where it is, Eric. Just tell us where you put the lighter. Okay, just stop. No. What? What are you doing? Checking things. Checking what? Did you know you're mixing colors? That's very bad. That is true. I didn't want to say anything. What was that? I don't know. It sounds like a shell down there. 
No. No, no, no. Can you be any stranger? Yeah, what is your deal? Found the lighter. I really hope somebody knows how to start a fire without that. I, I didn't know it was in the hole. How could have it gotten down there? Because you hid the lighter in the laundry, Eric. It must have fallen out when I picked it up, and that's why you got all squirrely when I put the clothes in the water. This wasn't supposed to happen. Eric, without that lighter, we have no fire. That means no cooked food and no clean water. Ah! Have I mentioned how much I hate this place? are gone yet. No, we've got a problem. You think? It's not a he, it's a she. I think it's making a nest. You mean like for baby dinosaurs? In my sleeping bag? Ah! Can this day get any worse? This is all my parents' fault. Go for it. You want to know where they went this vacation? Switzerland? To ski? I could have gone too, but they convinced me to go to Plow. No, you know what? They insisted. It was almost like they didn't want me on their trip or something. Hard to believe. I could have been sitting in front of a romantic fire, looking at an alp, sipping hot chocolate with some hottie named Lars. But instead, I'm sharing a stinky tent with a lizard and Eric, which is the same thing. I'm sick of coconuts. I hate fish. My clothes are getting ruined and they chafe. I've never gone two weeks without highlighting my hair or two days without shaving my legs. I want caffeine. I want a new magazine. I want bubble gum and chocolate. I want to go to school. How desperate is that? I want toilet paper. I want a bath. Not a shower, a bath with warm, soapy water. I want to see a movie, any movie, even if it's a stupid one with a car crash and guys high-fiving. But most of all, I want to see another face that doesn't look at me with that same pathetic look of desperation and boredom that I have. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> what, you think that's funny? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Fine. Uh, I'm glad somebody's enjoying my agony. Years from now, when I look back and think about this nightmare, you know what I'm going to remember most? What? That when things got really bad, you always made me laugh. Thanks for letting me vent. No problem. We've got a real problem here. Yeah. No fire, no water. And no tent. There's a monster playing house in there, remember? No, I'm talking about something bigger. Bigger than safe drinking water? Eric did something wrong. I'm sure he didn't mean for it to get so bad, but is that an excuse? What he did hurt our chances for survival. Oh, come on. Eric, we can't start a fire without that lighter. We tried, remember? So what are you saying? Call it what you want. Breaking the rules, being negligent, selfish, whatever. I think we've got to come up with a way to deal when someone hurts the group. Oh, please. What do you mean, deal? We had a trial when Lex took the videotapes. This isn't about guilt. It's about preventing people from doing something wrong in the first place. Because we don't have a government or police or parents or teachers or anybody in authority. So we have to handle this ourselves. So what do you want to do? Think of some kind of punishment? 
punishment is crazy. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, how else can we get people to think twice before doing something that might hurt us? Shouldn't that be automatic? Yeah, you'd think. No, 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 this was just an accident. It wasn't. You hid the lighter, and now we can't make fire. Guys, this is getting to a scary place. We're talking about making laws. And doling out punishment. And building a society. I don't see any rescue ships on the horizon. We've got to figure out a way to deal when stuff like this happens. I mean, what's the alternative? Jungle law? Or survival of the fittest? Lord of the Flies? We agreed to vote on issues. Does this count? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so if we all agree that somebody did something wrong, what do we do about it? Well, that's the hard part. But we all have to take responsibility for our actions. If there isn't some sort of punishment, What's going to stop people from doing whatever they want, no matter who it hurts? OK, you, you make me sound like some kind of axe murder. All I did was hide the lighter. And kill the fire. That's enough. Who thinks Eric should be punished for what he did? <laughs> this is a joke, right? You too? We don't have fire, Eric. That's your fault. Man, let's not make a bigger deal out of this than it is. But it is a big deal. OK, fine. Then why don't we just think of something Eric can do to make up for what he did? If I could build a fire, I would, but I can't. So what are you going to do? Send me to jungle jail? Oh, whoa. I have an idea. Right now, we have nowhere to sleep. Maybe Eric should be the one to go in the tent and get that lizard out. It might not be as big a deal as making fire, but it's going to be a real problem when the sun goes down. Is everybody good with that? Let's just get this over with. We've reached a crossroad. It's not about a ruined lighter, or fire, or even about Eric. What happened today is about how we're going to govern ourselves. Our survival depends on it. This is the first and last time something like this is going to happen. I wish I believed that. Man, it's a dangerous place to go. What if he gets hurt? How's that fit in your little social structure? OK. Bad idea, Eric. No, if we're going to do this, we can't back down. <sighs> no, forget it, Eric. Come out of there. Everybody happy? Did I pay my debt to society? Now, can we figure out how to start that fire? So I guess you're the only one who knows that I had a pet iguana at home. You owe me. Today was a scary day. The lighter's broken, which means we can't make fire, which means we don't have to save drinking water, which means that, which means yesterday was a scary day. And it all happened because Eric was being lazy. 
I, I just wish there was some way to get him to start thinking about somebody other than himself. And I still haven't talked to Daly about us. I mean, this is getting way too complicated. And now I think she's avoiding me. Hey. Hey. So I, I, I uh, wanted to you know, no, talk to you. I'm going to still keep collecting firewood because, I mean, we're going to get the fire started eventually, right? Yeah. Yeah. But listen, listen I, I wanted to talk to you. You know, you know I think Lex will figure it out. I hope so. Yeah. But, uh. We, we really should. It's amazing the stuff he comes up with. I mean, I knew he was smart, but I didn't realize that he could. D Daily, I know this is awkward, but we should talk about it. The fire? No, about what Melissa said. About you and I and. No way! Isn't that crazy? No, look! Oh, man! I think maybe our luck has just turned. <laughs> be so tough on Eric about the lighter. I mean, the lighter fluid was almost gone anyway. So why did you vote to punch him? I don't know. Why can't people just do the right thing? Guys! Guys, you're not gonna believe it. It's incredible. Is it a rescue ship? No, it's not that incredible. What is it? Come see what the tide brought in. Surprise! Whoa. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh man, it's been worked. It was probably rolling around at the bottom of the ocean. But it's still solid. Yeah, real solid for a wreck. Hey, I have an idea. This plane is like a structure, so. How about we drag it up to the fire pit to be our shelter? And what about the shelter we're building? Well, we'll still use it. This will just be the foundation. Yeah, we'll have way more space to live in. It'll definitely stand up in a storm. Wait, you're not talking about a shelter. It's like a condo. Yeah, so? So isn't that kind of like saying we're going to be here for a long time? We don't know how long we're going to be here. Minor detail. Do you know how much work it's going to be? Drag this all the way to the fire pit? Eric, if you don't want to help, just don't. Well, that's not the point. I'm sure it is. I think it's a good idea. What do you think, Jackson? I think we have other problems to solve first, like the fire. And food. If we don't find food, it's not going to matter where we sleep. OK. I have a suggestion. Nathan can try to get the fire going again. <laughs> Why? Because he did such a great job last time. Oh, man. I'll get it done. And um, Jackson, Melissa, Taylor, Lex, and I will uh, go on a fruit safari. What about me? I'm caring less and less about what you do, Eric. Okay, fine. They don't trust me. <laughs> do I care? I'm a free agent now. I can do anything I want. And it's cool. What are you doing? I'm doing a video diary. Just. Pretend I'm not here. I've tried, believe me, it doesn't work. When we get rescued, people are gonna wanna see what really happened. And I'm gonna have the proof. Next stop, Oprah. Have fun. Oh, and uh, watch out for the wild boars. Wild boars? 
Nobody told me anything about killer pigs. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on things back here. Let me take a shot. I got it. No, seriously, I'm fresh. Just let me try. Well, if you just hold it. Wait, stop, all right? It's your fault we got to do this in the first place. So just go away. Hey, I paid my debt to society. I just want to help. Don't pretend like you care. I do. Yeah, about you. Give me a break. I've done my share of work. <laughs> sure, as long as you get something out of it. This isn't fair. It's over, Eric. OK, we all know what a load you are. Fine. If that's the way it's going to be, cool. When you want help, don't come crawling to me. I'll try to remember that. <sighs> don't look at me. Just keep going. Pretend like this is real. Let's go that way. Wait. I think we'll find more fruit that way. You mean uh, the way that has less jungle so it's easier to walk through? Exactly. Fine. You do that. Dreaming. you should stop complaining. We're all trying our best here, and it doesn't help to have somebody always whining about how tough things are, especially when they don't do anything to help make it better. And cut. Eric. Huh? What are you doing? You didn't want my help. Daly didn't want my help. Everybody wants me out of the way, so I'm out of the way. You really don't get how much we rely on one another, do you? Oh, I get it. As soon as something goes wrong, people start pointing fingers and then give out punishment. Oh, that's teamwork. You have no idea what teamwork is. Oh, and you do? I look out for everybody. OK, not just me. Wow, you're my hero. And it's that attitude that gets everybody ticked at you. OK, coach. Tell me something to do. And don't say it's lugging water from that well. OK. OK, come here. We're going to move the plane to the fire pit, right? Oh, uh, not too enthused about that. Why don't you start ripping out things we can use and make the plane lighter? Yeah, but I'm still not convinced we should be moving it. There you go again making excuses so that you don't have to do anything. And then the rest of us have to make up for what you did. I can't get out. I'm trapped here, man. Get me out of here. Are you hurt? I don't think so, but I can't move. Oh. 
Daily kind of went off on you. I can't help it if I don't have survival skills. I mean, the furthest I've ever had to walk was from a bad parking spot at the Galleria. See, that's not true. You can fish. Now I can too, thanks to you. You wedged under metal. I think my boot's trapped. It's cool, it's cool. Um, when the group gets back, we'll just roll it off. Yeah. You should have seen the look on your face when you figured out all those fishing tips were from me. <laughs> yeah, well, no offense, but I don't see you uh, heading down the old fishing hole at the crack of dawn looking to bag some trout. <laughs> well, my, my father took me when I was little. Oh. All the time. I hated getting up early. I hated baiting the hook, and I hated the cold. But I love being with my dad. I don't tell people that. It's not exactly me. Tell you what, I'll keep your secret if you help me do some fishing. Okay. The tide's coming in. If it gets too high, you know, I'll, I'll go see if they're back. Okay? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, just hurry. Can't last long out there. Look, I wrote a note. They're gonna be back any minute. Stop. I'm not going another step. Would you please stop being such a prima donna? Oh, this isn't about me. This is about you. You're leading us in circles. I am not. And stop shooting this. I'm not shooting. I'm watching what I already shot. Look familiar? I don't care how many times we pass this tree, there aren't any bananas here. And there won't be any bananas five minutes from now when we come by again. She's right. This is the exact same tree. And um, who do you think made this trail? Wild boars? Oh, we have been walking in circles. Now, uh, can we do this my way? Don't say a word. Oh, uh, you sure you're not hurt? Yeah. Why don't you just try to just wiggle them out? If I could wiggle, don't you think I'd be wiggling already? Just okay. Relax, 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 okay? That water gets high enough. No, 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 okay. We got all kinds of time, okay? Oh. 
Yes! <gasps> yeah! Taylor, you did it! Okay, how about this? Um, Daily Melissa and Jackson pick the fruit, and Lex and I will load the backpacks. Yes, ma'am. Done. I get back in time. I, I could drown. It's not gonna happen. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. How? Because I'm a charmed guy. What? Yeah. Everything works out for me, and I don't know if it's luck or because I'm thinking a lot, but when things get dark, you know, I don't sweat because it'll end up okay. How do you explain us crashing here? And, and when you almost died from allergies. Two perfect examples. We survived the crash, and I survived the oysters. Just... Please, don't leave me here. No. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Still no fire. And no Nathan. Anybody want to guess what this is about? Underneath the plane, we need to roll it over right now, okay? A count of three. One, two, three. Oh, keep on pushing. More, push more. My legs are up. Okay, I can see where he's caught. I can reach it now. Keep pushing. I got him. All right, slowly on three. One, two, three. Slowly. Save my life. But maybe everybody's definition of teamwork's a little different. And I think you should stop complaining. We've all been trying our best here, and it doesn't help to have somebody always whining about how tough things are, especially when they don't do anything to help make it better. I keep saying how much we rely on each other, and we do. But maybe it's time I start looking what people can do instead of criticizing them for what they can't. How are you doing? I'm shaky, but alive. <sighs> thanks, Eric. No, no, no. No thanks needed. Like I said, I'm charmed. <laughs> No! I am going to make this work. You know, I believe he will. But until then... I fixed it. What's with 
the lights? Is there some sort of spontaneous atmospheric disturbance? Sort of. Oh, I was kidding. What happened? The batteries are dead. No way. Taylor's been charging them. Right? Taylor? Taylor? I know! Don't say it. I let the batteries run down. My fault. Taylor, you have one responsibility. One. And you can't even- Don't get all righteous on me. It's okay. I'll just charge the batteries tomorrow. And what about tonight? No problem. Observe. So as soon as I figured out the batteries were dead, I knew we'd need light and I'd get a lot of grief. So, ta-da! We just have to be careful about not burning anything down. Okay. That was pretty smart. Only now, the lighter won't work. I think it's broken again. Uh, how did you light those candles? Well, duh, with the lighter. And it was going fine until now. You used it over and over? You didn't light one candle and then the rest from that? Well, no, that would have been a pain. Taylor, it's not broken. It's out of fuel. What? <laughs> Taylor! I can't believe this. It's okay. We have the fire and we have the candles and as long as we keep those going, we'll be fine. Yeah. Sure, until it rains. Oh, man. We have no fire, again. Thanks to Taylor, the lighter's done for good. This is so frustrating. Every time she tries to help, things just get worse. I wish she'd just stop thinking. Or start thinking, or something other than what she's doing. I say it's a no-brainer. We need a bigger shelter, and this is it. All we have to do is move it up to the fire pit. Oh. Is that it? I thought you wanted us to do something hard. Are you crazy? We're like a football field away from the camp. It looks really heavy. Of course it's heavy. It's an airplane. All right, it'll be a bear to move, but once it's done, we'll have a solid roof over our heads. And a way to stay dry and warm. Wait, should we be figuring a way to get off this island instead of digging ourselves further in? What do you say, Jackson? Whatever you decide, I'm cool with. Maybe there's an easier way of doing this, like cutting it up or something. Taylor, we all know you're entire life is about putting out as little effort as possible, so unless you have something constructive to say, please don't. Nobody takes me seriously. And not just daily, though she's the worst because she knows everything there is to know about everything. But, you know, every once in a while, I know something about something, and I think that sometimes everything isn't always something that's, that's, forget it. Hey, if you drive enough of this away, you can do whatever you want. Come on, I know that I'm not the only one who thinks that this is a good idea. Right. It's easy enough to find out. Let's vote. But we're not all here. Well, Jackson said he'd do whatever, and little Miss Clueless shouldn't even get a vote. Come on, you don't mean that. It doesn't matter. All we need is four votes one way to settle it. Okay. This should be easy. All in favor of moving the plane. Lex? Oh, yeah! Oh. I'm sorry, Day. I'm not so sure it's such a good idea. Why not? Well, it's gonna be hard to move, and the shelter we're building is pretty good. The genius has spoken. Well, it's not over. The others still have to vote. <laughs> yeah, right. You think you guys are gonna get Taylor to drag it up the beach? <laughs> Good luck. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! No way I left the battery charger out like that. 
It must have been. Well, it also could have been. Oh, who am I kidding? It was me. I think it's great. We can bury it so it doesn't roll and we'll have a solid floor. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, we should talk. You know, about things. Yeah, I guess we should. Yeah, let's talk. You can't be serious about building a jungle village. It's not a village, it's a shelter. Whatever, dragging this monster all the way up there and then making a house is like saying we're gonna be here forever. It's not, it's about survival. Survival? I'm trying to get home. Stop! What are you doing? I, somebody, I'm not saying who, left this buried in the sand and I'm just renting it off. But water could ruin it. Don't you know that? I, I, oh! Don't worry. I'll deal with it, okay? Do we believe she can deal with it? I think you like the idea of building a castaway theme park. This isn't about me. I just want everyone to be safe and comfortable. Is that so bad? Yeah, if you want us to do the impossible. It's not impossible. It's just difficult. No, it's impossible. Even your brainiac brother thinks so. Just give it up. Not to change the subject, but we <gasps> really need... What are you doing? Is that my t-shirt? Uh, I, I, can I get a little privacy? I was wondering the same thing. Anyway, about what Melissa said. Did you see Taylor? Yeah, she just ran off with the battery charger. And my t-shirt. Well, what's going on? She tried to wash it. The battery charger? Is that bad? Water could ruin it. That's bad. Could this day get any worse? It's me. Why are you sneaking up on me? Um, not. I was actually here first. Oh. What are you doing? Just, uh, you know, getting some space. Why, what are you doing? I have no idea. I really don't. I think I drowned this. Let me see it. <sighs> Is it broken? I'm sure it's fine. I'm gonna catch so much grief for this. Daily's not cutting you any slack, is she? You wanna know the worst part? I don't even blame her anymore. I am messing up. I mean, I'm trying. I really am. I'm just failing. Yeah, well, all you can do is be yourself. And if Daily can't deal with that, that's her problem. That's easy for you, isn't it? I'm not criticizing, but it's easy to be yourself when no one really knows who you are. Okay. I'll let you know something about me. I was wondering where that went. Is that yours? No, I think it's the pilot's. I play too, you know. Guitar? No. Cello. Really? That's, um, different. Well, I'm really good. Are you? Uh, 
surprises. Okay, Jackson. Everybody has a vote. Now, we need a safe, solid shelter, and the plane is it. Period. Nathan and Melissa agree. Yeah, and Boy Wonder and I think that's a waste of energy. So, it's up to you. Do we leave the plane on the beach, or do we move it up here for shelter? Removing it is going to be tough, and dangerous. So, sorry, Daly, I agree with Lex. His shelter will be fine. I vote to leave the plane on the beach. Yeah, democracy at work. I love it. <laughs> Wait, now it's a tie, three to three. Oh, what about my vote? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. Really? Oh, come on. Everybody gets a vote, right? Let's make it official. Fine. Go on, Taylor. Rock the vote. I vote to bring the plane up here. OK, so now that that's official, we can just forget about all the, wait. What? I want a warm, dry place to sleep, and I'm willing to work for it. Why is that so hard to believe? Wow, OK. So that's a four to three. I mean, we move the plane up here. No. Wait, no, this isn't right. Are, are you feeling OK? Can we please do this without all the drama? This is weird. Really? Where's Taylor? What have you done with her? No way. This has got to weigh a couple tons. We can't drag it across the sand. It'll just dig in. Yeah, and we can't lift it, so, uh, end of story. We could try using skids. Skids? Yeah, it's how we move rowboats at summer camp. We lay down logs and roll the boats over them. This isn't a rowboat. This is, like, Big. So we get big logs. It might work. Well, I'm not going to do it. Eric, we voted to move it. Not everyone. It doesn't matter. If we don't go by the vote, what will it mean for the next vote? And the one after that? Are you just saying that because you got what you wanted? No, I'm saying it because it's how we decided to govern ourselves. Majority rules. We can't just chuck that whenever we feel like it. Are you sure you don't want to change your vote? Can we please? Stop arguing and just get this over with. She's right. I mean, it's done. Start dropping trees. i
as ready as we're gonna be. Ready? On my count. I wanna say something. Ooh, big surprise. This might not work, but even if this plane doesn't move, what happened today was really important. We didn't all agree, but we held by the vote, and we worked really hard. All of us. And I think that says a lot. So even if this plane doesn't move an inch, it was a victory. Wait, can I say something too? Yeah, sure. Well, I don't like that we're spending more time making ourselves at home than actually trying to figure out a way to get to our real homes, but I went along with the vote, and we worked way too hard to just let it go to waste, so I say, one way or another, let's get this bad boy off the beach. Come on. <laughs> 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 All right, on my count. One, two, three, pull! huge step today. And I don't mean just getting the plane up on skids. Our little government was put to the test and passed. When things like that happen, it makes me think we're gonna be okay in the long run. The skids are gonna work, but it's such a huge job we decided to get a fresh start in the morning. It's a great feeling to know I made a contribution. It shows how much everybody is needed. I just wish everybody would realize that. You know, I want to talk about what Melissa said. It just, you know, a lot has happened for one day. It can wait, really. We're not going anywhere. Can I give that a try? Let me get a better look at it. Battery charged. You guys have been muscling this thing like you're sawing down trees. You have a better idea? Well, maybe what this needs is a little less muscle and a little more touch, like playing an instrument. surprises.
Today's a huge day for a lot of reasons. We're gonna try and move the plane wreck up from the beach to be our new shelter. If we can do it, it means we'll have a safe, secure place to live. But there's more to it than that. Not everybody thinks it's a good idea. But the majority voted to move in, and even those who didn't are going along, and that's why this is so important. It's not just about shelter. If we can move it to the fire pit, it means our new government might actually work. If we can't get it there, well, then I guess we'll have to figure out what that means, too. You know what this says, don't you? We've given up. Given up what? Any hope of getting rescued? It does? No, it doesn't. It means we're gonna be safe while we wait. Yeah, and wait, and wait, and wait. Do you have a better idea? I might. All right. We should work in five-person shifts. And the other two need to boil water, because we're gonna need it. Maybe let's just stay on permanent water, Didi. You no know, offense, Lex. This is gonna take some muscle. Hey, I wanna be on permanent water duty, too. Well, that means you're gonna have to lug all the water from the well because Lex isn't strong enough. Oh. Oh. Um, you know, on second thought, I'll just, uh, I'll, um, not a lot of good choices here. No, this is gonna be hard. Exactly. So who wants to change their vote? Sorry. A warm, dry place to sleep sounds pretty sweet to me. And if we pull this off, we'll have a safe shelter until rescue comes. If it comes. When it comes. But till then, we need this. Is this gonna work? We're about to find out. All right, everyone ready? Three, two, one, heat! We've only moved it a couple feet. Ah, oh, the vines fouled up in the wire. It's messing up our leverage. Can we cut the vines? Yeah, yeah, where's the camp knife? I'll get it. Don't feel like you have to wait for me to keep working. We're not gonna see her for a while, are we? Let's take a break. You know, we're doing all this work to make this a shelter. Why don't we make this into something more useful? Like what? I don't know, like a boat. Where'd you look? I didn't. Then how do you know you can't find it? Because you know where it is and I looked for you. You didn't look for me, you screamed for me. Whatever, where is it? I don't know. Why didn't you just say that? I haven't seen it either. Will the machete work? I guess. Do you know where that is? Yeah. Well, go get it! <sighs> is it just me or is he a little thick sometimes? Uh, are there any water bottles down at the plane? I'm missing a couple. No, they're all in that big plastic container thingy. Yeah, so where is the plastic container thingy? I 
I didn't say stop. Taylor did. Yeah, but I'm the one calling it. What's the matter? My hands are on fire. All right, look, Taylor, only one person makes the call. Seriously, or someone might get hurt. What do you call burning hands? Water break. Oh, perfect. Taylor, that's for drinking. Can we please have a little reality check here? Moving this thing is impossible. Do you think it's going to be easier to build a boat? I don't know, but at least we can do it here. Exactly. You don't care about a boat. You just don't want to pull this. You know, I'm getting sick of you always coming down on me. Then stop trying to weasel out of everything. <laughs> I'm working just as hard as you. And complaining all the way. That's it. I hate Logan Water, but I'm going to do it just so I don't have to listen to you anymore. Wasting time, which is exactly what they're doing on the beach. Why are you so against moving the plane? Because it's a whole lot of work, and it's not helping us get out of here. You know what I think? No, but I bet you're going to tell me. I think Daly's doing this to keep us so busy, we won't have time to think of how bad off we really are. Maybe. You know what I think? What? I think they're going to need more water. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. And? Oh, hold on. Heat! Yes, wait. <laughs> stop! Stop! I told you to wait. I'm so sorry, Nathan. I didn't hear you. For the log. Ew! Oh, no, don't ew. It's not horrible, but we have to take care of it. Not the first aid kit. I gave you two jugs. Yeah, I'm pacing myself. <laughs> uh oh, what happened? They think I can't. Is it bad? I don't think so. See? Now we're getting hurt doing this. Nobody listens to me. I'm sorry, did you say something? Don't try to be funny. You're too little. Well, I'm gonna go finish watering the garden. Am I too little for that, too? Does it hurt? Nah. Yeah, maybe a little. I'm so sorry, Nathan. It's OK, really. I called it out too late. It was an accident. You wouldn't say that if I was the one who nearly got your foot sliced off. <sighs> Moving the plane is starting to feel so hopeless. Don't say that. None of us are giving up. Yet. Is he bleeding bad? No, I'm keeping pressure on. Ew! We're lucky we got tetanus shots before the trip. Yeah, I'm feeling real lucky right now. We're missing some stuff. The antiseptic cream is gone and some of the gauze pads. But who used it last? Nobody. It should all be here. Could we do inventory later? Yeah, sorry. Is he okay? Are you okay? Yeah, it's not too bad. I feel horrible. Come on. 
It was an accident. I don't blame you. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Um, I'll be more careful next time. Now, I'm gonna take my turn getting the water. Can we do this with only four people? Five people. I'm good to go. Nope. Uh, don't be a hero, Nathan. I'm fine, seriously. Come on, let's do it. What have I gotten us into? After killing ourselves for most of the day, the plane is barely any closer than when we started. And Nathan's hurt. Was I that wrong? Hey, we're missing a canteen. Have you seen one around here? Uh, no, it's... It's not here. A lot of stuff is getting lost all of a sudden. We gotta keep better track. find that antiseptic cream or it might get infected. Seriously? Maybe I just didn't see it. Kids back at camp. No, 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 that's okay. I'll go. My turn. My turn? That's a first. You gotta stay off that, man. No way. Look, if I don't help, we fail. And what happens if it gets worse? Let's just clean it out and put on a fresh bandage. bad, but we really need that antiseptic. What's going on? Nothing. I just thought it was smart to keep this stuff away from everything else in case we have another storm. You know, wouldn't want to lose everything at once, right? It's true. <sighs> well, All right. Fine. You got me. What are you doing, Eric? I can't sleep, all right? <laughs> I can't stop thinking about how I don't want to spend the rest of my life here. It, doesn't that bother you? Sure. It bothers everybody. It doesn't feel like it. And Daly's got us building some fort like we're settlers or something. It's for protection. Yeah, I don't want protection! I just want to go home. We all do. And do you know how I keep from going totally crazy? I think of ways to escape. No, seriously. Up until now, it's been a fantasy. But lately, I've been thinking about taking off and exploring the west side of the island. For real. Are you serious? Why didn't you tell anybody? What for? Nobody would go with me. 
And if I wanted to use some of the gear, I guarantee Daly would call for a vote to stop me. That's why I took the stuff in case I wanted to go. I know it was wrong, but I didn't know what else to do. Are you really going to go? I don't know. Thinking about it gives me help. <laughs> Are you going to tell anybody? It's as clean as it's going to get. Septic. How did I miss that before? Ah, oh, not again. If we have to spend another storm jammed in that little tent, I'm gonna go mental. So what do we do now? Look, we're nearly out of gas. And Nathan's bleeding. The storm's moving in. So do we give up? No. No, I'm psyched up now. You know, who knows about tomorrow? I say we suck it up and get this done. Yeah. Let's get this done. by digging out underneath. I can even use the old antenna to make a lightning rod so it's totally safe in a storm. So, was it worth it? Aside from Nathan's cut, it was totally worth it. What do you think? Was it worth it? Now that it's here, sure. But I'm still with Eric. Digging in for a long stay makes me Anxious. Hey, does anybody know where the camp knife is? Oh, yeah, I got it. Sorry, should have put it back where I found it. Well, no matter how we feel about what it means, one thing's for sure, we did it. I think we should be proud. Sweet home. How depressing is that?
What's coming? It's almost time. Hey, what's this? I don't know, I got one too. It's nearly here. What's nearly here? Oh, the excitement is building. What am I missing? No, no, whatever it is, we're all missing it. This feels like Lex. Hey, Taylor, did you get one of these notes? Nope. Don't you want to know what it is? I already know. Whoa, wait. What's coming? You want to know? Follow me. So, what's all the mystery? Question. What's the worst part of being stuck on this island? Bad food. Sunburn. No TV. Sand flies. No deodorant. No, I changed my vote to no deodorant. I'm talking about something way worse. The smush. The what? The smush. Every day feels the same. How many days have we been here? 30? 40? 17. I lost track because it all gets smushed together. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Monday. Wednesday. Tuesday. Isn't it Sunday? No, it's Friday. See? It's all smushed. There's nothing to look forward to. Nothing to get excited about. So what's the big exciting thing that's coming? A uh, calendar? No. Tomorrow, we're going to have something special. Something we haven't had in a long time. Ice cream. Pizza. Games. Soap. Deodorant? No. We're going to have a holiday. Come on! Everybody loves holidays. Taylor, tomorrow isn't a holiday. But it is. I made one up. You invented a holiday? And since I'm the one that thought of it, I'm making the rules. First, there will be no work, because it's wrong to work on a holiday. This sounds good. What else? It wouldn't be a holiday without presents. So each of us is going to make a gift for the group. Come on, that's not going to happen. It doesn't have to be big. I'm already not liking this holiday. Yeah, seriously, this is dumb. Can Finally, we just... we're going to have a traditional feast. We're all going to get dressed up and eat and most importantly, have fun. I think it's a great idea. Me too. Does this holiday have a name? Yes, it does. We worked really hard to bring this plane up here. And I think it's most important to have a day of rest so we can just forget about our troubles and just chill. So that's why I call this holiday Chilloween. I'm sorry. Chilo who? Chilloween. That doesn't mean anything. But it does. We're going to chill, and then there's ween. It doesn't matter. It's just a name. I think it's a perfect name. Me too. See? See? Can you feel it? The excitement is building, people. It's Chilloween Eve. We're going to have a holiday. Hey, happy Chilloween Eve. Give me a break. Come on, everybody's into it. Taylor's just looking for an excuse to get out of doing work. But it's for fun. If everyone buys that, fine. I don't. I don't have a favorite holiday, but I have a favorite memory. It was the first Christmas we spent with Dewey and her dad after he married my mom. It was the first time I felt like we were a family. I hope this holiday brings some good memories like that. Can you believe Taylor thought up this chili weenie? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm gonna make the big feast. That's my present. Awesome. Yeah. How about you? Sorry. Surprise. <laughs> What's that? I have been looking for a way to break the ice with Daly and tell her how I really feel about her. And I figured that a special holiday gift might help, so I'm making her a bracelet. I love holidays. My favorite is the 4th of July. It's all about barbecues and fireworks and games and basically being with family and friends. And hey, with any luck, Chili Ween will turn out to be special too. I think it's a great purpose to keep us all together and to just Now, 
know what's he doing. I really hope he's not gonna ruin the holiday. A little higher. And, and spread it out so we can see the color. I want it to be festive and true Chilloween spirit. Right. Holiday tradition. For what? Mm. Five minutes now. Don't make fun. I want this to be perfect. I thought Chilo Palooza was about kicking back. Kick back later. We got too much stuff to do. And it's ween. Chilo ween. I, I admit, okay, I'm not much of a holiday guy, but this seems, I don't know, silly. Look, everybody here is good at something. Nathan is eager and strong. Daly's perfect, sort of. Lex is a genius. Melissa keeps us together. Eric's a rat, but he's good at it. You're like some kind of Yoda. And then there's me. I don't have a whole lot to offer. You know that's not true. It is, but there is something I'm good at. I know how to throw a party and have fun. And that's what I'm gonna do. Chill it. Wait, 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 what is it again? Ween. Chillo ween. I think the best thing about holidays is spending them with your family. And since we become like family here, this feels kind of right. What are you doing? Nothing. What's in the pack? Well, I was just, uh... Wait, you think I'm doing something wrong, don't you? I didn't say that. Yeah, but you're thinking it. Okay, what are you doing? What? This is unbelievable. Okay, it's more of a dysfunctional family. But it's a family. I could use a little help. Um, in a minute, I'm making my gift. What is it? Surprise! Go away! What's your gift? No idea. Probably nothing. Oh, come on! You have to get in the Chilloween spirit. Hey, I know the perfect gift you can give. You know the most vivid holiday memory I have? It was the first Thanksgiving Dad and I spent alone after Mom died. I actually set a place at the table for her out of habit. I just soon forget about holidays. All holidays, even made up ones. I don't believe it. Are you stealing again? Again? What did you steal before? You told her? Uh, no I didn't. I just said... Eric, what did you steal? I'm sorry, Eric. I didn't mean to tell. It just came out. I thought you were a good guy, but you're just a little snitch. What happened? It's nothing. Eric took him stuff a couple days ago, but he put it back. Didn't mean to tell. Yeah, but you did, didn't you? Thanks, Lex. Glad to know I can trust someone. So happy Chilla, uh... Whatever. Hey, happy chili wing. Oh, please. I know, it's, it's silly, but why not? I could give you a lot of reasons why not, but I don't want to be the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we've been ducking this thing for days. And I think it's time that we talked about what Melissa said. You know, about... About how... About how much you like me. Yeah, that. Yeah. It is time we talk about it. It was kind of weird when Melissa blurted that out. I didn't want that to happen. Look, Nathan, don't worry about it. I know it was a misunderstanding. I mean, you and I together, come on. How odd is that? We're like total opposites. I don't think we're entirely. I mean, how could she possibly think that we would have feelings for one another? I mean, you're impulsive, you don't think, you're headstrong and random. 
I mean, that's just so not me. I could never be with someone like that. Really? No, Nathan, don't worry about it. I mean, I know you don't have feelings for me because there's no way I could have those feelings for you, right? Right. Wow, that's a relief. I'm glad we got this settled. Yeah, me too. So, uh, let's just forget it ever happened, okay? Yeah, sure. What was I thinking? Daly is exactly the person that I hated when this trip started. She's egotistical, self-righteous, arrogant, and, uh, and I was an idiot to think that there was more to her than that. Happy chill chill Happy Chilloween! This is so exciting! I don't know about you guys, but I had a great day. For our first surprise, Lex has fixed the sound system. Good, huh? Pretty festive. And look at the feast that Nathan has made. Wow, fruit and fish, how special. <laughs> but before we eat, presents. Who wants to go first? I did sketches for everybody using charcoal from the fire. And each one reminds me a little of the person that I did it for. Wow, Mel. These are really good. I was kind of hoping for some socks and underwear. I made jewelry for everybody. I made necklaces for the girls and bracelets for the boys. Aren't they awesome? Thank you, Taylor. Here's my gift. A cooler? Spent a long time working on that one, genius. <laughs> I'm gonna lash this up into a tree, fill it with water, and let the sun warm it up. This metal sheet hangs underneath, so when the spigot is opened, warm water pours through the holes to make a shower. A warm shower. Ah! Ah! This is the best Halloween ever. <laughs> yeah, kind of feels like the holidays at home. Nobody wants to be here, but we're stuck. Just say it, Eric. You don't have a gift. <laughs> Not true. While everybody was accusing me of doing something devious, I solved our biggest problem. What is it? Oh, you don't know? <laughs> well, maybe you're not as smart as everybody thinks you are. Now, if there's one thing we have plenty of here, sunlight. So I figured if we harness enough heat onto this, it'll ignite. No problems, no sweat. Will that work? It should. I mean, I tried it once and... Yeah, like... it'll work. Why didn't I think of this? Because you're too busy spying on me. I'm sorry, Eric. Me too. Yeah, right. OK. Let's keep the festivities rolling. Who's next? Bailey, do you have your gift? Um, my head was somewhere else, and I didn't think anyone would actually. I'm sorry, I don't have a gift. Typical. This wasn't her idea, so she didn't take it seriously. Yep, just like the holidays at home. Somebody always ends up running off crying. Stop, Eric. We said we were sorry, so lighten up. If anybody should lighten up, it should be you guys. Sorry about what? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Yeah, until it happens next time. That's not fair. Guys! You know, maybe this chill out a ween thing wasn't such a hot idea after all. Chill a ween! Chill a ween! Yeah, whatever! You can't just make up a holiday. 
Not you fair. were supposed to find out in the it's, first place. It was something it between you and I. I was, you know what? I we can't care. trust you anymore you with this kind of stuff. You're not I don't supposed understand. to listen to it in the first place. And you broke that. I didn't mean it. It was secret. It was secret. I don't understand why you can't do this. I don't care. You know what? This was supposed to be a secret. I was going to surprise you guys. No, 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 no. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Hey, hey, hey. You took all that stuff. And the interceptions. That's why you put me in contact. It's just another morning glory oh, One more twist inside of this wild ride Another chapter in the story But I can't hide the way I feel inside Cause I'm a stranger in a strange land and I'm a million miles from my home If I gotta take my last stand I won't stand alone 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 I won't stand Holidays. I don't know what it is, but they bring out the best in people. Or the worst. Or both. I admit, I was skeptical at first, but all I can say now is happy Chilloween. Happy Chilloween. Happy Chilloween. Happy Chilloween. Happy Chilloween. Happy Chilloween. Happy Chilloween, Nathan. Chilloween. Why do bad things always seem to happen on holidays? Maybe they just seem bad because holidays are supposed to be so great. Nathan and I finally had the talk. And? I told him I think we're wrong for each other, and I gave him all the reasons why I don't like him that way, and that it's so far-fetched and laughable. And basically, I totally lied. I don't understand. The one positive thing that I've gotten out of this whole experience is that I found out what an amazing person Nathan is. So you told him the exact opposite? We can't be a couple here. It's too scary. So I did the one thing I knew would kill it. I became daily at her worst. And now we're enemies again. And I'll never know how much I really care about him. I hope you made the right choice. Happy Chilloween.
I swear this worked before. It, it, the fire was like, it started whew, fast. Focusing enough sun to heat this up. Uh, maybe I can help. No, I got it. It's gonna work. I think so too. Yeah, but... I said I got it. Let's help Jackson get the firewood. Okay. We will need firewood, won't we? Oh, I get it. Sarcasm. <laughs> I wish you would just let us. Hey, are you all right? Jackson. I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I felt all weak, and then it just hit me. My guts in and on. I felt dizzy, and I puked. Lex, go get the others. Oh, man, I'm freezing. Oh, I think you got a fever. I'll take care of you. Sickness. Nobody says it, but we all knew we'd have to deal with it sooner or later. Or now. I'm losing it. You mean like... Yeah. Ew. Poor guy. Wait. Could we, like, catch what he's got? I don't know. I just remembered, um, I have to go talk to Daly about something. He's gonna be okay, isn't he? Bye. When you become class president, I think you should ban all chili from the cafeteria. It's just gross. You mean if I become class president? Oh, please. Who's gonna beat you, Daly? A vote for Daly is a vote for the people. I'll be the president of the people. I'll have public meetings. She's the leader of the annoying party. You're a total lock. Yeah, we'll see. We'll be going out to the, the ballroom and we'll have... Whoa. Who's that? That was gruesome. I don't know. There are a ton of things that have the same symptoms. It could be as simple as heat exhaustion or as bad as malaria. We can't take any chances. If it's contagious... I gave him aspirin for the fever, but it's bad. He's losing it from both ends. Ew. All we can do is keep giving him water so he doesn't dehydrate. There's a ton of stuff in here. Can't we do better than water and aspirin? Sure, if we knew what it was. Hi, I'm Melissa. Jackson. Where'd you transfer from? From, um, another school. Oh. Uh, I can show you around. I know every inch of Hartwell. I've been here since kindergarten. Though, I guess you don't need to see the lower grades or the middle school. Or... What grade are you in? I'm good, thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, welcome. <laughs> Um, if you change your mind, my name's... Melissa. Got it. Maybe you shouldn't be in here. I'll keep my distance. Oh, man, I feel like dirt. We'll figure it out. You don't think... 
You don't think that's something? I don't know, I got some kind of tropical disease, do you? Oh. From day one, Jackson has been our rock. Seeing him so vulnerable puts things in a whole new perspective. We may be surviving, but we're never far from disaster. Would you stop breathing on my neck? I just want to help. Do you seriously think you're the only one who can figure stuff out? No, but you're having trouble yeah, getting it to work. it's my invention. It doesn't matter who thought it up. Just go away. You gotta keep drinking. Why? It just comes right out again. We'll take little sips. What are you thinking? Tell me the truth. About what? I know you and Nathan are best buds, but do you truly think that he'd make a good president? Oh. Oh. Don't ask me that. You're right, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, how are things going at home? Better, thanks. It's kind of weird getting used to an instant little brother. Well, I think he's a cutie. Lex is cool, but he's some kind of genius. Half the time I just nod my head and pretend like I know what he's talking about. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? I heard some stuff. Is it true? I don't know. What do you hear? Uh, I don't know. But you've been kicked out of a couple schools. And if you don't stay out of trouble, this might be your last stop. Well, that's good, because for a second there, I thought you might have heard about the really bad stuff. Probably just gas. Great. That's just what I want everybody talking about. Jackson's gas. <laughs> Jackson. I'm sorry. About what? This is all my fault. How do you figure that? If it weren't for me, you wouldn't. <laughs> Jackson, try to relax. What is wrong with me? I don't know. What can I do? I, I don't no, know what to do. Nothing. I, nothing. I, I, Jackson, hi. Hi. Uh, listen, I want to make sure you know about the big trip. I'm on the planning committee, and since you're new, I thought you might not have heard. Um, where are you going, a museum? <laughs> um, no. It's, a, it's an eco-camping adventure to Palau. Palau? Sounds like something out of takeout, baby. <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, it's a beautiful tropical island in the Pacific, sort of near Guam. We're gonna camp in the jungle for seven days. Isn't that awesome? It's awesome. And expensive. Oh, it's not that bad. We've had tons of fundraisers, so the campers only have to put up half. Oh, half of nothing is still nothing, which is pretty much what I got. Oh. oh. Well, <clears throat> uh, think about it. Thanks. But the only way I'm going to get to plow is in my dreams. We gotta keep pumping water into Jackson. I'll filter some more. How's he doing? He's not good. If he's not throwing up, he's 
Yeah, got it. Don't need details. If it doesn't stop, he's gonna dehydrate. It must be something he ate. Yeah, but what? We all ate the same things. be that serious. We might dehydrate and die. You can't think that way. How else can I think? We're all alone here. There are no doctors, no hospitals, no one to turn to for help. And it's all my fault. You know that's not true. But it is. You know as well as I do, this whole nightmare is my fault. Great news, everybody. Fundraising for the trip has gone through the roof. We've raised way more than half to cover the total expense. Oh. Wait, so does that make the trip cheaper for everybody? It could, but once you divide it between all of us, it won't make that big of a difference. I think there are better options. Like? Well, there's enough money to sponsor a Hartwell student that might not be able to afford the trip otherwise. It might be a great way to give something back to the school for putting this together. Yeah, very sweet. What's the other option? We hired a small company to fly us from Guam to Palau on two planes. We could spend the money on a more expensive company and fly one big plane instead of two little ones. The ultimate decision is up to the adult sponsors, but since we are the student planning committee, we've got to say. What do you think? If we're going to solve this, we've got to figure out what you did differently than the rest of us. Go away. Let me sleep. Jackson, you're going to dehydrate. You think you're weak now? If you don't start holding on to liquid, it's only going to get worse until you... Fine. What do you want to know? OK. This is from the first aid manual. Did you get bitten by any bugs? Every day. Did you eat any bad fish? It all tastes bad to me. Have you been washing your hands? As much as anybody. Did you drink any water that wasn't boiled? Jackson, did you drink any water that wasn't boiled? Jackson? Jackson, I think he's a perfect choice to bring along. He's only been here a couple weeks, but it looks like he's having trouble fitting in. And he's cute. Is Jackson his first name or his last name? I've seen the guy. What's his deal? Well, nobody knows. That's part of the problem. He's so closed. Bringing him on the trip might be a way to help him fit in. OK. Uh, where do the presidential candidates stand? I say it's a no-brainer. We upgrade our travel arrangements. I mean, why risk safety? Well, safety's not the issue. The charter company we have is fine. A bigger plane's only about comfort. I vote for the comfy plane. I go the other way. Of course. I think we're totally lucky to be going on this trip. And yes, the flight from Guam to Palau is the shortest leg. I say we just suck it up and give somebody the opportunity. I agree. And I think it should be this Jackson guy. From what I've heard, he's been through a lot of stuff. This might be his last stop. We could be giving him the chance of a lifetime. Or at least a chance. So what if we have to fly in a small plane for a few hours? I guess we should put it to a vote. G Giardia. Yeah. Um, an infection of the gut by a waterborne microscopic protozoan. Ew. Why do you think we are boiling all that water? Because we like drinking hot water? It is usually caused by drinking contaminated water and results in severe diarrhea, vomiting, and sulfuric belching. Bingo. And ew. It's not pretty. Jackson's got it bad. Do you think it'll just go away? It might. Or it might just hang on until it totally dehydrates. You know, that was a pretty dumb thing to do. 
what can I say? And we didn't have any fire, and we were running low on boiled water. So you drank unsafe water so nobody else had to? No. I was just thirsty. Is this it? Well, uh, mention the plaid, plaz, metric, okay, yeah, whatever, this is it. It's an antibiotic. Are you sure we should be giving him medicine? We're not doctors. Everything in the manual points to this being a bad case of Giardia, and this is the suggested treatment. You know, Mel, it was my choice to come on this trip. But if it weren't for me, you wouldn't be here. And if anything happens to you... Then it happens. I have no regrets. And if... If I knew then... What I know now... I'd still be here. Of course, I pass on drinking the bad water again. <laughs> I think we found the answer. All right, I give up. Why isn't this working? I'm sorry I thought you were doing something wrong yesterday. That wasn't fair. Yeah. Apology accepted. Just make it work. I think you're right. The sun needs to be more focused. Water? I think that might be like adding a lens. Everything we do on this island is interrelated. When one person stumbles, we all suffer, but it works both ways. If one person stumbles, there's always someone there to catch them. Whoa! That's it, it worked! Yeah! Woo <laughs> It's my fault we weren't on the bigger plane. There's... There's no fault here. What you did for Jackson was generous. And it was right. And if I didn't do it, we'd be sitting at home right now talking about what a wonderful time we had on Palau. You didn't cause a storm, Mel. You can't diminish something positive because of bad luck. Think of it this way. If we were all on the bigger plane, there would probably be a lot more of us stranded here right now. I just wanted to do a good thing for Jackson. You did. I believe that when he gets better. So, you're serious? You'd really take me on this trip? Well, not me, the whole group. Consider it a welcome to Hartwell. I don't know what to say. We'll say you'll come. You won't regret it. We've been here nearly three weeks. When do we start giving up hope of getting rescued? Another week? A month? Or maybe we're kidding ourselves. Maybe we should stop dreaming and start thinking of a way to get out of here.
Water's staying down, but I still feel weak. Well, it'll take a while before you're back to normal. The antibiotic worked. That's the main thing. Yeah, thanks, guys. Just don't drink any more bad water, all right? Lesson learned. Look at this! Look at this! Mariana Shipping, Agana Harbor, Ga? Wait, what's Ga? No, it's not Ga. G U A M. Guam, right? must have floated here on the currents. Yeah, exactly. So if this thing made it from Guam, that means there's a current running past the island. So what? Hello? Currents don't stop. They keep on currenting. And if this piece of wood was carried by it, then it's got to be able to carry something bigger, like a raft with us on it. Yeah, oh, right? Eric, oh, come on. Are you crazy? Out. Why not? There's a whole bunch of answers to that. Certain death on top of the list. Lex, I was in mid-rinse. Are we having another crisis? No, Eric wants to build a raft and take off on some mystery current. Good. Bon voyage. Oh, come on. Can we please face reality? It's been three weeks. They're looking for us in the wrong place. And at some time, they're going to think we're at the bottom of the ocean. Don't even think that. Hey, I'm trying to keep as much hope as anybody else. When do we start taking control of our own lives? So, you're gonna build a raft and float off? No, well, not yet, exactly. I was thinking that we could probably make a little raft for two people, maybe. You know, just to see if we could do it and test the current. Test for what? Direction. Exactly. Now look, we flew west from Guam, all the way to Palau. Now, if that chunk of wood floated here on a western current, it might keep on going to Asia. And if it's an eastern current? Then it dumps out in the middle of the Pacific. Eh? I'm just saying we do a test here. And who knows, if we're here for a couple more months, we might be getting pretty desperate. I don't think we'll ever get that desperate. Well, then let's put it to a vote. That's what we do, right? Fine. Who all is in favor of building a raft to test the current? Seriously. That's what you guys really want. All right, then. Then that's four to three. I guess we build a raft and pray we're not making a huge mistake. Democracy. That's what we agreed to. But it makes me wonder how smart a democracy can be when the majority votes to do something so totally idiotic. I have no idea where to start. Uh, but I do. I've been thinking about making a raft for weeks. It's all in my head just dying to come out. Now, there's a scary thought. Now, all we have to do is just make it real. We're doing something that makes sense. And you and I think this is the first step to us getting home. Okay, so just a couple more finishing touches and we'll be good to go. First thing in the morning. 
Ooh, what is for dinner? By the way, nice work, team. Look, Eric, we don't know if the rats is a good idea or not, but one thing is for certain. You can't go. What? What do you mean? No. We voted. No, you, you, you can't back out. No. Eric, it's not about the rap. It's about who sails it. What do you mean? I thought of it, so I'm going. You guys fight over shotgun. But you're a terrible swimmer. So what? There's no swimming, just a lot of voting. What if something happens? If the raft goes down, you'll go down too, and probably with who's ever with you. They're right, Eric. I don't care. It's my choice. We could put this to a vote. No! <sighs> All right, enough voting. As long as just someone goes. So who's it going to be? Well, Melissa and Taylor aren't strong swimmers either. Lex is a kid, and Jackson's sick. So that leaves you and Dave. No, no way. You guys didn't even like the idea. Doesn't matter. Majority rules, so we go. Scared? A little. About a lot of things. You? It's a first. I'm sorry. It's a cheap shot. What's the problem? Floating out to civilization may sound romantic, but it's totally unrealistic. It makes me think, as much as we want a democracy, that the majority doesn't always make the right decision. It's the best system we got. Is it? We agreed on it, so... That means, whether we like it or not, tomorrow morning, you and I are floating out to sea. Get some sleep. too far. If there's a current, you don't want to get swept away. Let's just see if this thing floats first, OK? Good luck. Let's go for a ride. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Absolutely. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life on this island. Look at that. They're already drifting away. I can't watch this. I'm going to go check on Jackson. Go on! Do you think they're going to be OK? Yeah, they won't go far. Oh, thanks. Oh. 
So what's next? Are we going to build a raft and try and float home? That's a very good question. This is incredible. Yeah. Can you feel it? We're floating out on the current. You know, I hate to say it, but Eric was right. We're headed west. You know, can we really do this? I mean, can we make a raft and get us to civilization? It really is beautiful. Be honest with me. Do you think they're still looking for us? Look. Eleven people disappeared. Ten of them were kids. I mean, do you think they'd give up that easily? Then why is it taking so long? I, I don't know. We're getting kind of far out. Let's turn around. OK. So keep, keep going that way, and I'll, yeah. It's really strong. I can't believe we didn't think about this before. Now we have to paddle against it. Uh oh. What? We got problems. Make a home, Taylor. One way or another. I'll tell you what. I'll do my best to believe that. There you go. Oh, this is torture. What if something happens to them we can't see? Well, yeah, but who cares? It's not like we can swim after them. Um. I'm gonna get the first aid kit. Why? I don't know. So when this is over, are we still gonna be friends? I mean, all of us or you and me? Problems. Keep the okay, pieces okay. together. Here, here. Get over here. Get over here. That part's falling off. Come on. Just the vines aren't strong enough. Just stay calm. Don't panic. We're sinking. Nathan, ah. it's falling apart. Try not to move. Ah. We can't hold it together. Ah. Try and keep some pieces together. Ah. Uh, uh, we gotta swim. Nathan. It's okay. We'll be okay. Hey, it's okay, listen. It's like swimming in a riptide. You 
can't fight it. Really, slip away from it at a right angle. Yes. Okay. Go that way. Okay. Find a way around. Right, I got it. We're not far from shore. So, let me guess. Lifeguard merit badge, right? <laughs> Life saving, actually. Uh. Gotta love the Boy Scouts. <laughs> Go through the surf. Maybe we should rest. No. If we don't keep going, we'll just get pulled further out, and I'm rested now. So let's go. Daily. I'm kind of tired now. I'll get you in. I'll get you in. You're all right. Okay. is there is a strong hern headed west. Bad news is Raph fell apart. I would have drowned if it weren't for Nathan. Oh, I don't know about that, but it also means that we have no idea of how to make a decent raft. Should I be happy or mad? Hmm. Neither. It just means that nothing has changed. Yeah, the raft failed. But we did find a current. The question is, will we get desperate enough to try and ride it again? The majority believed that the raft was a good idea. It wasn't. Nathan and I nearly drowned. I think the only thing we learned is that our system of government is seriously flawed. Oh. And... I told Nathan how I really feel about him. Oops. <laughs> well, that was scary. You're telling me. I wasn't talking about the raft. Nor was I. I'm, I'm really confused. Join the club.
Where, where's Abby? She's sleeping. No, she's not there. Please forgive me. This is something I have to do. Jackson, I believe you. It's about right here, right now. But right now, I've got to find the others. Hey! My backpack is gone. She must have geared up. Please don't follow me. I'll be fine. I know you'll understand because you'd do the same if one of you were lost. I'm gonna find them and I'm gonna bring them back. I promise. Try not to worry about Abby. We gotta go after her. No, we don't. What if she gets lost again? Nathan, what are we gonna do, bring her back? She's just gonna go off again. Maybe we can help her find the others. Yeah, maybe get lost ourselves. So what do we do? She knows the island now. She'll come back. Hopefully they all come back. Good luck, Abby. vibe in camp. Everybody feels it. It's like the biggest challenge isn't how to survive anymore, it's how to juggle all the personal conflicts. I'll get that. Things are changing. People are changing. You think you know someone and then Glad you're feeling better. Something's been bugging me. What? Nobody wants to talk about it, but what do you think happened to the pilot and the others? Abby's been looking for them nearly two weeks. I don't know, Lex. I think we just have to hope that they're okay. Or maybe we should start thinking about going to help them. Leaving the beach was the hardest thing I've ever done. But I didn't have a choice. I'm going to find the others and bring them back. I have absolutely no doubt. This island is beautiful. Everywhere I look is some new wonder. I have to keep reminding myself that as perfect as it all seems, it only hides the danger. I'm going to try and retrace my steps to where I got separated from Ian and Jory and Captain Russell. Once I'm there, my search will truly begin. For a second. <laughs> Dilly kissed me. <laughs> okay, it was only on the cheek, but it wasn't like some peck from my Aunt Maria. Oh man, she keeps going on about how we're so wrong for each other, and then she goes and does that. I think I get what's really going on here. Finally. <laughs> so, um, what I said yesterday about being glad that you're here was absolutely true. Yeah, and then you kissed me. Right, but, you know, put it in context. We nearly drowned. And you kissed me. It was a spontaneous reaction. It was an hour later. It was on the cheek. Look, Nathan, we're friends, okay? Good friends. This adventure has really brought us together. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You kissed me. I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression. 
So you're saying that you don't think of me as more than a friend? Yes. That's exactly it. We're just friends. You're lying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> OK, he's right. I do really like him. Big surprise. But we can't be like a couple here. It'll make things way too complicated. Like there isn't enough to worry about. Um, look, I'll just ask. There's nothing going on between you and Jackson, is there? What? <laughs> no. No. Jackson? Our Jackson? Why would I? <laughs> Honestly, Melissa, I don't know. I didn't take much food from camp. That wouldn't have been fair to the others. I'm hoping to find Ian and Joy before it runs out, but the thing is, I'm already hungry. Have you thought about what happened to the pilot and the others? Are you kidding? I think about that all the time. And? No clue. But maybe they got to the North Shore went off on a raft. I guess that's possible. Well, whatever happened, at least they're doing something to try to get off this island instead of sitting around waiting like us. But what if something bad happened to them? You mean something worse than being stuck on a piece of sand eating coconuts for the rest of our lives? Two days in, I was already out of food and hope when it happened. I found the gear I lost in the flood. It was all there, clothes, a camp knife, and even a sewing kit. Best of all, there was more packaged food. I was on the right track. This is where I lost the others. It was the exact boost I needed. I knew things would only get better. Finding food is critical. I have to stretch the camp food as far as possible. Drinking stream water is risky. Rain is safer and there's plenty of it. If someone told me three weeks ago I'd be living alone in the jungle, foraging for food, well, that wasn't exactly the plan, but it's amazing what you can do when your life depends on it. I spent a day by the river, resting and building my strength. My plan is to head north, the way Captain Russell and the others went. The hope of seeing them again gives me the strength to put my pack on and head back into the jungle. Hey. Hi. And it's hot. 
Isn't that Taylor's job today? Yeah, but I've been pretty useless the past few days, so I'm helping her. You like her, don't you? Taylor, sure. Please don't treat me like an idiot. What do you mean? Didn't you tell me it would be wrong to get serious with somebody while we were on the island? Look, Mel, Taylor and I aren't any more serious than... I've seen the two of you together. I was... I was just... Okay, this isn't fair. We're all just trying to get along. I'm not telling you how to feel. I just want you to be honest. Two days after leaving the river, and I'm already out of food. It hasn't rained, and food is scarce. I have no idea how far the North Shore is. And maybe worst of all, I haven't seen any sign of the others. Am I even going in the right direction? I'm trying to keep moving, but all I can think about is lying down and sleeping. That's what friends are for. Yep, can't do enough for a good friend. And since we're such good friends, you know, I'd love to help you out. But hey, only as a friend. Nathan, stop. Just give it up, OK? I thought my journey began back at the beach. I was kidding myself. My true journey didn't begin until I was hit with that rock slide. The idea of this journal was to have a record of what happened to me in case I wasn't around to tell it. I never thought that was really a possibility until now. The way I see it, I've got two choices. I can lie here and die, or I can save myself. It's not a hard choice.
Nathan? Nathan, I hope you know how tough this is for me. For you? I have no idea what's going on, Daly. I haven't for weeks. It's like you're two different people. There's the bossy and self-righteous Daly that I grew up with. And then there's the sincere girl behind the mask. So who am I talking to now? Jekyll or Hyde? You're right, I'm... I've been handling it so badly. I don't even know what it is. As confusing as everything is, there are two things I'm sure of. One is how much I like you and not just as a friend. What's the other thing? The biggest mistake that we could make here is to be a couple. Do you know how scary that is? I, I got freaked out just by giving you a kiss on the cheek. We have to put all of our thought and energy into surviving. If we do anything more, it'll just make things too complicated. Nathan, what I really want is to have this conversation again back home when everything is normal and we can be ourselves. But for now, I don't want to push you away anymore. We need each other. Staying alive on this island is turning out to be a lot easier than all this personal stuff. It's true. Compared to all the drama, survival is a piece of cake. <laughs> really? Tell me exactly how survival is a piece of cake. You've had it pretty easy here. Easy? You don't know what we've had to deal with. Really? Been pretty rough? You have no idea how bad it's gonna get. You've had it pretty easy here. Easy? You don't know what we've had to deal with. Really? Been pretty rough?
You have no idea how bad it's gonna get. Have the food carefully rationed so that everyone gets a fare. Enjoy. You guys gotta see what I found. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Abby, what happened? I never made it to the North Shore. I gotta take care. I'll go get the first aid kit. Find the others? No. I'm gonna wash off. You can take a warm shower with fresh water. Warm shower? <laughs> Incredible. Hey, at least she brought my pack back. Abby isn't the same person who left camp two weeks ago. It's strange and kind of disturbing. Abby was the sweetest girl I knew. Now she's gotten, I don't know, hard. If she thinks she's gonna share my clothes again, I've got one word for her. Soap! I wanna show you guys first so we can figure out what to do. That's not the lizard, is it? No. It's even stranger. <laughs> strange? It's not strange, it's a chicken. It is strange. Chickens don't grow wild in this part of the world. Well, then how'd it get here? It had to be brought by people. <laughs> Does that mean there are other people on the island? I don't know. Why isn't it running away? I think it's hurt. We gotta tell the others. <laughs> Wait! Can I tell them? I don't want everybody going crazy and scaring it. It's hurt. Yeah, sure. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You gotta keep this stuff clean. Can't find the antiseptic. Does it hurt? Yes. Here. It's okay. See any sign of the others? How bad was it out there? A lot worse than hanging out here at the resort. I'm not mad at you. Yeah, well, you should be. What I said before wasn't exactly you know, fair. But I get it. This isn't real life. Nothing that happens between any of us here is real. See, but it is for now. But we're all doing things we never do at home. I mean, would you even look twice at Taylor if you weren't stuck on a beautiful tropical island with her? <sighs> Don't answer that. Oh. 
Mel. I don't know what's going on between Taylor and me. Stop, okay? You don't owe me an explanation. Just because I have feelings for you doesn't mean you have to feel the same way. But I do. I take it back. I don't get it. Yeah, you do. We're all just scared and looking for a little, I don't know, security. So, I give you security? You're my best friend here, Mel. And you're Nathan's friend, too. Well, he's in the Daily, and Daily's annoyed by Taylor, and she looks after Lex, and there's a, a hundred other relationships, good and bad. It's just things change so fast that none of it really matters beyond the minute that it happens. So then what does matter? Finding a way to get home. And back to reality. Oh, yeah. Make mine extra crispy. Ew. What? Meat fish? Fish don't have feet. <laughs> We're not killing it. Why not? Because it's hurt. Yeah, so? What if it lays eggs? Well, what if it's a rooster? How many eggs does a chicken lay? A lot. Maybe four or five a week. <laughs> That's all? I said whack it. <laughs> There's a bigger question here. Oh, bigger than food? Chickens aren't native. Somebody had to bring it. Well, better question. Are there any more out there? I know. We'll let it go so he can lead us to his friends. It's a chicken, not a homing pigeon. And it's hurt. It's not going anywhere. Oh, I know exactly where this thing's going. No! You didn't give this thing a name, did you? We're not doing anything until everybody gets a say. We can't kill it, guys. It's injured. You can't kill an injured creature. Yeah. I don't get that logic. Hey, if it's a hen, wouldn't it lay eggs? Yeah, if. Who knows how to check? But where did it come from? Well, maybe someone left a flock here a long time ago. Which means there's more somewhere. <laughs> yeah, fire up the rotisserie. Wait. Who's gonna kill it? Not me, man. It's true. We couldn't kill that pig we caught. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I'm hungrier now. Enough. We'll just, we'll bring it to a vote. <laughs> and then, we... <laughs> Would you like to add something? You're unbelievable. This is a debate club. Hey, what would you do? Kill it. I thought you were a vegan. Aren't you in charge here? Not anymore. I'm the new leader. Really? Yeah. We all agree that Daly should be in charge because she's the most organized. That's what's important to you, organization? Well, we've solved a lot of problems. There's only one problem here. Survival. Kill the chicken, eat it, and hunt for the others. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Look, I'm not saying that you're wrong. It's just, that's not how we do things here. It's stupid. It's worked so far. Have fun playing government. Come to me when you get hungry. Well, I guess we know how she's gonna vote.
can't sleep. I'm more comfortable outside. You're not the same person who left here. I was alone in the jungle. Twice. Both times I nearly died. The only thing I had to rely on were instincts I didn't even know I had. And then I see you guys here and it's like, you still think you're on some high school field trip. That's not true. Yeah, it is. You're so caught up in who likes who and who's doing more work, you're missing the real point. And what's that? The strong survive. The weak don't. So how would you do things? I'd stop trying to make this place like home. You can't create civilization in a jungle. When things get bad, you'll realize that. Maybe. Or maybe things haven't gotten bad because of what we created. I'm going back in the plane where it's comfortable. You should too. Is it your wing? Is it your leg? I'm gonna take care of you, no matter what. Nobody's gonna harm you. Hey, that splint was pretty smart. I didn't have a choice. You know, the only reason we've done so well is because we all take care of each other. And I'm alive because I took care of myself. Hey! Hey, look! We've got an egg! This proves it's a hen! Wow! A whole egg! Let's not all fight over it. Should we keep it until it's another? We should eat it before it goes bad. Who gets it? Let's vote. Maybe one person eats it, and then every time it lays a new egg, Good. we can... Good. I'll go first. That's just awesome! Oh! Whoa! Man! It's not how we do things here. Not yet. Oh, man! Did you see Nathan's face when you downed that egg? Oh, man, it was like his perfect world of rules and regulations just shattered. Oh. You know, it's great having someone around who doesn't get into the pressure. How's your ankle? What do you want, Eric? Same thing you do. What's that? I want to stay alive and get out of here. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but the way we're doing things, I don't know. I thought you were all one big happy family. Yeah, right? We have two camps here. Some think that we should dig in and play house, and others think that we got to get active. Now, I see you as someone who wants to take action. And where do you stand? Me? Well, <laughs> I want some chicken. <laughs> Thanks. What's the matter? Does Abby give you the creeps? A little, but she's been through a lot. Well, we've all been through a lot, but we didn't all turn into cave people. Even more confusing, What's going on here? I mean, 
with us. Is something going on? Give me a break, guitar boy. Look, after we crashed, things were pretty clear. You know, food, water, fire, shelter, everything else was just, just static. You know? And lately, things have just been getting, oh, confusing. Melissa? In part, but... Oh, it's more than just relationships. So what is it? Oh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Tell me when you do. Now what? Yeah, now what? Well, Abby, what are you doing? Yes. You're not killing that chicken. I'm not? No, Abby, it might come down to that, but not until everybody votes on what to do. You really don't get it. What? You think survival is about making rules to solve your problems. It's worked so far. Wake up, Daly. We are one breath away from disaster. Your democracy can't control that. But it helps, and everyone agrees. Really? Maybe you don't know your family here as well as you think. What does that mean? It means that some of us want to eat chicken. And we will, majority or not. Two things. Guys, help me! Don't you dare touch my brother. Give me a break. It's not a pet, Lex. But it's hurt. You have to take care of something that's hurt. Like, we're trying to take care of you. What's going on? I'm going to kill the chicken. That's not how we deal with things. You keep saying that. What is wrong with you people? Let's just calm down, OK? Abby, we know you had a rough time in the jungle, but that's not our fault. You say that like it's my fault, isn't it? You're the one that went off on your own. But that's history. Abby, you're right. Compared to what you went through, we've got to You have no idea what I've been through. OK. But whatever it was, it would have been a lot easier if you had somebody there to help you, like you have here. Would you just leave her alone? If she wants chicken, let her have some chicken, so long as she shares. I can't stop you, Abby. But if you kill that chicken, you're saying you don't want to be one of us, and do you really want to be alone again? Wait, wait. I'm not sure I agree with you, Daly. What? What do you mean? Maybe it's time for a change. What kind of a change? <sighs> Just stay away from the chicken. You think you're a strong enough leader to keep us alive? Prove it. We're hungry. Abby, what happened? You have no idea how bad it's gonna get. I'm the new leader. Really? Bring it to a vote. This is a debate club. The only reason we've done so well is because we all take care of each other. And I'm alive because I took care of myself. What's going on here? It's more than just relationships. So what is it? How would you do things? Let's stop trying to make this place like home. You guys gotta see what I found. Oh! Kill the chicken, eat it, and hunt for the others. It's not how we do things here. So then what does matter? Finding a way to get home. What do you want, Eric? Same thing you do. I want some chicken. I know exactly where this thing's going. No! You're not killing that chicken. We are one breath away from disaster. Everyone agrees. I'm not sure I agree with you, Daly. What? Think you're a strong enough leader to keep us alive? Prove it.
I'll get the cooking fire started. <laughs> no. No, we're gonna do this the right way. We vote. Who wants me to kill the chicken? Good. Four say no, that's the majority. But there's eight of us now. Fine. Say it's four to four. I'm the leader. I break the tie. The chicken lives. And what kind of change were you talking about? Look, I don't know how long we're going to be stuck here, but if we don't talk, it's going to seem like a lifetime. There's nothing to talk about. I'm sorry that Jackson and I have connected. I know how much you like him. It doesn't matter to me how you two feel about each other. Oh. Well, I guess we don't have a problem. What matters is you knew how I felt and it didn't stop you from trying to get close to him. But I didn't try. It just... You're a selfish, devious person, Taylor. I don't trust you anymore. next. What do you mean? Well, obviously you're not buying into Daly's democracy. It's getting pretty tense around here. I'm thinking the others might have gone west. Are you going to go out again? I'd rather be looking for help than waiting for disaster. Take me with you. What? Sitting around here is driving me crazy. I want to do something to go home. You wouldn't last a day. You're right. You have experience. And together, we could make it. Maybe find the others, too. But you're just as clueless as the rest of them. Clueless? You went out alone and nearly died twice. You want to try a third time? That's clueless. What only you got? It's time for lunch. Nobody's gonna touch it. We vote it. What happened, Daly? What do you mean? We were doing so well. Now it feels like we're crashing again. There's always gonna be disagreements. That's why our democracy is so important. But it's working. Come on. Let's get something to eat. <laughs> Daly says you've been acting strange. If I did anything. It's not you, Mel. Then what? Is this it? I mean, are we looking at the rest of our lives here? Smashing coconuts and playing mind games? Rescue's gonna come. Yeah, well, the weight's starting to get to me. There's a big split going on. One side wants to wait for rescue, the other wants action. And it's... Tearing us apart. Where is everybody? Around, why? Abby and I have a little surprise, but it should wait till we're all together. What kind of surprise? Let's have a meeting at dinner. That would be perfect. Why do I think we're not gonna like this surprise?
Did I scare you? You know you're still the leader here. Oh, every daily style. But you're the one they rely on. You're not happy here. Uh, is there anybody? But you're torn. Uh, yeah, about what? About whether to stay here and make sure everybody's OK, or to take action to get home. You seem more like the kind of guy who wants to take action. What kind of surprise do you think Eric and Abby could possibly have? Maybe they're trying to apologize for all the grief they've ever given us. Yeah, right, and then it'll snow and we'll all go ice skating. No! She's gone! She's gone! Well, maybe she escaped. No, wait, she's hurt. They took her. Eric and Abby took her. Where is it? Where's what? Don't give me that. What are you talking about? She's been with me. What's going on? Eric. They can't do this! We voted! Well, maybe it's not too late. You were unbelievable. You had to do it, didn't you? Do what? No matter what we say, you do what you want, no matter who it hurts. You know, I'm sick of you whining all the time. Don't walk away from me. Wah, wah, I'm so done with you. No, you're not. What is wrong with you? You know exactly what's wrong with me. You killed the chicken. What is wrong with you people? I don't trust you anymore. We're falling apart. I'm sorry. It, it was all alone. I thought Abby might do something. It was my fault. You shouldn't have left. It's everybody's fault. How's that? We don't trust each other anymore. Don't feel bad. Tell me why not, please. This isn't home. You can't always do the polite, practical thing. Things were going so well until... Until what? Until I came back? You're living in a fantasy world. It's not going to last. What's wrong with you? What happened, Daly? I've never been so scared. You're living in a fantasy world. I'm sorry, man. You know, I'm not even mad. You should be. Truth? I'm glad it happened. Prove my point. Which is? Two ways of thinking going on here, and only one is right. So what do we do about it? Make the problem go away. Everybody's 
I've caused a lot of problems since I've been here. I'm sorry for that, but I truly believe we can survive here forever. We won't have to. Rescue is coming. We don't know that for sure. That's why I'm leaving tomorrow to explore the west side of the island. Why? Abby, you... you can't. Yes, I can. What if the others went that way? Who knows? The only thing that's clear to me is I don't fit in here anymore. Look. Abby, it's been rough, but you, you can't go out alone again. No way! She's not. I'm going with her. What? Yep, we're gonna find out where that chicken came from. No. Forget it. What? You can't go. No one can go. It's not your call, Daly. I know it's not. It's our call. All of us. We all decide. That's what we agreed on, right? No, that's what you forced on us. What? Come on! We've been doing so well! I mean, sure, we've had some issues, but we're surviving! Democracy is what keeps us going. Am I wrong, Melissa? No, you're right, but... But what? I mean, we're, we're proof that it works! But for how much longer? Don't say that. I mean, it, it's not perfect, but... It's kept us alive. I mean, we, we brought the plane up here and 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 we're 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 building a safe shelter and we, we find food and, and water and we're da Daily. You said it. A democracy only works if everybody wants it to, and not everybody wants it to. But most of us do. Fine. I'll prove it. We'll vote. Who wants all of us to just calm down and stay together? always gone along with the group, even if I didn't agree. And it's worked until now, but I'm tired of waiting for something to happen. I'm going with Eric and Abby.
Come on. You guys saw this coming, right? Just, I'm going crazy here. I'll let the water for you. Well, I'm all set. Wait, who's bringing two packs? Nobody. It's, um... I'm going to. We've always said how we're stronger in a group. Now we need to keep two groups strong. Are you sure, Mel? No. I'm not. I don't know if I'm going towards something or, or getting away, but feels right. I'll miss you. You too. I can't find Daly. So, say goodbye for me. We'll walk along the shore as long as we can. If there's any sign of civilization, we'll find it there. Let's do it. together. We're going to be fine. So will you. See you soon. But if not, we'll see you later. for you doesn't mean you have to feel the same way. But I do. I have a feeling we're about to get all the water we need. I don't know what I would do if you weren't here. Oh, you did it. That's like eating boogers. Would you please help me now? I'm not feeling so hot. You owe me. Yeef Timber! Oh. Happy, happy birthday! Where's Abby? Chickens aren't native. Somebody had to bring it. Kill the chicken, eat it, and hunt for the others. Do the boss tell us what to do? We'll vote. <laughs> That's not new. Two, three, eat! I'm so sick of this teamwork thing. Dude, be cool. Don't do me. I hate this place. I think you should stop complaining. I'm sick of you always coming down on I me. I thought you were all one big happy family. Yeah, right? You think survival is about making rules to solve your problems. Wake up! I want to do something to go home. Don't walk away from me! <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm going with her. Both. I'm going with Eric and Abby. No. A democracy only works if everybody wants it to, and not everybody wants it to.
We'll walk along the shore as long as we can. If there's any sign of civilization, we'll find it there. Let's do it. Together. We're gonna be fine. So will you. See you soon. But if not, we'll see you later. survive on our own. Don't say that. We'll be fine. Well, what about the others? I mean, what are they gonna do about water or food? What if one of them gets hurt, Nathan? How will they get back here? Taylor, they'll make it work. It's okay. Um, everyone, listen up. I, I made a new work schedule. It's not so hard, really. All we have to do is double up. No! What? Look, I always go along, because I'm just a kid, but we're in trouble now. I'm scared, and I'm mad that we split up. Don't be mad. It's nobody's fault. I think it's everybody's fault. I think it's Davy's fault. What? Stuff day. I don't want to have to listen to you anymore. Change is good. Yeah, but... Whatever works. Nathan? Is Lex right? Was this my fault? Twenty-four days. We've split up into three groups. And those who stayed at the camp, the four who went to search the island, and we still have no idea what happened to Ian and Jory and Pilot. And that's not the worst part. We're starting to lose faith in each other. You know, maybe it's denial, but this all felt so unreal until now. Because we split up? No. My watch stopped. Batteries died. We can't fix this one with speeches or teamwork or fake holidays. A tiny piece of real life just slipped away, Nathan. Forever. I 
can't survive on our own. It's nobody's fault. I think it's everybody's fault. I think it's Davey's fault. Looking great. How long till we see fruit? A while. Why'd you cut your hair? I don't know. I want to talk about what you said. I hope you know I tried my best to keep us together. No, you didn't. You tried to get us to do things your way, like you always do. Because I thought that my way was right. But you always think you're right. You don't listen, Day. Here or at home, you just don't listen, and that's what drove them away. But it was wrong for them to leave. Maybe it was wrong to stay here. She's been my sister for about a year, since her dad married my mom. I always thought she had all the answers. Now I'm thinking that's only because she talks the loudest. I think it's time to start looking for my own answers. Hey. What's that? Too soon to tell. Look. This isn't all Daly's fault. Don't defend her just because you like her. I don't. I mean, I'm not. I... Look, we really need to get along here. Okay, now more than ever. Do you think the others made a mistake? By leaving, I mean? I don't know. Maybe they'll find something to help us get home. What do you think? I'm thinking the mistake was to stay here. How sweet is this? No rules, no boats, best of all, no daily. We can't walk on the beach forever. Why not? I thought it was our best chance to find civilization. It is. But we've got to find drinking water and food. Let's stick to the shore, but take turns whoa, going whoa, inland. Whoa, 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 Joe. We took off to get away from all the organization. Remember? We took off to find help. One thing at a time. When we need food, we'll get it. And when we need water, we'll find it. The one thing we will never do is go on anything.
doing more of the heavy stuff, but uh, somebody's gonna have to look for fruit. Taylor's gonna fish. Can you believe that? Daily. Yeah. Sure, whatever you think. Hey! Hey, you are... Whoa, hair. What's up? Okay, there is a blossom in Lex's garden. We're gonna get tomatoes or guavas or something. That kid really is a genius. Where is he? I haven't seen him for hours. Really? That's weird. Speaking of weird, um, you chopped your hair off because... No reason. Oh. Odd. His pack is gone. Gone where? He was... He was talking about the others like they made the right move to go. You don't think he... He went after them. No, he wouldn't just take off like that. Would he? I think he would. Hey, hey, where are you going? I'm going after him. Okay, but he could always be miles away. We can't just go Nathan, running. he's a little kid. He can't be out there by himself. Wait, wait. What Nathan means is we can't run off all crazy. So if we're going to go after him, we need water and better shoes. Let's be smart about this, all right? We should make camp. I'll find a spot. Jackson, Melissa, you look for water, and Eric, start a fire. Uh, does this mean you're in charge? Sure. Who better? What happened to everybody for themselves and survival the fittest? Look, you want to be on your own? Go ahead. Nobody's on their own here. We'll go look for water. Whatever, start the fire. No voting. What was he thinking? Why would he just go after them? I think it was more about getting away. Let's just find him, okay? Is this a bad idea? No. There's got to be a runoff from the mountain somewhere. No, I, I mean about leaving camp. It's going to be hard. Yeah, but it feels good to be doing something more than killing time. I guess. And we'll find out for sure if there's anything else on the island. What if there isn't? That's for tomorrow. Tonight, we feast. Wrong to stay here. I haven't seen him for hours. You went after them. He's got to be close. Lex. 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 Hey, Lex. Lex, wait. You crazy? What were you thinking? You should have told us, Lex. Yeah, well, I made up my mind and I didn't want to vote on it. Stop, all right? Those votes kept us together. Not more like it drove us apart. Well, come on, all I did was try to keep us from going in separate directions. Find out what's happening now? Yes. No. Lex, you can't go. Why not? Because you said so? Yes. Hey, wait, whoa, 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 hey, Lex. I don't blame you for taking off. Getting away sounds pretty good to me, too. We were doing so well, but didn't we just... ruined it. Yeah, maybe. A little. 
But do you really think it's going to be much better with Abby and Eric? Yikes. Okay, you know something? I want to go with you. I mean, I really do. But I'm no jungle girl. I wouldn't make it. And now with you leaving, I'm afraid things are going to crumble here. You keep us together, Lex. You're the only one that doesn't have any issues. Until now, of course. And if you go, I'll understand, but I don't know what I'm gonna do because you're my only real friend back there. To him. It's between us. Um, except that Daly has to gather all the firewood until further notice and do everyone's laundry. Hope that's cool. That was the deal? Yeah. Um, and you have to dig a new latrine. That other one is like, whoa. has finally begun. Look, I don't want to come off like some kind of daily, but I've had some experience surviving out here. If you guys want to listen to me, that's great. If not, that's your choice. Well, I think we have to agree on what we're doing. See, the chicken proves there was civilization here once. And this is about finding it. And finding the others. I can promise you one thing. There will be absolutely no voting. Done. Well, let's find us some chicken. Do you have a little break? Hey, guys, uh, go ahead and give me your dirty stuff now. I'm going to do the laundry once this storm blows over. Why are you doing everyone's laundry? Wasn't that the deal? What deal? Hey, hey, you got to help. We need jackets and fire and a signal. What's the matter? We got to go. We got to hurry. We are so out of here. Come on, Taylor. What's going on? There is a ship!
It was too far away. We should have left the plane on the beach. What? No. They would have seen the plane. Then we wouldn't have had a shelter. I know. That's why I built one. We weren't ready for this. Because why weren't we ready for this? Because we were too busy fighting over who was in charge. We were trying to survive. What if that was our only chance? No, if there's one ship that's coming by, another will come by. You don't know that. That was the first ship we've seen in a month. And even if another one comes by, they might not see us. You guys, look at this. If one ship's going to come by, another one's going to come by. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's gone. Just deal with it. Get ready for the next one that comes along. Lex is suddenly blaming me for everything. I want to show him how wrong he is, but maybe he's not. I, I don't know if I should be upset about missing the ship or happy that it came by. You're not saying something. I, I, I guess I'm, I'm feeling really anxious. About what? Daily, I totally bought into your thinking. Okay, okay with the jobs and schedules and the voting, and it, it seems so logical. But, oh man, it, it wasn't enough. We survived for almost a month. Yeah, and we just missed our best chance at rescue. What should we do differently? We have to be smarter. Okay, the rules, they've helped us survive, but they're not gonna get us rescued. It's gonna take an idea. Okay, yeah, it's gonna take a, ch a chance, a, a risk, a... I, I don't know what, but if we don't come up with something, we're gonna be stuck here the rest of our lives. What if that was our only chance? We should've left the plane on the beach. We took off to get away from all the organization. Uh, a little help would be nice. Hey, I stirred the fire. Oh, you must be exhausted. You can't pull that guilt on me anymore. Things are different. Just thought we could share the work a little. Well, stop thinking. This is my fire. If you want to use it, I'll let you. But if you need anything else, get it yourself. That's really the way you want it? Hey, freedom is a beautiful thing. Daily's democracy has kept us alive. Now, we still need to stay strong as a group. But we need to find an individual spark that's gonna get us out of here. And I think I've got it. see that. It's like flat. <laughs> it won't matter. Hmm? <gasps> Ew, P.U. What is that? It's the rest of the fuel from the plane. See, I'm going to soak this whole thing up. Then when another ship comes by, we'll light it up and woof. We'll be seen for miles. Smoke during the day, fire at night. You want to use all the fuel? Yeah. It's, it's got to be big. Well, that means that we won't have any more fuel for the candles. 
I think it's worth the risk. Well, whatever you think. Was anybody else expecting a vote? Can you give me a hand? <sighs> Sorry, Chief. Getting firewood for Melissa. He's not getting firewood. Welcome to Eric's world. Doesn't he realize we're all in this together? W together? What happened to survival of the fittest? It was easier being on my own. like a sparkler. I think it's kind of scary. Oh, nah. It won't really burn that fast. I mean, it's scary that we're starting to run out of things. Dreaming up your next invention? Just dreaming. Uh, hey, thanks. For what? For coming back. Didn't really want to chase after those guys anyway. Hey, I thought you were being nice to me. <laughs> Look. Does shooting star make a wish? It's not a star, it's a satellite. I've seen it a couple of times. You can see satellites? Sure. It's probably military. Or maybe for weather. Well, I'm making a wish anyway. I wish that thing would look down and see us. Hey! Hello! Uh -huh. Come down here, help us! <laughs> so it's your wish. I wish. I could go back to the way things were before my dad died. Please tell me we're gonna kill this one. Maybe. 
Or maybe it'll lead us to the whole flock. Is that what Taylor said? Throw a sleeping bag over. Oh yes! No, wait, 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 wait. Can you you chase and I'll get it. <laughs> hey, help! Help! Wow. I've done nothing but bail you out of trouble. You want to be on your own? You got it. Survival of the fittest, this is the end. From now on, you're on your own.
that so fast? There's something out there. What is it? Rescue. What? Are you sure? Hey! Deal Wait, Dealey! Spontaneous. I wanted to take a risk. I wanted Lex to not think I'm totally useless like Taylor. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Taylor's not so useless anymore. You don't got it. <sighs> Maybe we should just... to think. I think we're going back home. What is this place? Well, what was this place? Nobody's been here in a while. I smell something. This all seems so, so dead. Let's hope that's not what she smells. Fire here. We're not alone. That's great. We need a new 
the fire starter. Not really. Taylor is doing great with the friction starter. Oh. Well, then what are you making? I'll let you know when it's done. like a tomb. Yeah, whoever's here, they're not afraid to kill chickens. Huh. I like them already. Maybe it's drawing in. Why would they stay here and not come back to the beach? Gee, I don't know. Food, shelter, civilization? Or maybe it's somebody that doesn't want to be found. Like who? Smugglers. Smugglers? Give me a break. Why not pirates? Arr! Don't laugh. It's possible. I mean, what better place to hide than a deserted island? Come on. What if they're not friendly? Who cares? They could be zombies as long as they have a boat. Maybe friendly would be nice. Ian? <gasps> Why did that was? He knows we're here. I'm gonna say hi. Hey! Hello! Listen, we crashed here a month ago. All we want is to get back home. No problems, all right? One, you hear me? Only one for one! Wait! Bob? Bob? No, no, go! Bob? It was Captain Russell, the pilot. No way. What happened to him? What happened to the others? Wait, Daly! Daly! Maybe it was a whale. I wanted to prove to Lex I'm not totally useless. Mistake. We'll come up with something else. Was it really my fault that we split up? No. No. We, uh, we're all to blame. Lex thinks it was my fault. I don't think he does. Then why is he so angry at me? I don't know if he's angry or just. He's, he's disappointed that his big sister is not as perfect as he thought she was. It's tough to find out that your hero is human. Captain Russell? Hello? Captain Hi. Russell? That was scary. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, he didn't even recognize us. Well, probably because he went off the deep end. Yeah, let's just hope he didn't take the others with him. Jory? Are you... 
okay? Or where's Ian? I'm fine. Ian isn't. Nathan said we needed a big idea. Maybe this is it. I hooked up the light to the battery along with a relay from the flashing wing light. We can point this out to sea at night. If a ship sails by, they might wonder why there's a flashing light on a deserted island. You know what that is? What? That is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> After the flood, we couldn't find you or Captain Russell, so we kept going till we hit the North Shore. What did you find? Nothing. Empty beach. The whole ship was a waste. But Captain Russell was there. Okay, what is wrong with that guy? He smashed his head in the flood, then got sick. He said it's a reoccurrence of malaria or something. It really messed him up. Yeah, he wasn't so stable to begin with, so now, yikes. Sometimes he doesn't even know who we are. He's really sick. Why didn't you come back to us? We tried. We got as far as these ruins. Then Ian got hurt. He went into a building. The floor was rotten and he crashed through. How bad is he? Ask him. Hi, guys. Ian. Ian! Are you okay? I have a fever. Yeah. Uh, that's the good news. What's the bad news? I, uh, sort of broke it. I wanted to carry him back. Captain Russell's, well... Crazy? <laughs> Not really. Hey! Come on. <laughs> Go. Great idea. Thanks. Lex. I feel bad about the split, but it wasn't all me. I, Abby just wanted to be alone, and Eric hated being here, and Jackson was restless, and Melissa. Was I know all that. Then why are you so mad at me? It was your job to keep us all together. You're right. I tried. I know. It wasn't all your fault, and I'm sorry for being angry, but... What? We have to do better. We all have to do better. I will. I promise. The big one, World War II, WW2. What about it? Well, that's the last time anybody's ever been to the Hotel Tango. They left it to rot. Nobody's coming back. Nobody's coming back. Nobody's coming back. Nobody's looking for crash survivors either. How do you know about the crash? I was in it. Yeah? Don't mess with my head. Don't worry. He's been like that for a week. He's delirious. 
It's freaking nuts. I don't care what they say, I can navigate. I know the winds, I know the stars, I, I know the currents. I can find my way. I, 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 can, I can find my way. Nobody blames you for getting us lost. Lost? I'm talking about being found. I am gonna kiss Hotel Tango. Goodbye. See, huh? <laughs> I've been working on her day and night, night and day. She's beautiful, isn't she? She can handle the rough seas, and she, and she can go on the flat like a, like a torpedo. She, she can cruise like a torpedo when it's flat. Cruise like a torpedo when it's flat. She's perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> you still think I'm crazy? Huh? Yeah, pretty much. Well, it doesn't matter! Next stop, Hawaii! Or, 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 or Tahiti! <laughs> I can go wherever I want! <laughs> what about us? No, 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 you, you, you can't come, you can't come, because there's no, not enough room. It's obvious there's not enough room, no, no, no room, no room. But you'll send back help, right? Would, would you like me to do that? That'd be nice, yeah. That'd be nice, yeah. Well, then let me work and get out of here, go! Go! Hotel Tango. He's sick. He's out of his mind. I couldn't even get him to help move Ian back to the plane. All he cares about is that boat. I told you to go back without me. Your leg is a mess, Ian. We've got to get the first aid kit. Well, what about Captain Russell? What about him? No first aid's gonna help that loon. They both need help. We've got to get back. There's a bigger problem. We crashed here a month ago. If they haven't searched for this place by now, they're not going to. Our last hope might be this boat. You seriously think Captain Chaos can sail away and get help? No. Then how is that boat our last hope? I can sail. So can I. So what? No way. He won't let you. So we won't ask. Well, what are we talking about? Listen, Eric, Jory, and I will get Ian back to the plane and deal with Captain Russell. He'll go nuts. Why? All the more reason for Eric and I to stay and deal with it. Wait, why is there dealing? Are you sure? Absolutely. What am I missing? We're gonna steal the boat. It's freaking nuts. We all have to do better. Are you sure about this? Do we have a choice? Now or never. Captain! Captain, it's Ian. He needs help. <laughs> so what else is new? No, I mean now. He's calling for you. Me? Hurry up! Come on! Let's go! I... I think his fever's worse. So? And he's in pain? Well, what do you want me to do about it? Oh, man, it hurts. Yeah. Don't look too good. Sorry, kid. There's nothing I can do about it. Ow! Uh, 
You gotta help me. How? I ain't no doctor. Let's get him back to the plane. They have medicine there. No, 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 no. You take him back. You take him back. No, wait! Ow! Ow! Two, three, quick. Wait, 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 he's coming. He's coming. All for the best. What are you talking about? Oh, never mind. Where are the others? Where are they? Did you tell him we need to get Ian back to the plane? Uh, yeah. Where you been? Stuck right here. Same as you. Something's not right here. But it doesn't matter, because tomorrow at this time, I'm gonna be- Wait. What's that? What, what's what? Something's burning. Everyone's fault. Why? Who did this? Who did this? Tell me now. Who did this? We all did. It's everyone's fault. Why? You was everything. Everything. Do you know what it's like to lose something that means everything to you? Do you? You don't, do you? Well, you're gonna find out. What does that mean? It means we gotta get to the plane now. Man, can anything else go wrong? This is gonna get ugly. Manila's getting hit hard now, but this other depression's coming up fast, and when they collide, they're gonna just... Yeah. They give it a name yet? Yeah. They're calling it Typhoon Melissa. Melissa? <laughs> Sweet name for something that's gonna level whatever it touches. I can start the fire. That's okay. It's my job. Do you feel that? What? I don't know. Something's in the air. Like what? Like the same thing we felt before the last storm. Done. What's next? You don't think you'd go back to the plane and, I, I don't know, um, 
What, what do you think you would do? I don't want to find out. One, two, three, lift. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Maybe I should run ahead. Well, it's a lot safer again. You guys should leave me. <laughs> yeah, not gonna happen. Put this back at the plane. Jax and I will carry first. Here, let me take your pack. No, I got it. Uh, you okay, Eric? No, I'm not. I dropped the fire starter. I burned the boat. If I'm asked to carry myself, I'll do it. All right, then. We're going back. One, two, three, left. You know, this storm could hit F3 or 4. There's going to be damage. Yeah, but where? Got to scramble recon. Hang in there. Maybe we should keep on moving. No, 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 it's too dangerous. Thanks. I never thought I'd say this, but the best thing about leaving the others that it's bringing us all back together. Daly was right. We are stronger as a group. You knew that. He's out there. Oh! I changed my mind. We keep moving. You know what it's like to lose something that means everything to you? Well, you're gonna find out! What? That was my idea. To what, point the light away from the ocean? No, to signal it up to that satellite that flies over. It's like what you said, someone might see a strange light on a deserted island and wonder what it is, right? I mean, maybe this is a big idea that'll save us. Or maybe it was totally dumb. What? No, why? Those satellites cover, like, the whole ocean. There is no way they could pick up a tiny little light. But it might. What if a ship sailed by last night? They wouldn't have seen it because this was pointed at Mars. I was just trying to think outside the box. Unbelievable. I'll just, uh, go away. Dylan, I could have been seen, right? More bad news? Maybe. Ever heard of HT-440? Should I? It was an island supply base during World War II. Shut down in the 50s. The island's been deserted ever since. The weather recon plane took these on the way back from Mindanao. That's it? That's HT-440? Yep. 
What's that? Good question. Looks like some sort of intermittent light. But it's deserted. HT, Hotel Tango. Looks like somebody checked in. Come on, it's no big deal. It is, Nathan. What am I gonna mess up next? What else is gonna go wrong? I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> What'd you do to it? Woo! Whoa. Pilot man? Why'd you do this to her? She'll never fly again. <laughs> she, you think? Hey, did you ever get me that latte? What? Sorry, bad joke. Uh, what happened to you? I mean, no offense, but you're looking kind of you. She was so beautiful. She was so beautiful. You should have taken better care of her. You should have taken better care of her. Just one sec. Nathan! Well, you guys took real good care of yourselves, didn't you? It's all about you, wasn't it? Wait, what happened to Ian and Jory? Captain Russell, are you okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? Not even close. They took it away from me, you know. They burned it. It's gone. It's a one away. My last hope. Well, I'm just gonna have to return the favor. <laughs> Take away yours. You crashed my plane! Why'd you crash my plane? I think you're the one that did that. They burned my boat. It was everything I had. Why'd they do that? Why'd they do that? Who? What, what happened? Oh. No. <clears throat> no. Looks like it's my turn now, huh? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just calm down, okay? Just... You're not yourself. We're... We're gonna help you, okay? Okay, you can help me. As soon as I torture camp. Back off! <laughs> Back off! Oh, yeah, I'm scared. That was, was a really good tip for me, short stuff. I got one for you, all right? Move. Okay, look, it's not worth it, okay? He's right, it's not worth it. <laughs> I am so going to enjoy doing this. Give me an excuse. Oh, take that. Come on. If this is over, this is far from over. I'm gonna be out there, guys, watching every move you make, every squeak, every peep. You guys are gonna be listening, thinking, is this Captain Russell coming back? Stop! Stop! Is that all you can come up with? Stop? No, 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 just be quiet, just listen. What is that? Storm? No.
incredible. I used a flasher from the light in the wing. You know, the weather recon plane picked it right up. Who thought of pointing it at the sky? My sister. It was all her idea. You know, they've been searching the Pacific for you guys, but they never would have looked here. You saved us. All right, we gotta get moving. Melissa's not gonna wait. <laughs> Typhoon Melissa, that's great. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Listen. I'm really sorry. Hey, hey Jackson. Please. I want to help. Really. Let me. Thanks. Hey. Thanks, man. See you on board. So who should play me in the movie? I was thinking Ethan Hawke or Orlando Bloom. Who should play you? I couldn't care less. What? Get out of here. You don't care who plays you in the movie? All I care about is getting home and seeing my parents. But if anyone's going to play me in the movie, it's going to be me. Typhoon Melissa. <laughs> Won't forget that one. <laughs> so, what's gonna happen? I'll probably have to deal with a probation violation. Maybe they'll let me off the time spent here. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Is Jackson your first name or your last name? It's Cody. Cody Jackson. Well, I'll be there for you, Cody Jackson. If you want me to be. worried about being right that I forget about what's important. I'm sorry, too. I know it's important now. What's that? My sister and I are going home. What's that for? None of us are the same people who crashed here. Is it good or bad? Depends on what happens next. I wanted to leave something of myself. At least something of the person I was while I was here. Wait. Don't close that. Where do you want to go next year? <laughs> so what happens now? What do you mean? I mean, are we going to go back to the way we were? Are we still going to see you as a arrogant, self-righteous know-it-all? Probably. Am I still going to think of you as an overachieving ego case with something to prove? Yeah, probably. I'm also going to think of you as an amazing friend. 
and the guy who gave us the strength to survive the most incredible adventure ever. I can live with that. Hey, Melissa's heading in, so we gotta move. Okay. I guess this is it. Am I crazy? Why? I'm not ready to go. We made these video diaries to each tell our own story in our own way. We've all taken something from this island. This way we can each leave something of ourselves behind. Who knows, maybe someone will find this someday and learn the true story of the survivors of Flight 29 down. Let's go home.